Oh, what's this? A video for Nikkei four months after uploading the first part? Even though I started six months ago? Could not be me. <laughs> But yeah, I'll start uploading more videos of my journey through this wonderful game because my second hard drive is crying for more space. As for this vid, early on in my exploration, I wanted to see just exactly what this game had to offer in terms of delectable waifus. So as a result, I reacted to all of them and their skins included. Since this spans over the course of just about 4 months, there will be multiple copies of Past Me, so some takes may have changed since then, but that's the beauty of reacting to all playable Nikkei's for the first time. With a veritable buffet of beauties to inspect for research purposes, let's just get right into it. Okay, so what I did want to do after... How long has it been since I've started playing this game? But something I really should do is uh, actually take a look at all of the Nikkei's in the game. This will be something else. For those of you who know me in a more personal setting, I'll probably lose you at this point. I apologize, though not really. You have been warned. Anyway, it's time to be down bad as much as possible in a way that you've never seen me before, just for once. So let's start off with the mass-produced Nikkei's, aka the rares. So Idol Sun. For some reason, it looks like Idol Sun is one of the more popular ones. Not sure why. Well, actually, no. Never mind. I do see why. God damn. The uniform really is. Yeah, for a rare, pretty good. Simple enough, but I mean, like, let's see what. Yeah, actually, what is she? Is she a. Uh, is that an assault rifle or a machine gun? Yeah, it's a assault rifle, assault rifle. So let's see exactly, like, what the fuss is about. Holy hell, that is actually bubble butt status. For a, a simple neat. Like, for a simple. Like, rare, like. Uh, <clears throat> Alright. Yeah, I could see the appeal of Idol Sun. And the tiny chibi. Then she's definitely like the most like distinguishable of the uh, of the uh, mass produced Nikki simply because of the giant twin tails. And next is Idol Ocean, which seems a lot more simple. Oh, is she supposed to be a healer? I'm guessing. Yeah, but is that a? Oh, it's a submachine gun. Hmm. Show me. Oh, that looks more like a. Because, like, sometimes I try to identify, like, the inspiration for some of these guns. It looks somewhat akin to, like, the main receiver looks like an Uzi. But that bottom part really reminds me of, like, maybe a scorpion, but I don't think so. I wonder what the inspiration for that was. Anywho. Oh, damn. Oh, wait, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I didn't even realize that, brother. Okay, so some of them has either a surprise in the back or a surprise in the front. Usually. Yeah, seriously, I'm trying to wonder. Like, it looks very familiar. Like, that kind of submachine gun looks very familiar. But I can't put my finger on it. Wait, hold on. Did I read that? Did I read that right? Rieko Kimiya, really? Huh. Okay, um, could not really recognize the voice until then. Oh, yeah, no, I do hear it now. Wow, it's been a while. Really, even for a rare? Damn. Yeah, no, Nikkei got some good, got a good cast. Idol Flower. Honestly, I like Idol Flower's design the most from the Idols, anyways. Ooh, a cool visor. Damn. See, like, I actually do like how each of them have different uniforms. But even though they're supposed to be mass-produced, so it makes me wonder, like, what's the point of, like, making them different if they're supposed to be mass-produced? Then again, I really do like the design of this one. Just, like, this, like, clear, transparent, like, almost kind of, like, plasticky top. It, it's kind of neat. And, I mean, yeah, she's a rocket launcher for sure. For sure. Oh, yeah, that's a fairly big rocket launcher. Hey, yo, and she's got firepower. See, that's weird. That reload should have been faster. Yeah, I guess that's just like what makes it rare. Because she just stuck the rocket right back in. It was ready. So I don't know why that was there. Just like the eh. That's simple little idol. It'll work. It'll work. Product 23, hello. So she's a shock. Yeah, that is shocking. I'm starting to recognize the... Uh, the uh, symbols now. Yeah, I don't think she'll have much. Yeah, with all the armor, I don't think she'll have much. Never. 
Okay, I was not expecting that, fellas. Like, yeah, there's armor where it's not really necessary. Well, in some parts it's necessary, but I mean, for the most part, like, she's very defenseless. Like, who would mass produce this DK? Simple enough. Okay, product 12, because I've seen definitely. Wait, pro the product 12 and product 23 have the exact same voice actress? They do! Oh! Well, now we're starting to see the mass produced part. And yeah, she's definitely a machine gun. Nah, she looks like she's completely covered in armor, so there's probably not much to it. From what I remember in the, uh, the, uh, near collab. Oh god, that reminds me of the Negev from, uh, CSGO. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, interesting. Machine guns, even if they go outside the range, they'll still fire. And there's not really much, but it's, it'll, it'll be something. That is a comically large machine gun, but we will take it. And product 8, does she also have the- No, never mind, I was gonna say. I thought all the products had in the same voice actors, that would've been funny. What is that? Oh, that's a sniper rifle. Shit, I don't think I have used a sniper rifle unit on a main team so far. We'll just have to see if that changes. Though, I I'll, I'll be honest, like, the first thing I fucking noticed the design of the sniper rifle is square as fuck. Like, this is just pure geometry. This is like a giant rectangle with some details. But besides that, there's not really much to it. I just wonder if it functions well. I mean, considering it's a rare, probably not. As for design... Uh, yeah, exactly, that's what I thought. The armor pretty much covers most of it. Well, it actually does look like a fairly large bullet. That actually might be 50 cal, and ironically. Where there is mass, but there is no recoil. Unfortunate. Okay, and I thought the machine gun was comically large. The sniper rifle is just absurd. This is like a Metal Gear Solid 1 PS1 era style sniper rifle. <laughs> Soldier OW, and that is definitely a submachine gun. It kind of reminds me of the, uh, I don't think it's the PP Bison. It's, yeah, I think it's like one of the other, like, or it might be a PPSH. I, I can't, I don't recall at this time. What do you bring to the table? Oh, Jesus. Actually, it, the recoil is fairly heavy. Wait, even when she's not even fire. Okay, it's just like... Uh, okay, bro all right, brother. We're gonna chill. Ah, there's soldier so Yo, Wait! Her voice actress is Fido's Eye! Bro, okay, she's actually a really good voice actress. How did I not realize it was her? Wait, say again? Elysium, Soldier Falcon. Oh, wow. I can, I can hear it towards the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. It absolutely is her. Dude, for a rare, the figure is fine as fuck. But I, I'm telling you right now, that shield on the back, that's probably what makes her a rare. If she removed the shield, she would at least be an SR, if not SSR. Trust me. Go ahead. Exactly. What did I say? It's fucking blocked by the shield, dude. There's no way to remove it either. But I can tell just like... From the thigh hint, there must be more. Absolutely. God damn it, that is so unfortunate. Wait, that's actually a. Oh, that's a big ass magazine. Bro, you can't even see your face. The visor is not even transparent. There's so much potential here, and yet it is wasted. And to end off the rare Soldier EG, what do you got? Oh, yeah, so she's an AR, so. Wait, actually, wait, wait, what's on her, what is on her, on her vet? Is that a, like a little ghost? Look at that. That's kind of cute. Why, why a little ghost? Interesting choice. Oh, you know that? Mm, why does that look familiar? It almost reminds me of like a 552. But I, eh. There's so many AR platforms that look very similar. Who knows? Oh, gee. Surprisingly round. But not much recoil. That means he's well equipped for snow. Yeah, this is a fairly simple one. So do we going up and down? Why am I even looking at a chibi? All right, now we are moving on to the the SRs. All right, starting off with Pascal. Yeah, I can't believe they got Aoyuki to voice Pascal. That's really good. Because I remember Nier Automata. That was a really good game. 
That's a rocket launcher? Really? All right, let's uh, let's have a look. Oh my god. <laughs> I love what they did with the model already. Yeah, oh, it's like a oh, it's like a multi-rocket launcher. It's like a grenade launcher instead, an MGL pretty much. <laughs> There's not much to show, but it's so good. <laughs> the reload. Okay. Now Pascal is great. That that's already like that's a win in my book. That that's fantastic. Oh, is this Pascal carrying the small little machine life form? That's so cute. He's just a little guy with a gun. Ah, yes. The SR that I had missed from the collab. Himeno. Oh. That smile. My heart. She's a sniper rifle? What? I mean, that's an interesting choice. Actually, it definitely is very appropriate considering she only uses one eye. Oh, what the fuck? That looks crazy, dude. All right, what is this? Hey, yo, and they kept Himeno intact. Thank the Lord. Oh, wait, that reload. Ooh, let me see that again. Oh, that's cool. Shit. I wonder why they have that kind of weaponry. Yeah, seriously, what kind of weapon is that? There's probably something they gave him just for the collab, because I've never seen any of the characters use weapons like that. Uh, hmm. Let's see, one of the other SRs that I don't have, Neve. Oh, yeah, that definitely makes sense for the name. She, she looks like she came directly from the snow. That is abominable. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Has a proclivity for hibernating as she feels she's imitating the behavior of polar bears is the key to finding them. Why are you finding polar bears? They are extremely dangerous. Also, that name, Yoko Hikasa. Why do I feel like I've heard it before? I'll figure it out. I've listened to way too many voice actresses. Damn, she kind of... She do be kind of thick, though. Oh, oh. oh. Okay, I was not expecting that. What the hell? All right, no, hold on. That recoil took me back to 1985. What? What is? Yeah, she's a shotgun, of course. Yeah, she's got some firepower to her. Wait, what is? I just noticed the on her right leg it just says deep sleep, and then on the left one it just says, is is that supposed to say not supper? <laughs> what? <laughs> Is this not uncomfortable? Just having her fingers out and you can't even see her hands. They're completely covered with like this fur. What even is she wearing now that I think about it? Because that's not like... It's a, is it attached to her and then like the jacket? What is she wearing? Well, whatever it is, it's definitely not enough to protect her. I can see the beauty mark. Oh, wow. Interesting. Ooh, wait. What kind of shotgun is that? That reminds me... Um, reminds me of the sausage, but I don't know. It's, it's, it's one of those odd, like, AK-style shotgun platforms. I don't know how to, what to make of it. Oh! Okay, buddy, let's, uh, detract. Jesus, just when poking out is enough to j Or if you hit hard enough, then it- Oh, Christ. Thank God for body suits, ladies and gentlemen. That is absolutely... Oh, I didn't even notice the front. God. Yeah, how is she an SR? Oh, she actually looks super cute like this. Very wholesome and not at all, like, lewd. Oh, jeez, never mind. You can see right... Okay, all right, buddy. <laughs> they kept the deep sleep there. Ah, uh, yes. I feel like Mika's, Mika's design is very underappreciated. And he came from the Carinades, who was extremely naive. Her sole friend, Balorda, is the only one she will fully trust without hesitation. Oh, that's kind of wholesome. So yeah, they really are best buddies. But damn, yeah, no, I feel like Mika's design is very underrated, because she do be... She do be showing a lot of skin. And the slight tan is just the culture on top. And that smile, okay, no, that smile is what sells me, though. That, o like, that open tooth smile. Uh, is innocence, but at the same time, she is holding a stinger. Is is the singer a javelin? I probably am closer to a javelin, I'd say. And let me guess. Yep, her hair. Hmm. I was about to say her hair is pretty much covering everything, but no, you could still see it. She has enough firepower 
to not be able to hide it entirely. And I thank God for that. Though I really wonder, why is she wearing that? If she's wearing, if she's using a fucking rocket launcher, she better have better protection than that. Well, that's actually a fairly quick reload. Bloop. Yeah, actually that was fairly quick. Fairly quick. I am not an old man. No, but she actually is very adorable. Yeah, out of the out of the uh, SRs, like Nika is definitely like one of my favorite designs by far. And thus, her buddy Belorta. Oh, so Fido's eye also voices her. I okay, they know what they're doing. They got good voice actresses. Ah. She enjoys meat. She is a friend of mine. Okay, so yeah, both in yeah, both of the carronades are rocket launchers. That's interesting. And the way she's just like, <laughs> it looks like she's just constantly eating. Oh, little piggies! Look at the little, like, little fat little piggies on the side of the, uh, on the side of rocket launcher. That is adorable. Hmm. And she does wear a skirt, but I'm surprised it completely covers her and is, like, pretty much attached to her. I thought it would, like, flop down, but no, it's, like, pressed up on her. Huh. She actually has somehow better protection than Mika. <laughs> okay, there. Brother! She could have reloaded even faster, but she felt that she had the need to fucking take a bite out of the kebab just to do that. Like, why? But just reload first and then eat. Can you not, Melorda? Hmm. Her chibi model feels a bit different from her actual appearance. So, I mean, I guess that's to be expected, but this one's a little more different than the others. I don't know why. But whatever, we'll give her the pass. Belorda, Belorda is very cute. Ah uh, yes, our fair maiden Annis. We could forget. Yeah, no, she. Yeah, there's really not much to even describe. We already know Annis's greatness. No, I'll be honest, like, cause I haven't really used her like as a main. Also, yeah, so she has like grenade launcher for sure. But yeah, I haven't, I haven't been able to appreciate the culture. Cause I'm not gonna lie, the entire time I've been playing this game, I haven't been able to enjoy the culture in game, cause I'm too focused on firing at the enemies. Yes, sir. Oh, damn. just by moving, it's oh, fuck. Oh, but she actually hides it pretty well. But yeah, the main the main calling point, the thighs, easily the thighs. Oh, but hers isn't like uh, Pascal's. It's just like you have to keep on firing every time. Yeah, it's something more like a revolver. But Pascal's is just like a, mul a proper MGL. Interesting. So you can't really do much. Interesting. So there's a thing. Hers looks definitely more like an MGL 160, but operates a bit differently. Weird. Actually, did I read the thing for Belorda? Oh, I didn't even realize the thing for Belorda said she's the leader of the Karenades? Oh. Huh. Actually, I always just thought that they were a duo, just like a round table kind of thing, but no, so she's the supposed leader. Who is adorable and cuddly. Yeah, that's that, that sounds about right for her. Wait, above average intelligence? What the fuck? She's smart? Oh, jeez. And a soft spot for pulling pranks. Yeah, I should have expected that one. There's always a balance to everything in this universe, isn't it? And there's Ether, who just naturally rips her own stockings. Like, that's how you know she's dangerous on several levels. Mad scientists who believe that science is the domain of humankind. She can be often be seen carrying out all manner of experiments and overseeing the lives of her fellow MMR members. Yeah, no, that's uh, that sounds about right. Oh, I just even noticed uh, that she had a little barcode on the side of her. Odd. Wait, alright, no, hold up, hold up. I'm spotting multiple lab safety violations here. There's no closed-toed shoes here. There's no... Protective goggles here, just big ass glasses, no gloves. That lab coat is way too loose. I don't know what to make of this, but uh, whatever. Wow, that is a weird looking shotgun. It looks like a flamethrower at a first glance. Not sure what shotgun that's supposed to like reminisce in real life, if anything, or if it's just an original design, but eh, it'll work. But let me guess. God damn it, the coat completely covers her, dude. That's untapped potential. Let Ether get a special skin in the future, please, because this is just a travesty. Wait, huh? Is this just like a whole stick? Oh. Huh. 
栄養剤が欲しかったら図書館に来て。Okay, wait, that's actually a really cute chibi for her. Yeah, her chibi looks super adorable. Okay, here, here's the interesting one. N102. A Nikkei from Recall and Release who is outgoing and energetic, yet she inexplicably feels a sense of emptiness inside herself. Yeah, N102 is a very strange one to me. I don't really understand her just yet. But maybe in the future. Sato Misato, I'm not sure if I've heard that voice actually before either. But maybe. Butterfly. Yeah, that's weird. It's like she's awake at times and then no. She just like dims down. And yeah, that's what always like surprises me. Whenever she's actually in action, she just looks absolutely like petrified and just like fearful. Even though she's holding a goddamn rocket launcher. Though now that I think about it, goddamn, the thigh game is on point. Damn, boy! Alright, so she's been doing glutes. But there is no jiggle. It is completely protected. Just the sound, uh, it looks like she's just absolutely scared to be here. Uh, the Vietnam flashbacks. Just the dead chibi. Actually, wait. Oh, what? Does the bottom part of the jacket also zip up? Like, I'm trying to, like, see the different parts of it. Yeah. Yeah, it absolutely does. I feel like I feel like you get really, really hot if you go into, just, like, a, a, any, any place that's not freezing. You get really hot with that kind of outfit. I don't know why. Ah, uh, yes. It's Mihara. Do we really have to just, like, point out the obvious? <laughs> yeah, and she is an AR that I have used for quite some time, but never as a main. Never as a main, especially considering that she cuts my burst time by five seconds! Okay, actually, wait, that assault rifle does look cool, and it honestly looks familiar, even though, yeah, again, it is very geometric, but it looks oddly familiar. Can't put my finger on it. And oh, her coat also fucking hides it. There's so much going on in the front, and yet not. Hold on. Ah, that's where it is. And then when you reload, oh Jesus of Nazareth, the jiggle is on double S tier. Club? Drink more, she. Interesting experience. Can do it. All right, her TV is actually kind of cute, and it actually makes her look ever so slightly more decent. <laughs> but no, madam, no, that is, this is all sorts of illegal. Look, Jesus tried to thigh squish, I just noticed. Holy, watch out for blood circulation. Wait, actually, hold on. Her blood circulation, actually, no, she's, she's an EK. She probably doesn't have to worry about that. Never mind. And the only SR that I don't have besides the other two, Anchor. Oh, she looks adorable. And he came from Aegis Squad, who is passionate about marine life. She equipped with high-performance radar detectors in her body, so she made a significant contribution to the Admirer's voyage and combat. Alright, very Navy-oriented. Damn. Thighs on full display. Well, pretty much everything is on full display. How did you get wet, woman? Uh, hmm, you got a very light voice. Very, very light voice. Also, this appearance, I don't know who it reminds me of, but in general, it just reminds me of, like, somebody from Contact Collection. <laughs> oh, wait, what the fuck? She's a rocket launcher? Oh. Oh, damn. All right. It, it always surprises me whenever, like, some characters have just, like, much more different weaponry than I expected, but it is what it is. Hmm. Skirt is just barely safe. Giddy giddy safe. But if you shake it around... Okay, yeah, no, if you, like... Hit it real quick, then you could just see the jiggle. Yeah, it's all about the thigh. It's all about the thigh. Oh, quick reload. Yeah, she's all about business. I respect it. I respect it. Okay, wait. Actually, she has the cutest chibi so far. Look at her. Oh, that's so cute. That's actually really wholesome. Ah, yes, Delta. I need I need my daily dose of tomboy, you heard? I still can't believe that she's a she's a sniper rifle. Like I really, I, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to look up like what it's supposed to be inspired off of. I don't think it's the Beowulf. That that just looks a, more just like a like a modified AR platform, pretty much. But the one that can fire 50 cal's, oh jeez, oh, just even when moving is enough to like put it on full display. And you could just see, just barely see the cultured line. You can tell. 
what's underneath. Wait, hold on. That was a quick reload. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty decent. Damn, wait, hold on. I've been sleeping. The thigh game, you can tell. She's toned. Actually trained Nikkei. We appreciate that highly. Also, for some reason, like, just having the tattoo on the side here and just, like, having kind of like a blackish tank top. It reminds me a little bit of Ravi from Black Lagoon. That was goaded, by the way. Okay, yeah, she has a simple little chibi. But I don't know why, like, even though she's, like, very tomboy, she has, like, some of the prettiest eyes in the game. Even for an SR, like, I don't know, they, like, really stand out. And thus we have our firepower expert, Neon. A rabid gun nut who thinks about nothing else. Of course, a little shotgun user who keeps failing to realize that her bag is revealing the swimsuit underneath. That's adorable. Oh, so she, she does have like a separate uniform, like an actual thing. Because I know she has a different unit, but I didn't know she had like a, a different uniform. Hmm. Because that, okay, that shotgun, it reminds me a little of, mm, it's not exactly the Caltech, but there's probably some other like very similar shotgun like that. Ooh, it even has a sight. Oh my. Okay, hold up. Hot time out. I was actually kind of sleeping on Neon. The thigh game is S tier easily. Wait, she's oh she was doing all that in heels. Oh damn. I didn't even real I don't know why I thought Neon wasn't wearing heels, but no. Absolutely. God damn, now I see what she meant by firepower. Just the fact that even the chibi has like the bag pulling up the skirt. That's just like, it's the small details that make everything so much better. Best girl has arrived, let's go! Body check, all green. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, fuck, I forgot about the special uniforms. Yeah, what was uh, her uniform? It was just kind of like a, like an everyday outfit. Does her, does her bag also... Oh, no. Oh! So, yeah, the I forget. The animation does change if you have different uh, outfits on. So, yeah, now, now her purse isn't actually lifting up her skirt. So, now she's just a lot more confident. Hmm. Now then. Anything different? Nope. Oh, but wait a minute. Oh, I don't think... I don't think that's a swimsuit underneath anymore. Well then. Okay, actually, this... Yeah, it is a, it is a cuter little chibi. Now, let us appreciate more Rappi. Because uh, she has uh, two different ones. I know this one... Yeah, I do actually have this one. But I mean, I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. White Promise is just like an alternate coloring of her, the one that she currently has. But I don't know. It doesn't feel correct. And then... Summer business. Oh, dear God. All right, let's take a look at them one by one. Yes, sir. Okay, so she had... Actually, it kind of reminds me more of like a scar with an M203 attack. Well, actually, what even is that? Because she never fires grenades, does she? Yeah, no. Actually, I actually wonder what is that supposed to be? Well, the folding side, no. That's what makes me instantly think that this is a scar platform rifle. And this attachment just makes me think it's got to be like an M203. Oh my god, and yeah, no, like, even as a beginner SR, you just don't- Oh my- Holy fuck, dude. A beginner SR should not have this amount of, like, perfect jiggle, like, that's just insane. Oh, and she actually reloads fairly quick, too. I've never used her as a main, so I would never be able to tell. Huh. Yeah, Rabi seriously is the best girl. What the hell? Yeah, and her TV looks very different from like what she actually is. Cause yeah, no, her her portrait model like is stunning. That was really nice. Actually, let me just check it out with the uh, with the special skin. Yeah, no, just a, it's basically like a snow version of Rappi, but like the the contrast just doesn't feel right. But the jiggle is still the same, and thus we will still appreciate. Oh, there's a little in the front. Okay, yeah, there's some in the front. Yeah, this is pretty much the same thing. Although, actually, the chi it's, it's weird. The chibi version in this uniform looks better than the original. But now, the one to settle everything. Yep. Classic vacation. Body check. All green. God damn, there's just really nothing left for the imagination, is there? Yeah. Oh my fucking... 
Yeah, now, now you just got like a perfect view of it. Wait, she's doing it in sandals? I feel like in sandals or like in flip-flops is going to be like a lot more dangerous to like maneuver around. Actually, wait, it's kind of weird. I don't know why. Just not having the hat makes it feel different. Just seeing like her normal head, like her unexposed head, it feels different. Yeah, it's pretty much just the same like as before. Yeah, it's weird to see her without her hat for some reason. Oh, but wait, the chibi's way better. Yeah, the chibi's way fucking better. Oh, Jesus, it's just swinging around. But yeah, no, the chibi, yeah, the chibi for the summer one is easily the best. But still, Rappy is the best. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. The SSRs. Time to go through all of them bit by bit and see what am I in here for. I'll just go from top to bottom because I think that's like the order of like from like newest, like from oldest to newest, or I could be wrong. I don't know how they organize it. It's just kind of weird. But we'll just start off with Emma. She seems very bubbly, but I don't know. It seems like I feel like the ratio of like head to body feels a little bit off, but she is very sweet. Something of a sister figure for Absolute, who enjoys caring for others. Yet, there are times when she lets her guard down. Oh, what the hell? Was that a little curtsy? Oh, she has a very floaty voice. I enjoy her a lot. Uh, she, oh, wait, she's a machine gun. Oh, would have never guessed it just from her appearance. Very interesting. Oh, damn, wait, she has several, like... Oh, she has several outfits. What the fuck? Oh, she has a fucking Gatling gun! Holy! Yeah, she is definitely packing firepower, boys. Damn, boy. Oh. Oh, damn. That's going hard, but actually, I just noticed. Oh, yeah, it's all on the thigh. It is. All Wait, no. If it wasn't for the thing in the back, I would have probably fucking died about now. Yeah. Actually, for a Gatling gun, that was a really fast reload. <laughs> Holy. That is comically huge. <laughs> the Gatling gun is fucking massive. Okay, let's see her other outfits. I didn't I didn't actually know she had other outfits. Let's see. Oh my no. Who told her that she should wear an office uniform? This is supposed to be her casual outfit? Huh? Office therapy. Oh no, brother. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh, Alright, so I won't be able to get up for a little bit. Wait, what was that on the clipboard? Oh, she fucking smooched it. Alright. Okay, buddy. That is that is some proper service. And she has glasses. Yeah, I'm not surprised that she that she's hiding her ID there. It's a very convenient spot. That skirt is holding on for dear life, but it's actually doing its job. It's actually keeping it. Wait, it's stiffer than the other one. That's actually like such an interesting little detail. The fucking, th uh, yeah, since this is like a tighter material, like it's probably like a leather skirt or some shit, or it's just a tighter skirt in general. That is actually keeping the jiggle to a minimum when compared to the original. That's so odd. Oh, wait, her TV is super cute. <laughs> Jesus of Nazareth, there is nothing holding that together. There is no support. There is nothing there. Oh god, and she has a Christmas one. Yeah, sounds about right. Color me red. Oh. <laughs> okay, why is Emma actually this good? Like, that's... It, it, I've always been suspicious of characters that are that nice or that sweet. So I'm just like, hmm, surely, surely there's got to be something underneath. But I don't know, boss. Wait, actually, oh, wait, that actually looks really good for the minigun. Meow. <laughs> okay, no, no, never mind. It is much looser. But I have noticed that she's always in heels. I respect it. But Jesus, that is a, a weight. I feel like her hair is a lot more yellow in this chibi. What? <laughs> What a wonderful gift. Ah, if this is Yonai-san we've been waiting for? Ah, oh, 
Bless the stars. Ah, yes. Yeah, so this is the one that Zero's always been recommending and one that we're working towards. It is Privati. I oh, really? Okay. Ayana Taketatsu. They know what they were doing. They know what they were doing. A girl who puts on a hard front, but in fact, she enjoys taking care of others. At this juncture, she is the most highly skilled member of Triangle. Yeah, that sounds about right, considering the tier list. Is she a fucking... Yeah, so it is an AR. Though, oh, wait, that... What? Okay, that also looks familiar, but I can't put my... Uh, I can't put my finger on the name. I've definitely seen this kind of style before with the angled magazine and this kind of uh, heat shield. What is that? Uh, ah, she's a square. Let's go. I enjoy, I enjoy. So we got Privati, we got Helm. These two, I enjoy whenever you have the stiffs, you have the squares, and then you tease them a little bit. They get flustered and they get angry. We love to see it. Oh, so she only has, yeah, she does have another outfit. Interesting. Yeah, it's actually a really short AR. I thought it was going to be an SMG at first. Oh! Okay, so yeah, she's definitely an SSR unit. But god damn. And you can even see the outline on her. God damn. What is this Pro lack of protection? Damn. They really made a thick Hatsune Miku. That is insane, bro. And he just gets... Yeah, it's crazy like that. Wait, actually her reload is fucking fast. Okay, yeah, that's the part that I notice the most. Yeah, seriously, that is a tiny fucking assault rifle. <laughs> we her, <laughs> her twin tails are bigger than her fucking gun. Oh, that's great. I also love that she has a triangle mouth, the little, the serious mouth, like whoa. And what's her other uniform? Huh. Oh, that's her. That's her casual. Well, I mean, I, I kind of see it. Yeah, I do. I do see it a little bit. Oh, so it's the same. Okay, so it actually does like change up the. Uh, yeah, it changes up the rifle too a little bit. I actually do like that appearance a little better. Oh, not these kind of stockings. Goodbye to those. Oh, the recoil pattern changes. It's changed, brother. Jesus of Nazareth. Huh? Yeah, it's completely different now. It's a lot looser. Oh, oh fucking hell. Yeah, no, that's, uh... That is something. <sighs> yeah, Privati seems like a pretty good unit. Okay, here's Signal. Yeah, interesting. So Delta was the SR, but Signal's the SSR? She's so tiny. Look at her. She's so small. A communicator for the scouts and also the best in her field. As a massive fan of soap opera, she always harbors fantasy about toward love affairs. That's very particular, and I never would have guessed that. Oh, look at the little, like, the little bunny pouch that she has. Wait, is that like a... Yeah, it's a bunny keychain. Oh, yeah, I definitely see... Yeah, I can definitely tell what her favorite animal is. Wait, that's an MP5K. It's an MP5K. She's a submachine gun. That one's... That one... You cannot mistake that one. But seriously, is she just wearing, like, a whole ass fucking radio tower on her back? Oh, and she does have one. Huh. Well, looky there. Oh, she's so small! Even, even though the MP5K is, like, already fairly small, she's even smaller. Oh. Damn, wait, and actually she's like... Oh, she's completely kneeling. Wait, huh? Yeah, she's kneeling on the ground. Huh. Oh, wait. I actually love how the alcohol gauge just sticks straight up whenever you're firing. Does it loosen whenever you're reloading? Yeah. Oh, oh no. Okay, all right, buddy. Okay, whenever she's, like, not doing anything, it relaxes. And even when she's reloading, it, like, spikes up. Like, oh, oh she's so cute. Wait, what? Uh, she's so scared. Wait, does she do? Does she do the classic slap? All right, she's valid. Okay, yeah, no, I appreciate someone who could do the MP5 slap. That's proper. And what's her? Yeah, is her? Oh, what the hell? Sweet dream, dramatic chocolate, huh? So I'm I'm imagining this was supposed to be for like a Valentine's Day event. It's just a giant bat. 
Did she just like have coolers full of ice cream in here? And a banner for chocolate? Oh, wait, no, what are these? Chocolate bar? Oh, this is fucking Splendamin! Yeah, it is! Fake, but taste for real. 0% Choco. Choco Elysian. Oh, so they make chocolate as well. What are, what are these fish in the background? <laughs> Wait, I just realized, what is she holding? With the fucking bunny keychain again. Is that supposed to be a fucking pager? Okay, yeah, it definitely shrinks. Oh wait, her MV? Yeah, I actually do like the appearance of that one a lot better, but damn, you can see pure thigh in this one. Oh, and yep, yeah, you get to see a lot more this time. These are pretty- yeah, these are dolphin shorts, but they look huge on her. <clears throat> ah, that's cute. <laughs> just, it feels so different seeing that image and then just like the rest of the chibi. It's just like low res and then just like actual image. Okay, same looks kind of interesting. Ah, yes, here we go. Polly, I, I want to get Polly eventually because she looks super fucking fluffy. A member of the ARC Police Force and captain of the ACPU squad. Her appearance and her temperament are like that of a little puppy. Yeah, no, that sounds definitely about right for her. Like, she just looks so like, Oh, the band-aid. She looks small, but she packs a punch. Is that a... Oh, no, that's a shotgun. What the fuck? It, it's so weird. That looks like a TAR-21 or something, but no, it's a shotgun. Huh? What kind of firepower is she packing? No, but look at look at all the hair. It's just like so fluffy. You just like want to cuddle it, dude. Ah! Dude, okay, I need her, bro. Dude, Polly's so cute. Uh, she knows exactly what to do with her own fluffy little hair. She just tussles it and enjoys it. Ah, uh, like a soft little puppy. Actually, a small dog. There she is. Yeah, wow, that's a shotgun. It's a bullpup shotgun. Interesting. And yeah, dude, the floof covers everything. <laughs> I don't even mind. I, I still want I still want Polly just because of how adorable she is. I lo yeah, so it, it's very reminiscent of like a Tar-21 or just like some kind of style of that, but it's a shotgun instead. Though if you turn her around completely, she is just fluff. That is all she is, just like a big shaggy furball, and I love it. And wait a minute, was in the f She has a little snaggle tooth. She's actually a dog. And what's her, this one? Is this just- Oh, this is her everyday outfit? Sweet holic. Oh my god. Does she have a donut in her pocket? Is she carrying around a bunch of, like, iced coffee? Alright, yeah, that sounds like a cop. But, oh my god, she's super adorable. Ah, uh, she still enjoys her hair. Anytime that she does that, like, the little wavy mouth, it's just, like, it makes me think, oh, that must be so cuddly. I want to, I want to just floof it up. But yeah, still pretty much the same. As long as that, that the floof is around, there's nothing that you will get out of Polly. And that's honestly fine with me. <laughs> the shades! Oh my god. Ah, uh, yeah, you can see it from the side, but still. Those glasses. Those glasses are great. Now, please. That, that'd be... That's so good to get. One day soon. One day soon. Oh, I think this is, uh, yeah, her subordinate, Miranda. Yui Horie? What? Oh, shit. Yeah, they got a cast here. Any kid from the ACPU who has no lack of passion, but sometimes falls short in her work performance. Despite her supposed secret of being an ACPU inspector... Everyone is all too aware of it. But damn, just like complete midriff out. Yeah, she doesn't have much firepower up top. But I can tell with the thighs and just midriff, that is enough. Oh, the wing? Oh, and she's a submachine gun. Okay. Because what does she use? Okay, that is more like a... Uh, it, it, it reminds me of a PDW. Um, Kind of like the one Jackal has in Rainbow Six Siege. I don't know why. It's probably, oh no, because of this this stock right here. That that's why it makes me think that it seems similar. But that it's like a special angled foregrip that she has right here. That actually, looks kind of cool. And see, at least she has boots. She's ready for combat. Oh wow! Wait, that angle. Hold on. She has her like completely extended, flat on the ground, and the other one's kneeling. Damn! How do you pull off that pose? That feels like it's a pain. And yeah, you're not gonna get much out of her. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. 
所に皆さんからの問い合わせが殺到しておりとても困っております。She looks so serious, but wait, why? It, the, it, the, the submachine gun looks way bigger than it actually is. Like that, that's a big, that's a big PDW. <laughs> Ooh, and this is Brit. Ooh, I do like the design. An AZX driver from Infinity Rail, a workaholic and a perfectionist. She is widely considered to be the best driver in the arc. Really, a driver? That is very particular, but damn, let us break it down, fellas. She is. That's a really nice design. We love short hair. We love two toned hair. Is that, is that underside or is it just like the back of her hair? Either way, it's extremely valid. And yeah, no, this. uh... This top is holding on for dear life. We do appreciate the beauty mark. Beauty marks are always welcome. Hmm. Interesting little thing. So, yeah, so she's supposed to be a driver? I can't tell with her guns down there. Is she an assault rifle? Yep. Yeah. It is assault rifle. Oh, wow. She has uh, some alternates, but. Oh, what is that? Huh. That looks like a very, like, modular kind of. AR. It's not reminiscent of just like one solid thing. Like the upper receiver and lower receiver look entirely different. The angled magazine makes me think like a fucking um Oh dear god, yeah. How is that top even carrying what's there? It's just barely holding on for dear life. Oh fast reload though. Oh yeah, that's uh yeah, it's doing what it can. It really is doing what it can, but this long skirt is protecting everything else. Oh. oh, yeah, so she has oh she has a rat tail. That's what it is. Damn it, every time I think we have short haired waifus, no, they always have a goddamn rat tail. Every time. It it throws me off, man. Every time. But no, she actually does have a really cute chibi. Oh, so it's supposed to be just like underside. It's not just the back of her head. It's the it's the underside of her cut. Ooh. And that's supposed to be her casual? A lot of the casuals don't feel very casual. Well, in, in a way, it's just that like it's too... It's too gaudy, I would say. Okay. Oh, I actually do like the look of the weapon better here. Oh my god. Hey, how is it holding even looser? Okay, so the one that she uses for actual combat just barely holds on. This is just like tissue paper. Okay, yeah, no, it's just bouncing about. There's nothing. There's nothing for protection. Okay, but the chibi though, the chibi makes her look like this was like 18th century England. Oh, and that's the black. Okay, that's the one that is in the uh, the battle pass currently, Black Moon. Oh, that's also supposed to be a casual one? So there's Model Worker and there's Black Moon. Both of those are casuals? Huh. Okay, but that dress though. Oh yeah, I like the slight changes to the animations, depending on the outfit. Okay, but this one actually holds it so much. Wait, 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 nah. Nah, little bro, hold on. I did not just see. Oh my god, that dress is transparent, woman! Yeah, wow, she's, uh, she is the whole deal. Brid is, uh, pretty cultured. Soline, I've not seen this one. No fucking way! They got Inorin on this? Huh. And I don't hear Soline being talked about, really, so that's unfortunate. She's probably not, like, a, like a meta unit at all. But having Inorin voice her, that's crazy, man. An attendant of Infinity Rail that's responsible for attracting customers. She always wants to appear more adult-like in order to appear more competent. Though she may seem sure of herself all the time, the truth is she's just a braggart who often fails to live up to her words. We love to see the cocky ones. But wait, does she actually have dual weapons? Is, does she have a Kimbo SMGs, huh? Oh! Hey, yo. Without hesitation, shooting the cameraman. <laughs> Yeah, does she deadass have two? Yeah, she has a Kimbo SMGs! And she doesn't really show much. Oh, what the fuck? She reloads both of them? That's crazy. Alright. Settle down. Settle down. 
AZX でも見に行こう。The walk. It's just like a, it's just like a very angry walk. She's like, ah, God, I gotta do this again. For a unit that I haven't really heard of, I'm very surprised they got such a fucking A lister. I'm not even gonna say A lister. That's an S tier voice actress right there. What? Ah,、uh, yep. And Diesel, who is voiced by Rie Takahashi. The, the names just keep getting bigger and bigger. Holy fuck, man. Ah, and so she is the leader of Infinity Rail, who has a heart of gold. She always carries a bag of strawberry candy and helps guide lost passengers to their seats. Why is it? Why is she so wholesome? Yeah, you can even see the little strawberry candy there. Oh, she's so sweet. Oh, okay, wait. Yeah, she's super cute. Ah.、Uh, how is her skirt flapping that much? Where are the fans? Oh, and she has one more. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, she is、uh, most absolutely a machine gun. That. It's probably, I want to say that's an RPK 74M, but、uh, it could be a, a, a wide variety of AK style machine guns. Oh, and again, it's like, again, that style, like,、uh, like the Mega in CSGO. It just like, it slowly ramps up and then it gets even bigger. Oh, but she doesn't show much. Not much, but you can tell there is potential. Okay, no, she could reload faster, but she just had to do a little flick. All right, quit showing off. Okay, yeah, no, even her chibi is adorable. But what's her casual outfit? Oh, that is nice. That is nice. I don't know why, but the first, like, my first instinct when I saw this outfit was that this is very Japanese. Like, just you have the, the skirt all the way up to the bust, and then you just have, like, kind of、uh, just this turtleneck, exactly, specifically, turtleneck. Single color top with the jacket on top with the handbag and the watch and the thigh highs to boot. Yeah, this is a I, I don't know, it's just a very Japanese style fit. Oh, but it is, it is extremely like a, a very、uh, like a very date style outfit. We enjoy this. Oh, damn, and she's got the heels on. Not showing again, not showing much, but it's still, I feel like it's more than before. I could be just wrong, I could be just tripping, but we do it nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, no, she's adorable. Yeah, Diesel, Diesel seems pretty cute. I wouldn't mind getting her if I do pull her. It, it is what it is. Oh, and that's an Elysian SSR. I do need that for commissions. Okay, let's keep going. I see some members of Absolute. Ah,、oh, that's a joy. Ah,、oh, there's Vesti. Oh, she's also voiced by Rie Kugamiya. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Yeah. So they really do have just like. I mean, they already had a pretty stacked cast as is, so I don't blame them for reusing voice actresses. But the Min Girl, who is a crybaby. Despite this, she's actually said to be Absolute strongest ace member. Yeah, and of course she has a rocket launcher.、Yeah. I wonder why she's the strongest. Oh! Oh, wait. That's actually kind of cute. The way her eyes just like spot. I don't know. It's not really sparkling. It's like more watering. Because like it looks like at any time that she's just going to burst into tears. But that, that is actually kind of adorable. <laughs> ah. Okay, yeah, she is pretty adorable. And she just has the one uniform, which is valid. Damn. Oh, damn. But hey, okay. I was not expecting that. Um, hmm. Yeah.、Uh, Yeah, no. There, yeah, there's a bit of it. It's more width to any of it than anything. And again, with these interesting, like, angles. Is she supposed to be kneeling? Because it looks like she's actually off the ground. But her calves aren't on the ground. It's just her ankles? Like, what kind of what kind of firing position is this? Vesti, are you okay? Oh, simple reload. Bye, Michi. Oh, wait, that's actually kind of trippy. I just noticed that, like, her cape, like, oh,、uh, it looks weird in the chibi form. Like, the underside is supposed to be red. It kind of blends with the background, so I barely noticed it, but yeah. Oh, yeah, so it is. It was just like a complete, like, scarlet, like a dead ass, just solid scarlet, maybe like a matte. Scarlet, orangish, reddish, I don't know, whatever. Ah,、uh, yep, and here we go with the nasty attitude. It's Yunhua. 
The leader of Absolute who evokes an air of both arrogance and composure. Her perfectionism has pushed Absolute up to the pinnacle of success. I don't doubt it, but I mean still, like, she's... She's got a nasty look and a nasty attitude to match. But that sniper rifle do be kind of bussin'. <laughs> Ah, of course she would. Wow, you yeah, know, she she evokes the image of just the phrase, don't talk to me, 200%. But actually, no, wait, her hair is actually kind of trippy. Yeah, the interior of it is colored like a very, very light violet. Almost kind of like into blue. It's more like an indigo. That would be the proper color to describe it. Like more of an indigo-ish color, but very, very dull. As is she. Oh, wait, upon closer inspection, that... It looks more like a scout rifle than anything else. I thought it had, like, more power to it, but I mean, eh, not much. Yeah, I do actually do like the heels, so those do look sick. And yeah, she, of course, she doesn't have much. It, there's nothing getting in the way. Just pure business. Hmm, hold on. Let me see the reload for that. Oh, wow, yeah. And yeah, actually, it looks like a tiny-ass magazine, too. Oh, yike. Why does her chibi look way better? <laughs> She actually looks agreeable as a chibi, but in her actual form, yeah, I would not get near her. Ah, yes, I've heard. This game has Fischl. So this is Guillotine, a Nikkei from Extrinsic who is always off in her own world. She believes that it is her destiny to lead a solitary life. Half obscured with an eye patch, who knows where she draws her gaze. And she's Electro to boot. Holy fuck, it's actually Fischl, but in Nikkei. <laughs> And hey, yo, hold on, she has a machine gun? Oh my god. That I wasn't expecting. Oh my god. Yeah, no, she has the perfect voice to boo. Wait, actually, who is her voice actress? I mean, Koshimizu. I don't... Like, her voice actually sounded familiar, but I don't recognize the name. Might recognize her role if I look it up, but I mean... Huh. Interesting. And yeah, she only has a default costume. I don't think she has much, though. Yeah, oh no, it's just her hair. <laughs> we have another floof, boys. I actually didn't think her hair would be that big. Oh, very simple, very light reload. If I ever do get her, then it would be very enjoyable to tease and mock her just to like, get her to break character. That's what I love to do with all these. Goddamn Chunibios. Okay, this one definitely has a very interesting design just from the thumbnail. Uh, this is a maiden. Oh my. Oh, and her voice actually is Yui Horie? God damn, they knew exactly what to do with her. All right, buddy. I mean, there's not much else to say. Just from the design alone, already like top tier. I want to see her without the mask though. That would seem kind of cool. Oh, so she's also from Extrinsic. Who dresses to impress, really? Really? Underneath her mask lies a shocking secret. Oh, so there's lore to it. Oh, so she's also Electro, but she has a shotgun. Ah, okay, so it is a shot. Damn, that's a huge fucking... All right. Well, I mean, pretty much everything about her is huge. Wait, I actually just noticed her coat. Wait, bro, that looks sick. But also heavy as fuck. The way that it cocoons around her makes me think this is a really solid fucking fabric. Like, damn, dude. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's cute. Okay, all right, that was cute as fuck. So yeah, a shocking secret, really. Show again. That's cute. Anytime that, anytime that mask characters show their face, like how Shinobu does in Genshin, it's always like it always just brings me to life. Seriously, I love unmasking characters like that. Hey, you can see a bit. All right. Oh my god. All right. Okay. So you can see it from the front. Hey, she does have another outfit. Hello. Hmm. Oh wait. Okay. So yeah, it's a shotgun with a like a built-in bayonet attachment. That's kind of cool. God damn. But she got thick thighs though. Okay. And oh yep, yeah, the coat covers everything. I should have realized that first. Ah oh, man. Damn. But those heels are flexible though. Oh, that's what it is. Got it. Oh, and yeah, she has to reload shell by shell. All right, so it's going to be one of those. Alrighty. Wait, she doesn't have that much hair, does she? 
It looks a lot bigger in the chibi than before. Actually, her chibi is very adorable. But she doesn't have that much, does she? Oh, wait, she does. It's very long, but she doesn't have, like, too much that interferes. So, let me guess in the other skin. Oh, my fucking god. Wait, how is this supposed to be, like, an everyday outfit? This is just, just straight up a nurse outfit. This would be something she would wear alongside Mary. But goddamn, am I blessed. Yeah, the animation doesn't really change, thank goodness. But holy, yeah, that outfit is really, really good. Oh, yeah, you could see a little bit. Oh, but yeah, you still can't see much. Yeah, there it is, the hair. So yeah, she does have very long hair in general. Oh my... Yeah, so, uh, you could, you could still see it very well from the chi- Okay, yeah, in the chibi, it's very, very evident. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting Maiden in the future. And thus we have... D. <laughs> Just D. Why, why D? The leader of Perilous Siege. Not a single wicked soul will escape her grasp, for as long as she believes her death will be a benefit to the world. Has a tendency to play up her persona when carrying out a mission. Somewhat Chunibyo? Maybe? We'll see. Okay, so she's wind. She got the axe, though, but... Oh, what? Hey, hold on, that... From a glance, this is a... That's a P90, isn't it? Yeah, it's a submachine gun. Is that a modified P90? I can't... Yeah, I can't really see from this angle, but... No, she's got... Wait, no, she's carrying everything. No, she's got, like... Uh... No, I was gonna say that's a Glock, but no. It's not It's not rectangular enough. Those motherfuckers are way too geometric with it. This is actually something else. It's more like a competition gun, but with a suppressor on it? Or is that supposed to be, like, a giant fucking muzzle brake? I'm actually not sure. Not sure, and this is probably a flashlight and laser attachment, I'd guess. With an extended mag, yes, sir. I don't know if she has an axe. Wait, that axe actually looks very square and not very sharp. But that could just be me. That is definitely a P90, though. So. And yeah, she just has the one outfit. And you see, she at least has proper shoes for combat. Okay, yeah, buddy, that's a modified P90. But, ooh, wow, it is crazy modified. Like, okay, I'm guessing you could use that as, like, a separate foreground. Or that's supposed to be a laser and a flashlight like this uh, that she has on her sidearm. But, th yeah, this sight, though, what the fuck? And again with this attachment. Is it supposed to be, what is it, a compensator muzzle brake? Not sure. But it's huge, nonetheless. Damn. Oh, wow, even through the cape, you could see she is hiding firepower. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and thank God. Oh, that's a beautiful P90. Thank God. Someone does have a P90 in this game. All right. That's appealing. That's appealing. Oh, she actually does look very adorable in this uh, little chibi. Ah, here we go, boys. This is one I really do want. Yes, sir. It is Helm. I did, unfortunately, have to miss the swimsuit one, but I mean... Hey, it'll work. It'll work for me. I enjoy squares. I enjoy the serious types just so I can break them and make them flustered. Well, not break like that, but I mean like, okay, now that sounds just awful. Fuck, ignore me. Uh, stop, cut, cut. <laughs> the leader of Aegis and the captain of the Admire, an amphibious warship. She eagerly awaits the day when she can prove her mettle in naval combat. Inoue Marina, I feel like I've heard her name before. Very appropriate that she's Hydro, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, her swimsuit is literally just like the top of her thing, except without any of the medals or decorations. Huh. Oh, yeah, so she is standing on top of... Uh, yeah, it's implied that she's standing on top of the admirer, I'm guessing. Wait, she had a separate swimsuit skin? And she also has a summer unit? Hello? Huh? Wait, I didn't even realize... Is she a fucking... Wait, what is that? Don't tell me that's a fucking sniper rifle. Oh my god, it's Helm's a sniper rifle? Oh! Why did I not realize that? Huh. Damn, that is a trippy sniper rifle with a magazine on top, hello? Yeah, this is funky. This looks like a very old-style sniper rifle, too. Damn. Oh! <laughs> yeah, no, you can absolutely see just everything. That skirt is doing no favors for you, madam. I'm gonna be the first one to admit. Hold up! Wait a minute! Wait, she just- did she just knock it out from the side? Oh, look at that. Yeah, the lever of that. That's supposed to be the mag release. So she just hits it from the side, it ejects, and she could just slap it back in. Oh, that's actually a really cool design. 
Although I was interested more in the sniper rifle than Helm herself. Because the unfortunate thing about sniper rifles is like, can you shoot? You don't see anything, so it's all just in the front. And thank God she has enough in the front. No, wait, actually, let me see the other skin. I almost forgot. Oh, oh, wait, no, it's not a swimsuit. Oh, oh. God damn. That's a fucking party dress and a half. Yeah, that's, uh, that is something. Chandelier, yeah, that's actually a really fancy dress. Show me. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, the animation for her does change it completely whenever it's in this one, but... Damn, fancy! Reminds me a little bit of, um... St. Louis's uh, secondary outfit in uh, Contact Collection. What was the name of it? Um, it was something, but that dress was not doing anything. Same thing here. Well, actually, let me see if it is going to do anything. Hey! Uh, yeah, I mean, it does cover up. Actually, I think it covers up more. Wait, I actually like the feather. I love the color. Yeah, the color palette of Helm is what really gets me. Oh, yeah, but yeah, you just see more clear. Wait, damn, the sniper rifle looks cool as fuck in this one! Chicken. Okay, this one's a little trippy. Like, it, I know it's a party outfit, but in the chibi, it looks more like something out of Greek mythology. I don't know why. It just feels like it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know, but I'm hoping to get home one of these days. Yes, sir. And speaking of anything aquatic, uh, this is uh, this is Neon Summer Unit, isn't it? Yep. Blue Ocean. Huh. To adapt to the new aquatic base environment, Neon has decided to incorporate another tool in her arsenal, switching over to water power over her original firepower. Okay, interesting. Wait, hold up, Neon has been hiding stuff. Neon has been hiding stuff, hello? I just- <laughs> Fucking fire. But it's just like a, a little unicorn floaty. Can she even fit in that? That looks so small. And what is she even hold- Yeah, what even is she sitting on and reading off? Are those supposed to be like tablets? Because I mean, obviously this is just like- a freezer, like a little cooler. And this- Wait, where are those droplets coming from? Hold up, we need detail. Yeah, it's coming from her hair. Oh, that's a nice little touch. Yeah, you can see that, like, the special skins have gotten some significant upgrades over time. Okay. Um. Okay, I don't know if I need to censor that, but just for safety's sake, I'm gonna censor that. Basically, for those who can't see... When the water droplets hit her outfit, it, the the discoloration of the of the bikini makes it look like there's something just right there, and it's a it's a different color closer to the one of her skirt. Oh my God! Okay, I don't know if I I don't know if I can show that. Yeah, wow, this is a bit of a crazy unit. What does she have? Does she still have the shotgun? No, wait, did she switch weapons? Oh, now she has a machine gun. Oh, that is nice. So they don't stay on one, like, weapon class. They can absolutely change what kind of weapon they have. Thank God. Okay, so yeah, it's just... Wait, no, that is... No, is that really a machine gun? That's... It just kind of looks like an M16 with a massive fucking dual drum magazine. Actually, I do like the uh, the look of it. That that beach theme is going real nice. Oh dear. Yeah, no. She do be hiding some firepower. Wait. Oh, hey. Okay. The wink. Oh, okay. Show me that reload again. Just a glint, and then the little wink. All right. They they knew what fans wanted. That's real good for neon fans. They must be eating scrumptiously. And yeah, it doesn't look nearly as dangerous as the portrait, ironically enough. Oh wait, her chibi's cute! Yeah, actually, the, yeah, it makes her look a lot more innocent, and then you go to the fucking portrait. Yeah, no. Keep an aquatic theme in check. It is masked. Alright, so... Hosho Marin. Um, yeah, <laughs> can't believe we have a VTuber in the game. Mass has longed to hit the high seas ever since she first saw the swashbuckling adventures portrayed in pirate films as a child. As time drew on, however, her soul-crushing tenure at the naval squad slowly made her disillusioned. Even so, her vibrant personality remains untarnished, and she always brightens everyone else's day aboard the ship she serves. Oh, well, she seems wholesome. But yeah, she also seems like a pirate cosplayer, so... Yeah, they literally just put money in the game. <laughs>
いつかモーガンと一緒に海に出る I almost lost my words there. But yeah, interesting. She has more of like a. I would say like more of a tomboyish voice. I don't know why. I expected her to have like a lighter. It's probably because I still have Marin stuck in my head, but no, this is masked. This is an entirely different character, surely. <laughs> yeah, no, I actually like her voice. Hello? And that coat is way too big for her, but it looks cool as fuck. And she also has. Oh, yeah, she definitely has a swimsuit skin. Hmm, what is that? Is that a uh is that a submachine gun? It is a submachine gun, huh? Interesting. That's a a very antique looking one too. What is with the parrot by your side? What is this bird? Oh what madam, that is see-through. There is no purpose. Yeah. Hey, yo, but the thigh jiggle is on point. That is valid. Actually, what was the bird doing the whole time? Yeah, no, he's just floating around there. <laughs> okay, yeah, even the chibi reminds me of Marin. Holy. Yeah, no, she actually is extremely cute. Yeah, I would not mind getting masked anytime soon. Actually, what was the other skin? What was the other skin? I'm oh, dear. By Jove, we've hit land. Yeah, no, it just becomes a lot more obvious then. Okay, yeah. And you can actually see in the front this time. Eh, not much, but it's it's something. Yeah, it's all just in the back. And they can never keep their clothes just dry, can they? Oh, you just noticed the band-aid on her leg. <laughs> Is that on the uh thing? Oops. Wrong button. Oh fuck, he just blocks it, man! So yeah, she and she probably does. Oh wait! I didn't even realize, yeah, the animation changes for her as well. Oh my. Yeah, that thing is holding on for dear life. Let's end off the ocean section for now. And uh, there's, there's Finchie Han. Yeah, it's quite literally just her uniform. Well, it actually might be a simpler uniform than the other one. I have no idea. I did arrive I had, to, I had to specify my words right there. I arrived whenever Helm and Anis dropped during the Summer Banner, but I didn't really want to go for them uh, just because, like, there were some other units that could have benefited more. That I really wanted to be. So that's... It was a shame, but, I mean, it is what it is. Helm sets off on an adventure in Blue Water Island. Although she looks strange wearing a uniform over the swimsuit which was given to her, people can't help but be attracted to her getup. And that is very, very valid, because, uh... I know the animation for this one. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> she's all angry. And I love she gets so angry to the point where she just steams herself back to being dry. God, but seeing seeing the seeing the stiff characters get flustered is one of life's greatest pastimes. Because actually, yeah, no, in fact, uh, she's not. She's not a sniper rifle anymore, is she? Yeah, she goes to assault rifle. Ah, oh, fuck. That would have been nice. But I don't know why, but I prefer just like weapons that can be continuously fired instead of just like the slow charge type of high damage weapons. Like I could understand like rocket launches and sniper rifles could be useful. It's just that as a main anyways, I would not ever use that. But damn, I would absolutely use her. Ah, uh, I feel bad now that I did skip it, but it was a it was a sacrifice. Oh, it's actually a, like a very slow firing assault rifle. Feels heavy. That actually looks more like a. Uh... Oh wait 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 yeah no this style. I feel like this is like a QBB variant. Um, it it feels reminiscent to like uh either either QBB or some kind of Chinese style assault rifle. I don't know why, but it, it's not it's not a FAMAS. It's not a FAMAS. It's too short like that. This thing, the rail is it's not uh, it's not high enough, but this is more reminiscent of like a QBB, especially because of like that bullpup design. I could be wrong, but I'll have to check on that later. Ah, uh, yeah, no, yeah, the chibi is very good, and oh, yeah, it still highlights everything. Yeah, it is a sacrifice. Uh, she actually looks. I don't know why she looks so much cuter in this like 
in this portrait than in her normal one. In the normal one, she's just like a very stiff, very serious kind of military commander. But here she just looks more docile, and that's why I want to tease one more time. We love Helm in this household. All right, let's take a look at some other ones. Maxwell, I've heard some good things about. Ooh, oh, kind of cool. I could see her being a gearhead. Oh no, brother! Her voice actress is Soda Mamiya. Okay, it's done, bro. It's done. She's great. A genius researcher who loves nothing more than machines and knowledge. As the brain of Mattis, she is both perceptive, whip smart, and capable of producing weapons in a flash. Ah, yeah. So she's the one that actually comes up with weaponry and such. Oh, not the not the knockoff Duracell. <laughs> Whoa, but her look is kind of crazy. I don't know how to feel about this one. Because the top half is pretty much all human-like. And then the rest of her is just like complete like cyborg stuff. It looks like she came straight out of Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> don't fucking tell me that whole thing is a sniper rifle, huh? I swear to you that was going to be like a machine gun. That's a sniper rifle? It's fucking huge. Oh, yep, I hear it. It's Aqua. Oh, no -y. I just wonder what the drone does during all this. Let's have a look. Oh, she actually has a different one? Hey! Wow, yeah, that actually is a sniper rifle. It's big as fuck. Don't tell me this is the magazine, though. Jesus. She even has a bipod. I mean, she actually gonna use it, though? Oh! Yeah, that whip is crazy. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. No, this whole look is crazy. She has something directly attached from her back, leading to her weapon. Is that a weapon, or where's that attached to? Wow, and that actually is the mag- Okay, yeah, no, it's going directly from her back to the battery in the gun. What? Hold on, what is she cooking? Mm. Well, she is cooking, but I mean, I mean, the sniper rifle, what is she cooking with this? Is she supposed to be acting as the battery, like the charger for her weapon? What is she up to? Oh, damn. Actually, I just noticed. Yeah, she's, uh... Mm -hmm. Well endowed. Oh, ooh, I can see. I can already tell you. It looks tough as fuck to walk with it. Yeah, that could be actually kind of a... Kind of a, a disadvantage to even walk around with this thing. Either detach it when you're not using it, or she always has to carry it basically on her right side, like her dominant side. Actually, the, yeah, actually, this one's a pretty all right little chibi. It, yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty all right. Oh, wow, yeah, so she, I heard she is a pretty good unit, and she has, she has Aqua's voice actress to boot, along with a myriad of other excellent characters, but, jeez, she is definitely a mixed bag. She's very unique in that sense. Like, that whole, that whole battery thing is nuts. I would like to know more about her. We'll see in the future. Hello, Uni. Yeah, she do be kind of a freak. Does she even have it? Oh, she does. Oh, I completely forgot. Maxwell had another one. I totally forgot. Yeah, I was so caught off guard that I forgot. Maxwell has another skin. Oh, damn. Oh, so that's her... Uh, huh, that's her everyday look. Really? Interesting choice. Bit of a bounce. Oh, wait, actually, this kind of looks cool as fuck. I didn't even notice, like, how the machines changed. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. They shows the battery level now. Wait, no, don't fucking dare tell me that these are the bullets in her weapon. They're fucking massive. She's like a mobile howitzer. Oh, wait, that's actually kind of cold. Ooh, buddy, okay. That's cool, yeah, you don't... You basically exchange the horny for the awesome. Like, that shit looks cold. Ooh, buddy, that looks cool as hell. Does she actually do anything with the mask? No, it's just like a visor to keep on. Ah, if only you could take it off, but... Oh, and she has it in the chibi! Yeah, yeah, and it still has like that thing attached, so it'd be hard to walk around with it. But still, that looks really fucking cool. Back to Uni. Yeah, I, I never really paid attention to her. What is her... Yeah, she's rocking along. Oh, oh, jeez. Wait, she's actually packing much more firepower than I ever anticipated. God damn. The thigh game is stupendous, bro. Oh, yeah, and her reload is... Eh, it's fairly simple, fairly quick. A lot of front-loading rocket launchers from what I see. Oh, wait, and she's always focused in with her chibi, huh? 
Has anyone else been like that? Because they always just walk around with their weapons, but she's the only one that actually has, like, a sight set constantly. And now for the other one. Is it supposed to be her everyday? Yeah, it is her everyday. Oh, of course. Of course she does this kind of outfit. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's kind of cute. She has keychains of her and Mihara. That's... Even though she's a bit of a freak, well, even though they're both a bit of a freak, uh, it's, it's very wholesome. Wait, god damn. Don't did she have that much squish in the other one? Yeah, she did. I never realized it, but for some reason I realized it with this other skin. God damn. Oh, but this, it's like the skirt covers more, but actually it's... There's a, there's a culture to this, ladies and gentlemen. Like, it's just barely out of view, but you can see the indent of where it goes from thigh to bread and it's just that's actual that's actual culture right there but yeah the overall the overall skin is just like eh, it's too like i don't know oh fuck all right i like how sometimes the chibis will reveal more than the actual skin it just gives you little tidbits of <laughs> fucking clothing lore ah uh, yep and here we have leader I cannot believe she's that high on a tier list. And she's supposed to be just uh, your classic Loli Baba, the leader of Mighty Tools. Contrary to her appearance, she has already lived a long life. At present, no other Nika can surpass her when it comes to construction. Okay. Yeah, no, that, that outfit is definitely somewhat appropriate for construction. At least she has a hard hat on. But yeah, no, she she's supposedly an old lady. She's a grandma. But... I don't know why they stuck her brain into this kind of Nikkei. Okay, wait, her her voice actually sounds really familiar though. Hold on. Yeah, Yuka Higuchi. Oh wait, wait, I've heard that before. Who's she voice? Yeah, no, I've I've heard her definitely. Definitely. Oh, she does have another one. Yeah, that is a... That is... A, that looks like a modified Mac 10 Wait, hold on. What the fuck are we working with here, boys? Also, this dog is extremely adorable. I know his name is Bolt. And he's extremely adorable. He is a good boy. But wait, no. What do we got here? We've got an EOTech site. Is that a compensator, I imagine? Compensator or suppressor? We're gonna find out. This, I feel, is a Mac 10 Or a micro Uzi, actually. And this is just a drum magazine. Holy shit. Oh, god damn. She do be slim, though. She do be very slim. Yeah, so not much else, but thank god skin suits exist. Or body suits, whatever you call it. Oh, wow, that was actually fairly quick for that kind of weapon. Alright. There goes a small one. She, she looks ironically more... She honestly looks bigger in this than in her actual form. <laughs> and what's the other one? <laughs> Of course. <laughs> of course. She might be she might be the old lady of Nikkei, but with that kind of with that kind of what what would they call it? Just like the mech? Because realistically Nikkei's are just mechs with a brain in them. So even though they gave her this kind of mech for her kind of brain, they they just had to give her the fucking school one piece swimsuit with thigh highs. And I wonder why she's wearing that kind of jacket, but eh, it'll work. Oh. oh, wait, okay. I actually like that different animation. That that different animation is actually kind of adorable. Bull just barking at something and that is a whistle, huh? Uh, she cranky. Oh my god, the fish on her head. <laughs> oh, that's actually brilliant because I did see Bolt like just randomly licking the top of her hat and now it makes a lot more sense with the fucking summer outfit there's a fish on her head oh geez okay yeah officer she is older than most of the nikkeis in the game trust me that and she is extremely high tier so it's all good surely wait but the thigh game do be on point with the squish Wait, oh, dude, the fish! The fish follow. They just jump in unison. And the googly eyes on her hat. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, actually, leader's great. Yeah, no, I, I would not mind absolutely going to jail. I mean, getting leader. Seriously, she's like a walking prison sentence. Let's take a look at Julia. A lot more legal. Oh, she has Aine Sakura's? Okay, okay. 
Yeah, she's got a good voice actress. Wait, what has she got? Is that a violin gun? Ooh, she nice with it. A violinist whose life revolves around music. Belonging to Master Han, she uses music as a way to express herself. Oh, wow, yeah, that actually looks really cool. Is that just a normal assault rifle? Yes, it is. We do appreciate assault rifles. And goddamn, we do appreciate midriff. Oh, she also has another one. Oh, damn, okay. I don't know why I never noticed. Yeah, it's probably like in the portrait, it didn't show really too much firepower. But yeah, no, she has some firepower. Oh, yeah, I accidentally reloaded. Oh, wait, that veil is transparent. Oh, yeah, and you can see pretty much everything else. Jesus of Nazareth. Oh, it feels like it fires slower than usual. Yeah, that's a, more like a slow firing assault rifle, which is, eh, it is what it is. But I, I always enjoy, I do appreciate thigh windows a lot. And that one is spectacular. I never get tired of that voice. And what's the other one? Mild Nocturne. Wow. Her other skin makes her a lot more, like, decent. <laughs> Wait, actually, that case. Wait, that guitar case. Well, it's a violin case. That violin case. That's beautiful. Or actually, is it a violin case? Because the thing is, violins are super tiny. Those cases are not that big. That's more for a guitar. What is she carrying in there? Yeah, it actually makes her look more appropriate, ironically enough. Yeah, it does. It entirely makes her more appropriate. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Yeah, we're gonna switch off of that, are we? Alright, wait, hold on. This this color scheme. This color scheme actually fucks. Yeah, Julia's pretty cool. Ah, yep. I see you in the shop all the time, my dear Senti. Yeah, no, I she's kinda interesting. I like her style. It feels a lot more human-esque than some of the others. I don't know why. I don't know why. Although that pose though, like, goddamn, she really do be flexing the hip. An artisan with incredible strength who puts her heart into everything she does, never failing to get the job done at Mighty Tools. As Leader's first apprentice, she has great respect for her mentor. She always listens to what Leader says and studies her techniques in earnest. Oh, so she's a good girl. But yeah, no, she looks the most human so far. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's probably just the alpha, but yeah, no, she looks like an absolute gearhead. Yeah, I don't know why. And also, okay, it might just be, it might just be like that little like semi awkward smile, like the side smile and the band aid on her nose. It just makes me think she's very like earnest, I would say. She's like very genuine and just kind of like not, not necessarily wholesome because <clears throat> no, she's not, I, I wouldn't say she's very wholesome, but. She's definitely like someone you can easily get along with and someone you could trust without a problem. Like she, she's very nice. Uh, does she? Oh yeah, she does have another one, eh? Huh? Oh wait, what the fuck? She's a rocket launcher? Or well, I'm guessing that's a grenade launcher. Huh? I did not expect her to be a grenade launcher at all. Huh? Hey, yo, she got the sneakers though. These kind of look like. I don't know, these like some fucking Reeboks. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, she... She feels the most human out of any. Like, to be honest with you. Wait, huh? Are they, How tiny are they? Wait, oh, never mind. Huh, those grenades look tiny as hell. And yeah, it's one of that... It's one of those mechanisms, not like a multi-grenade launcher. I think only Pascal has that. Or I could be wrong. But yeah, no, so she has the one kind of similar to Anis's and some of the other grenade launchers. Huh. Okay, yeah, no, you can tell, like, with the expression on her chibi, she definitely looks like she's kind of, like, unsure at times, but she's still, like, willing to put in the work. It's just like, ah, I'm a little nervous, but I'll still do it. I don't know, she seems, she seems very... Amiable. That's how I would put it. And actually, let me see. What's the other one? That's gotta be your casual. Yep, that's your cat. <laughs> Thank the stars for casual clothing. She definitely looks the most human, like, thus far. And did she have... No, she didn't have her bangs out. Yeah, no, she picked her bangs up. And so... Oh, she has flat bangs? 
Would never expect that from her. Would never expect that from her. But I love how she still has the gloves even with her casual outfit. Well, casual, quote unquote. These chicks don't get a break. Actually, wait, what, does her animation change at all? Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, because she doesn't have a visor. That's right. I actually wonder what's the point of this top? It's just like already cut off here and you could already see below that. Like, what's the point? Santi, what are you doing? It's some modern fashion. Oh, <laughs> Wait, no, fu it's ripping, brother, it's rip. oh my god. When you can rip short, like jean shorts, when you can rip jorts in this manner, like that is some firepower. I also hear Senti is pretty good, so this is gonna be some untapped culture. And wait, I just realized her bangs are coming, oh! Now I see, yeah. So instead of just like pulling them down, she actually just pulled her bangs from the hole in the hat. Oh, that's kind of neat. Interesting look. Oh, but yeah, it's, it looks so goofy. I, I don't know. I, I'm not much of a fan of flat bangs. Sorry, Ayaka and Joyers. But like, it, it's kind of adorable with her. Yeah, no, I, I'd, see, I'd say Senti would be a very enjoyable character. One day, one day. All right, let's take a look at some bad bitches, yes sir. So this is Jure. So oh, what? How would they get Sumire Oesaka on this? Oh buddy, I'm enjoying this. I really do, I really do enjoy a lot of Japanese voice actresses and they have a lot of my favorites. A hero who yearns to be a villain. As part of Mattis, she has the special ability to detect radio waves with her body. Oh, interesting. But why does she want to be a villain so bad? Ooh. <laughs> oh shit, and she actually stays like that until let me guess until you do it again. Okay. Huh, so Drake has the special animation. Interesting. Damn, but I actually do I do detect some midriff here. But yeah, no, I'm probably I'm probably guessing that like the entirety of her is just gonna be covered up. Oh, she has another skin? Huh. Oh, and she has it on. Oh, wait, never mind. That's a lot shorter than I thought. And yeah, no, she's entirely covered. Yeah, there's not much. It's just pure recoil. We're chilling for now. Oh, and she keeps it on. Oh, but you can see the visor, yeah. Huh, yeah. I would have not been able to tell that was Sumire Oesaka. That's crazy. She got some good range. But what's the other skin? I've not seen that. Oh, my. Hey, yo, they have race skins in this? Holy, race skin, race queen Drake. Damn, but that's a heavily modified vehicle. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but I'm guessing just like off of the rotundness and the back, it looks reminiscent of a Bugatti Veyron or maybe a Chiron. I could, I, I'm not too familiar because like whenever they modify cars in this form, like it's just, it's very difficult to tell. But damn, this skin is night and day from her original. Ooh. Okay, the wink though. <laughs> Damn, hold on. No, because now we have exposed midriff. We got the shades and we have a fucking wink at the end. <laughs> that is nice. That is nice. Oh, thank God. She doesn't have the visor here. Yeah, actually without the visor. Yeah, no, she actually does look kind of pretty. Not going to lie. Oh, and now we have actual visibility. Wait, damn. The thigh squish is S tier. But yeah, she's uh, eh, fairly simple. Not bad, not bad. Oh, okay. That's great. The fucking car. What is it supposed? Is it just uh, implied to be like an RC car? That would have been hilarious. But no, it's probably just a miniature version of it. Oh. Huh? What? Oh, what the fuck? Yo, so she also has a transformative animation for her chibi? What? Huh? No, what? <laughs> Show me that. Yeah, no, because then it just follows her. Oh. Wait, no, she has multiple. Huh? That's her actual walking one, and then the car follows her. That's when she's still, and then it fucking... Huh. What? <laughs> Or is that implied to be when she's firing? Let me check something. Sanding. Walking. Yeah, no, it's just... Is it... So it was literally just her. Huh. What makes Drake so special? All right, let's see... 
Pro. Okay, yep. Everything about her just tells me I can fix her. <laughs> but I have no idea about her because I, I, I know I've seen her in the PV going against Rappi, so they definitely got some beef. But I don't know. I don't know. One glance at her, I can tell. She is full of personal problems. She probably chain smokes. Smells like a pack of Marlboros. Mm. Maybe enjoys a bit of whiskey on the side. But, hear me out. Oh my. They told you not to stick your dick in crazy. But... Oh, she's also got Sora Mami as a voice actress. Hello? Damn. They're reusing real quick. The leader of Exotic from the Outer Rim. Oh, yeah, now it makes sense. There is a whiff of madness underneath her calm exterior, like a ticking time bomb that could go off at any moment. Oh, yeah, she's got mental problems. Check. Yeah, no, this is a recipe for disaster, and I'm all here for it. Is that a submachine gun? Yes, it is. Yeah, no, she is in tatters. She probably hasn't, like, bathed for a day or two. The tattoos. Piercings. Full, like, a bunch of leather. Yeah, no, this is absolutely, like, red flags everywhere. But I am here for them. Yeah, she chain smokes, for sure. Actually, are those smokes? I really can't tell. I imagine, imagine they're just like chocolate sticks or something. <laughs> oh, wow, and Crow only has the one outfit. Get disrespected. Oh, wait, she has a Kimbo. Oh, I didn't even realize that. What are these supposed to be? Can't really make out what it's supposed to be. Damn, those boots, though. Spiked boots? <laughs> And of course, she has a fucking skull and wing tattoo on her back. Classic edgelord. Oh, jeez, but the re- <laughs> The bounce is ridiculous. Oh, oh, oh my fuck. I was ill-prepared, brothers. I was ill-prepared. What was that? Jesus. I thought the- it, just, it looked like it was leather, but like that protects nothing. That is just barely holding on. It's more like an accessory for her than a support. Jesus Christ. But again, going back to those spiked boots, um... I wouldn't mind being kicked. Oh wait, her TV actually looks cute though. <laughs> wait, okay. That walk though. It's so weird to hear Aqua's voice come out of such a red flag character. <laughs> but yeah, no, the walk is actually adorable. She just has to swing. Yeah, but no, I imagine that she's not, uh, she's not very welcome in most places, so we'll see. But if she is, uh, she's brought into the party, then, uh, I will do my best to fix her. I'm seeing how many I have left, and, uh, fuck, this is going to take a long time. This is gonna take a long, long time. What have I done? Hello, Pepper. A doctor who takes care of her patients with optimism. She is like a vitamin to Seraphim, and is admired by many as an idol of the hospital. Oh, okay, so she's the one that works alongside Mary. For sure. For sure. But what's with that outfit? It's definitely not very, uh, medical. Well, actually, now I think about it, both her and Mary have fucking sweaters. What? And wait, that's like a giant fucking weapon. Is that a, is that a shotgun? What the hell you bring in here? Oh, she's very peppy. Oh, it's weird. Her skin? It's a very odd tone. It's like kind of like she got sunburnt, but it's I don't know. It's a very it's a very like pinkish. Very pinkish kind of color. I don't know why it's like that. Oh no, and she has a different outfit. And I see it's a nurse outfit, but it is definitely not up to OSHA standards. Okay, that, yeah, no, that is uh I swear I've seen that kind of, like, shotgun before, but I cannot fucking remember. Wait, those shoes, they are oddly clean. Oh my! Alright, let's slow down for a bit. Thigh game, check. Bread factory, check. Honey, you have to reload faster than that, please. Ah, <laughs> oh, she actually does look cute in the uh, chibi as well. So what is that on her gun? It's just like a little, like a little ducky, like a little duck uh, sticker. Or, what, actually, what is that? Wait, what is that actually? Is that like a lemon? Okay, what what is, what is the other outfit? Oh no, we. 
Oh, wait, so it's not a nurse outfit. Oh, it's technically a nurse outfit, but it's her summer outfit. Ocean vitamin. Oh, joy. And she has a syringe. Oh, no. All right. God damn. Yeah, and I, I, you could tell that this was a fairly newer swimsuit outfit because of the fact that there's just like the active water droplets. Oh, wow. That is that is a nice little detail. I like how they actually like show that there's a like a change in the tone of the uh of the swimsuit itself as soon as it gets wet like that that's a nice little detail a little too much on neon but we'll, we'll make it work yeah this one's uh probably just gonna be a lot more calm yes no yeah oh it's it's weird it's only like the le <laughs> it's only the left one <laughs> or it's probably because we're right facing so you can't really tell but it is what it is Either way, yeah, it's a, it's a proper... Okay, yeah. It's a proper uniform. Oh my god, from the side, that's what she's hiding. It's phasing through the gun. What power does Pepper have? And let's see, add me. Oh, she's tiny. She's so small. Oh, Mayuchida. Okay, that's a name I haven't heard in a good while. Always good to see. Anike from Triangle. Her time in the army has given her a maturity far beyond her years. Kins are her favorite. <laughs> what, what a stark contrast. Like, in, in this mech is a battle-scarred soldier, and then the rest of it is just like... Oh, yeah, she likes kittens, by the way. Is that a sniper rifle? That is a tiny little sniper rifle. Wait, what the fuck? That kind of reminds me... Yeah, no. That looks like a miniature DSR, I think. Or, no, is it? Mm, I've seen similar weapons like that, but... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna keep trying to guess all these weapons, but nah, nothing solid. I do like the color palette, though. You got the white, you got black, you have this greenish, like, turquoise kind of color. I really like that. It's, I'd say, like, it's kind of like a, like an odd choco mint, but it's, it's nice. Oh wait, okay, that's cute, though. Wait, what the fuck, bros? I've been healed. Oh, I don't know why I enjoy. Well, while I am a man of culture, I am I am the horny man. I really do enjoy like cute stuff the most. Like everything, just like the like the little blushes, the flusters, the just everything about it. Anything that is cute and adorable, I will enjoy. And yeah, that is the only thing that she has. Yeah, she's a tiny one. Why does she even have a backpack? And yeah, of course, everything is covered. Safe. Safe. Yeah, so she's just... No nonsense. All business. Fair enough. But yeah, that's so tiny. Yeah, really. I can't believe that's a sniper rifle. In fact, is that barrel supposed to be there? Or is that a fucking compensator? Because I think the actual... Like... The actual model ends here. At this little rim. And then this is just like... Some extra... Huh? That is very odd. Very odd. But I like it. Okay, that's, yeah, but again, even in the chibi, you could see her uh, her sniper rifle is tiny as hell. Like, really, really tiny. I mean, it's it definitely suits her. But I mean, still. Small. Ah, Jackal. This one's under Crow's Wing. And I see she has a very bubbly appearance. Yup. Anike subordinate of the exotic squad. Crow's loyal lackey. Fully prepared to do Crow's bidding at any given moment. Oh, so she, yeah, she's completely in for, like, ride or die. See? <clears throat> it's, it's odd. She totally gives me some Gyaru vibes, which I absolutely fuck with, because we love Gyarus in this household. But she's also, like, giving off a serious Harley Quinn vibe. Like, you could see she's psycho, but... I don't know. She, it, she's a very lovable psycho. Oh, yeah. Put that tongue away, you little weirdo. Do it again. Okay. The Gesugao is something that I just I'm I'm fully invested in. I also see she's a PlayStation fan. Let's fucking go. And yeah, that's uh, Jackal's only outfit. Well, I mean, it's very fair because like it's already flashy enough. I like it. I like the color. Oh, what the fuck? Now I see why she's called Jackal. And it's not because her fucking rocket launcher looks like a jackal. Look at her face. 
That is the craziest look thus far on any Nikkei. Holy fuck, she's nuts. I'm all here for it. Damn. So is Exotic Squad just full of fucking red flags? Well, let me correct myself. Is Exotic full of fuckable red flags? We've got the spiked, like, thigh wraparound. We got the psycho look. Long ass tongue. Quit breathing so hard. And yeah, of course she's a fucking rocket launcher. Oh, wow. Actually, that's an interesting pose. So her left leg is completely extended, but like, on the right, she's kneeling. Still, like, she's supporting herself with the sneaker. Thank God we have more sneaker users instead of fucking these super Nikkei's with heels. Whoa. She just keeps stuffing those in. Hello? I only shot once, madam. I wonder if she actually does that in-game or she reloads, like, one at a time. That would make the most sense. But yeah, she's jamming those in fast. What the fuck? If it was just the one... That would be the fastest fucking reload I've ever seen. Yeah, one. Then. That is crazy. Just like her. And I'm all here for it. Why does he look so much more docile in this chibi? God, it's such a shame that she has to work under Crow. Because I would, I would enjoy to have a unit like Jackal in my party. But not without the crazy leadership. Be free and be a little bit more normal, honey. Oh, we have somebody called Lapless. Let's take a look what kind of demon this is. Ooh. Wait, that color scheme do be kind of nice. Oh, she's the leader of Mattis? Oh, the top squad in Missilis. Oh, she more than lives up to her heroic reputation inside the Ark, which goes unquestioned. Hey, we got a hero on our hands. God damn, seriously, what is with these bodysuits? Whoa. Oh, she also does a transforming thing. Okay, that looks cool as hell. That looks fucking sick. So yeah, she's uh, absolutely a rocket launcher. And the visor, dude, that all looks so fucking cool. All of it disappears. Oh, but yeah, you can see like, yeah, she's definitely intended to just like hold it the entire time. But yeah, no, that's when that actually comes out. Wow. Dude, no, she looks cool as all hell. And yeah, that's the only outfit she needs, bro. Yeah, oh, Jesus, she's completely spread. <clears throat> yeah, and it, oh, it's completely covered. Yeah, she's gonna be a no-nonsense type of character. You're not here for the horny, you are here for the power. It's more like an energy cannon instead of a rocket launcher. But I mean, uh, it's the closest weapon class to an energy cannon. But yeah, uh, yes, I'm hoping that whatever she doesn't have in terms of firepower she compensates for in firepower oh wow and it's completely covering her chibi yeah no it's completely no nonsense yeah so for character so for people who are actually like trying to go for a character that is all about power and no like funny business there you go oh no we it's time for the convicts one of which i am trying to release right now will it end well probably not and there is Guilty. We've already seen a bit of her. But yeah, how the fuck do you injure 40 Nikkeis in two weeks? Wait, oh shit. No, so her... What is her... Yeah, it is a shotgun. That's a shot... Well, huh? It is a shotgun. So that's actually kind of surprising to me. Because I thought that was going to be like a sniper rifle of sorts. Like that... Hand, just from this angle, it looked like a kind of sni a scout rifle. But no, it's a shotgun. And it's tied to her. That's probably the only way that like she can keep that composure like yeah she, her, she probably is handcuffed right here but she can't break out of them because she's like completely wrapped up and this weight right here keeps her in that position that that kind of sucks i do feel bad but goddamn, if this if this is supposed to be a prison outfit i mean i'm all here for it hey. she tried it the wiggle i mean Shit, I, I, I can't believe they actually found a uniform for her. Oh, so she can use it. Yeah, she's free to use it. She, I'm guessing, like, outside of combat, she's, like, completely handcuffed. But whenever she's free reign, she'll be able to actually do some stuff. Oh, oh, damn. Wait, so even though she has extremely long hair, it doesn't get in the way of, uh, firepower. And her heels aren't exactly ridiculous. Oh, my... Oh. Okay, that is, uh, that's sinful. Yeah, no, I see what she's guilty of. That recoil was unexpected, brothers. Um, hmm. 
But yeah, you could even see the outline and everything. Wait, actually, why is the outline there? What power is she hiding? If I invited a butcher to see Guilty, like, they would just be absolutely drooling over how much meat. On to the next one, which is Sin. Yeah, no, her outfit. Okay, no. Her eyes, dude. That's so fucking good, though. The eyes. That is trippy. I can see why exactly they had to, like, keep her mouth, like, restricted. Because I know she does, like, some fucking brainwashing stuff. But damn, the eyes themselves are mesmerizing. It makes me, like, it's such a unique touch. I love it. Wait, I actually just noticed her hair. Wait a minute. Her hair goes from, like this purplish into black and then into a white at the end i didn't notice that the first time around it goes into a white but no wait there's a special touch here it's not just a solid white it, unless that's supposed to be an effect of just something reflecting off of her hair which would be a weird thing it's like at the edges it does this like photoscopic effect like it's just like there's green at the edge or like a green bluish at the edges and a red pinkish at the other end. That's so cool. But I'm what I'm trying to figure out is why the bear like not even like a bra or anything. It's just like to hide that. And then it's just like this skin tight like leg is, are they leggings? What what is the what is the fit going on here? And wait, she got sneakers? Wait, because what is she right now? Oh wait, no, she is like kind of is she barefoot? I can't tell. No, she's got like these, uh, like, ankle restraints, but I think, I think these are like supposed to be like some kind of prison, prison shoes. No, but the shoes actually do look kind of crazy. That is nice. That is nice. Ooh. Oh, okay. The, the voice is real cool. Like that voice filter just because of the mask. Actually, why does he even have like these little... Sound thing. They're like they're, they're like those um little the Neko Mimi ear uh, like headphones. <laughs> it's it's weird, but no, those look more like speakers. Oh, do they also like restrict her hearing? I thought it was just her voice. I'm surprised they haven't covered up her eyes. Yeah, no, she she is definitely a threat in many ways. But no, that the thing the smoke that came out of her mask was cool. Wait, oh, is she an assault rifle? Oh, I didn't even notice that. And she's not as transparent. Okay, in the actual portrait, you can see it has a lot more texture here. A lot more texture. And then in the actual in-game model, it's just like a lot. It's just a matte, matte leggings. And so, yeah, they are like uh, just normal sneakers, like normal prison shoes. Uh, I wanted to see her like with those stylish sneakers. Those look cool. And she, of course, she doesn't do the eye thing here unless... Oh, damn. Yeah, thank God for leggings. Whoever created leggings is just a founder of a new religion. Yup. Whoa, uh-uh. Don't tell me that was a reload. Excuse you? Holy shit. That has to be the fastest reload out of anybody. Unless they extended somehow in-game. I obviously can't tell, but that is extremely fast. Wow. I just noticed that, yeah, the, the, the uh, the, uh, oh my god, I can't even fucking speak anymore. The assault rifle pulses in and out. Oh, I didn't even see, I didn't even see Guilty walk, hold up. If she can't even walk. Aw, she always looks so sad. Oh yeah, and actually, uh, let's not, let's not forget, like, we do enjoy, like, multi-toned hair in this household. The green underside and the green highlights, like, that is some prime culture right there. Also, Rina Sato, I feel like I've heard that name as well. Because while I was listening to Guilty, I was like, where do I know that from? But as for Sin, what is her TV? That's kind of cool how, like, the, uh, the mask just, like, goes in and out. I wonder what that's for, or what the logic is behind that. But yeah, no, so it's supposed to go from just a black and fades into a white. Does it become more apparent in her thing? Actually, yeah, no. So it might have just been in the portrait that it looks funky like that. Yeah, because she just looks normal here. It's like a little bit of like purplish to black and then just a solid white. 
Yeah, oh no! So yeah, in the shooting pose, no, you, you do still see it, wow. She has such a unique design, I love it. Honestly, yeah, it's, it's kind of a shame that I don't hear many more people talking about Sin, but I hear she's very niche, or like she's more PvP oriented. Eh, uh, it is what it is, but eventually I will liberate all of these Nikkeis. That you can believe. And that's the one that I'm liberating now. Sweet little Quincy. Yeah, no, she definitely seems like a troublemaker, but I, I don't mind. Oh. Okay. Young lady, you're not supposed to break out of those cuffs. And she literally just did it just to adjust the already tight uniform that she has. Why did they give her such a tight uniform? <laughs> the poor thing. She can barely breathe. Look at the squish. It is there. And yeah, no, uh, we don't even have to talk about that squish. Jesus of Nazareth. Oh, wait, she's a submachine gun? I did not see that before. Or wait, what? Oh, hold the fuck up, brother. Wait, does she have the triggers in her hands, but they're firing from her cuffs? Are the cuffs... Wait, the, do the cuffs have the fucking bullets in them? Damn, hold the... Oh, boom! I made the right choice in choosing Quincy first. Holy fucking hell. G oh, Javlar. What the hell is this, man? Got me fucked up. I started speaking in another language. That I don't even speak. Yeah, no, actually do that. Oh, gee. <laughs> The recoil is crazy. It bounces her entire self. They are! What the fuck? Wait, where is the uh, where the other drums come from? They're just there? Wait, no, but that's insane. The design is so cool for that, huh? Yeah, she just fires it from the cuff, and the cuffs are the magazine. Alright. No, Quincy is... Quincy was the right choice, boys. Bottle cap. Oh, okay. Her, yeah, her two-tone hair looks trippy in the chibi. But yeah, no, this this color scheme reminds me of... I think it was uh, Naganami from Kantai Collection. who had a similar type hair. I might be mistaken with another unit, but no, we'll see. Yeah, no, seriously, the coloring, I love. The squish, we love. Everything about Quincy, we love in this household. And who might you be? This is a special outfit for Anne. Oh, she looks cute! Aww! How many times have we seen Sato Misato in this, uh... Like, so far in this game? Like, holy hell. Miracle Fairy. And after being reborn as a winter spirit upon receiving some gifts from Rupi. Rupi's infectious energy has made her more cheerful and optimistic than ever before. Aww, that's kinda wholesome! Aww! Wait, that's a really wholesome outfit. Yeah, no, that's actually really, really cute. Oh! Yo! Okay, wait. These rainbow wings look so nice. <laughs> Flandre Scarlet, who? But this is... Okay, that's actually really, really pretty. That's so nice. That is really... That is really cute. That This is something to protect. Oh, the little cat ears. And she's a rocket launcher? Again. These rocket launchers come out of nowhere and surprise the fuck out of me. Oh, dude, that looks nice, though. That rocket launcher looks cool as fuck. And pretty. Oh, see, this... Uh, interesting. So she's, like, completely, like, front-facing. Usually the, all the Nikkeis are, like, at a side. And she's a lot more, like, center. But there's nothing really to, like, focus on except maybe thigh. But that's all there is to it. Oh, her eyes are... She's just, like... She's so optimistic and cheerful. I love it. That's the proper energy we need to relieve ourselves from all this trauma, surely. Okay, wait. The standing animation is very cute. What is that? Ah, oh, that's so cute. Is that like a snow moth? Uh. I want to protect Anne. Anne in this form is extremely adorable. Have I seen normal Anne? I don't think so. Have I? Ah. Keeping it going with Epinel, a member of Nepenthe who is a master of pulling off skateboarding tricks. She's revered amongst teenagers because of her distinctly cool and chic demeanor. Okay, we got a skater girl. Wait, okay, that that is a crazy looking skate. Um, what are those called? I've seen those before. No, but the look, yeah, no, her look is definitely like this is something I would expect like a future skateboarder to wear. Honestly, submachine gun check. Are those supposed to be VR goggles or just like a massive fucking visor? Either way, ooh, the two-tone hair again. Damn, that shit looks neon. 
It, yeah, it actually probably is entirely neon. That's so cool. Oh. She's the one in the fucking PV who had the bubble gum. I didn't even realize. Okay, so it is her. Huh. Interesting little choice. And yeah, the only uniform she has. What do we got here? Oh, that's... That is a funky looking SMG. I have no idea what that is. Whoa. Okay. First time we've seen anybody extend their leg that far out. It's almost completely straight. Wait, no, nah, stop the presses, stop the presses, boys. She has motherfucking Heelys. Okay, Epinel is crazy, dude. She's cracked. Wait a minute. Wait, what did that just say? Oh, did, that, did that actually just say reload? Yes, it did. Okay, that's so cool. I like that. I like that. I wonder if that visor says anything when you're getting hit. Like, if it just says hit or if it just turns red. But either way, like, that's, that's a really nice touch. I like this one already. Still, I can't believe she got the fucking Heelys on with the skateboard. That is crazy. Okay, that chibi hair model, though, that's a little funky. Like, it, it, it looks oddly bubbly. It's just very roundish, very, like, bubblegummy. I don't know. But yeah, Epinel is, Epinel is kind of interesting. And actually, wait, I just noticed. Is she a fan of, uh, is she a fan of Blink? Ah, yes. Sugar. With a fucking motorcycle and a shotgun? A gearhead who gets a thrill from burning rubber, sells sugar coffee and cafe sweetie. What? There's so many things going on here, ma'am. Her name is Sugar. She sells sugar coffee in a cafe, and yet she's a gearhead that enjoys burning rubber. Damn, she even got the sawed off on the side. She means fucking business, but that bike, that shit looks straight out of Cyberpunk 2077. He looks sick. Oh, okay. That actually looks really cool. I just love the fucking the mild sons of anarchy reference with the children of anarchy. <laughs> oh, she actually has another skin? What? And something. Oh yeah, no, this this should be a pretty nonsense one. Oh never mind! Yeah, so are these like leather pants, I'm guessing? Just off of the shining texture? That's what I'm thinking. Of. Oh yeah, no, her entire, like, self moves with it. Oh yeah, he's actually a cute little model. But damn, yeah, no, those are leather pants, absolutely. Fucking hell. That's gotta be hot in the blazing sun if she ever goes on a trip with that bike. But what's her other, what is her other outfit? Oh shit, okay. Oh, that's another party outfit. Okay, that actually looks... Wait, the shotgun actually looks... Bussin. Ooh, okay, there's a little more bounce to it. It's a little looser, but hey, we'll take it. Yeah, wait, okay. This outfit actually looks really, really nice on her. Okay, even with the skirt, it's still just... There's nothing to stop it. It's just inevitable. And the tees, all right. We see that. We admire culture. Oh, whoa! Okay, it is much looser with this outfit, and I was ill-prepared. Yeah, no, that's, uh... Yeah, her, uh, her dress makes it a lot looser. Yeah, Sugar's pretty neat. There we go. We've seen this sleepy head before. It is Exia. And, of course, Tumiro Esaka strikes again. A hacking wonderkin from Protocol. No one can hold a candle to her when it comes to video games. Yeah, I mean, she literally has Joy-Cons in her fucking... Okay. Why? She looks so sleepy, but she got so excited there. Wait, she's a sniper rifle? What weapon do you have, ma'am? You even have a band-aid on your knee. What, what weaponry... Oh, well, my... <laughs> I already know what the fucking skin is. That's, that's wonderful. She's still on her phone, even though she's holding a fucking... Well, let's see what you have. Oh, damn. Wait. Ooh. Okay, brothers. That's a lot more than I thought. So it's just barely covering, but still revealing just an... God damn. Yeah, Xia's has a bit of culture. And she just goes back to her phone. What the fuck? Get off your phone. Whatever. I guess it's just like a long shirt that she has that's barely covering anything. Yeah, no, it's... It's not covering much. 
And I, I really do wonder, considering her neat-like behavior, does she, does she have anything under there? The, the, the earbud, like the headset looks so fucking huge on her, it's great. But what? Yeah, let me let me see the other skin. It's probably the Christmas one. They just put her like a kigurumi, but of a deer or a reindeer. Yep, precisely. Oh, that's cute. Okay, that's nice. Especially like how the uh, the light change. Yeah, and she's still on her phone. Ah, uh, that actually looks like. Cool. Wait, wait, what's on her back? Oh, for crying out loud! Please show her the <laughs> the chibi. Oh, with the ears, the ears flap about. I love that. Oh, wait, the backpack is just spitting out a bunch of different like candy. That's so cute. Or actually, are those? Oh no, those are the lights. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, those are the lights. How many lights do you need? Jesus. I just want to see a skin of Exia without all those bags. Just like say she got one night of sleep, a single night of beauty sleep, and now she's like this. But nah, knowing Exia, she's probably not gonna sleep anytime soon. Ah yes, here comes our resident weirdo. But we love her so much, it's Alice. I really cannot believe that she is as strong as she actually is. But my god, I remember when she first came out, like whenever the game first came out and all I saw was just fan art of her. That skin suit is fucking nuts. An endearing individual who often indulges in fantasy with a somewhat unique worldview. She's a member of Unlimited and spends her days looking for a rabbity. I really wonder like the lore behind all of that. Like what, what is with this rabbity? What is with the Queen of Hearts? Does she really think that she's Alice? Like, I really wonder what they did to her to make her like this way. And she is a sniper rifle, okay. Yeah, so I actually, what, what kind of sniper rifle is that? I'll see soon enough, but seriously, body suits? And, and from where she's coming from, it is cold as fuck, so why why not actually have like a coat, Chica? Huh. Your, her voice sounds very, very sweet. It's very sugary. Oh, she looks so happy! Okay, no, Alice is so cute though. Oh, come on. Now I really want, now I really want Alice. What is it with this game and bunnies and actually having them be good? What the fuck? Oh, oh honey, you can see everything. Yeah, she needs a better form of protection. Like, a bodysuit is not gonna cut the fucking tundra winds. Oh, but she, she's just happy to be here. That's all that matters. And she actually has fucking sneakers, so that's at least a plus. But again, yeah, no, you can see everything, and she's not wearing, she's not wearing anything wholesome under there. I can tell you that much right now. But we'll let it slide because Alice is cute. Yeah, we'll let it slide because she's cute. All I know for sure is that Alice will come home soon enough. Wait, 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 wait! Oh my God, I forgot her outfit. Man, the wonders of having this many characters with this many outfits. Now then, what does sweet Alice have as a secondary? Oh, look at that! That's so adorable! I thought that she could only wear that suit because, well, from what I remember, it's actually supposed to be a cooling suit. So yeah, that's, that's crazy how warm that is. But I guess this will work as well. And this is supposed to be very casual. Sweet home! That's so cute, especially like with the little little bunny ears on the hat. And actually, yeah, all of it is just bunny themed and it's very, very appropriate for someone like Alice. <gasps> ah, that's cute. Okay. That's really cute. Yeah, that little animation. Yeah, that's something that Alice absolutely would do. Show that again. Oh my goodness. That's really cute. How's it look in game? Okay, yeah, this is like a more casual outfit. Oh, good lord. But there's still enough of a bounce. Oh wait, that backpack, yeah, that, that little bag is adorable. Oh, and I just noticed, yeah, the little rings on her hair. How the hell? What kind of technology they got going on here? Yeah, it just seems like a very normal-ish outfit for her. Something suitable. I actually wonder if she can wear more outfits like that, like more casual clothing. That way, because I want her to be free. I don't want her to be restricted by the fact that for some odd reason, her mech is uh, very, very hot. Oh, the chibi is just adorable. That is precious. Oh, 
Aw, oh, that's really nice. Yeah, I, I like what they did with this one. It's, uh, it's kind of, it's pretty adorable. But, yeah, seriously, where do those halos come from? Well, not even halos, they're just hair rings. They're just, I guess, magnetic? Right, actually, that could make sense, because I know that they're made up of, like, Gaudisium and a bunch of other metals, I imagine, so those rings could easily just be, like, some magnetic stuff. Yeah, that could work. Seriously, show me that again. Oh, she's very cute. Okay, time for some Meta Tetras, which I still don't have. Let's start off with Blanc. Yeah, these bunnies do be kind of wild. A member of Squad 777 who draws throngs of customers a coin rush. Nothing gives her greater pleasure than dressing herself up as a bunny, and she takes an immense amount of pride in her crowd-pleasing shows. Unlike her dividend sister, Blanc is an exuberant extrovert. Oh yeah, you can see it just like from the outside, like absolute extrovert. Saw rifle, well, of course. Oh, that actually kind of looks kind of cool. Let's see. Wait, oh, I didn't even know. I thought she just like had bare legs. No, she has like these kinds of um. Well, well actually, what would he... I? They're not fish nets, but they're just like. Oh no, it's just like some kind of netting. Ah, uh, all right. A definite crowd pleaser, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, that's... I'd imagine that's the only thing she has. But damn, now that I think about it, she has long freaking hair. Long freaking hair. Oh, actually, it's just... I love the little bunny at the front of it. Okay, so... Ooh. Oh, jeez, you could see it from... <laughs> fuck. When you can see cheekage from the back, that's how you know she's powerful. Actually, I'm trying to wonder what this assault rifle is. Because that magazine looks huge, though. It could be double stacked, now that I think about it. But yeah, no, that, that do be looking kind of thick. See what we got. Oh my dear Jesus. Okay. Bunnies are dangerous. Confirmed. Hmm. Actually, it doesn't fire as fast as I thought it would. Ooh, wait. That reload, though. What the fuck? Hold on. No. Because did she just grab and use the same one? Or... No. Okay. No, it was just so fast that I really couldn't tell. I was going to say, like, it could fit one and not the other. Some... Some things do that, but usually that's where, like, three magazines where you could swap one with the other. Because they're just, like, they're taped together pretty much. But no, that's just one big-ass magazine. And she actually doesn't have much recoil. Damn, just kind of straight forward. It's, like, a nice balance between both fan service and power. That's actually quite nice. Oh, her chibi's adorable. What the fuck? Ah, uh, little floppy ears. We do enjoy that. Okay, so that's Blanc. Interesting. And now we must take a look at her sister. Wow. God. Damn. A member of Squad 777 who draws strongest customers to Coin Rush. The biological elder sister of Light Bunny Blanc. A pusillanimous girl who is both fond and proud of her decidedly bolder sister. Damn, but I still- I really can't believe that they're both sisters. Oh, so she's a shotgun. Okay. I thought they were going to be uh, both like the same kind of weapon, but never mind. And actually, wait. That shotgun looks crazy. It looks very simple in terms of overall structure, but I kind of like it. I like it. Uh, okay. When you have when you have someone who's that endowed and you have like the super shy, super like introverted personality, but is still willing to try to like please the crowd. The gap moe in that just surges the popularity, and I see why she's as popular as she is. What she got? Oh damn! I feel like bigger, but I wonder about recoil. Oh yeah, there's a bit. Wait, and her reload is also fast. What the fuck? What is with these bunnies and super fast reloads? Oh, okay, her, her little chibi is adorable. I, I enjoy Noir. She seems very wholesome and very, very adorable. Ah, let's check out Freema. Freema, yeah, she do be looking kind of sleepy, but honestly, kind of cool. The leader of Cafe Sweetie who sells cream coffee. Her inherent laziness actually leads her to discover the most efficient ways to get things done. And now, I, I honestly, I really do believe that, because 
if you if you put a lazy person in like a busy job they will try to find the most efficient route of doing things just to make their lives easier it's worked before it has worked oh so again what is this cafe i remember sugar but freema's the leader huh what kind of cafe they got here and hold on she's a sniper rifle oh huh interesting oh she's sleepy but god damn ripping wait these are pants Ripping the pants, that's how you know that she's kind of different. Oh, but she has an alternate skin. Look at that. Look at this dude. Oh my god. She's so tired. The fact that she's holding... That kind of looks like a VSK. The fact that she's only a sniper rifle in one hand and just like kind of slumped over. She's like just trying to go home at this point. Oh my god. I was not expecting that from a... Like from the sleepiest, most lethargic unit ever. What in god... Ain't no way, little... With every motion, she just gets more and more danger. Oh my god, dude. Those pants are not denim. Denim cannot jiggle like that. You can jiggle a little bit, but... <laughs> Ain't no way. And she still... <laughs> she still reloads even while slumped over like that? Huh. Well, actually, her reload's kind of fast now that I think about it. For a sniper rifle, it's fairly quick. But still, like, what the fu- Oh my god. Okay, I actually might- Might go for Freema at some point, because this is just- Oh fuck. Dude, no- <laughs> Can you even blame me? Dude! DUDE! Yeah, no, you're a very simple little chibi, but my god. I was completely caught off guard. I did not think that- a chick with these kind of pants, that kind of jacket, and that kind of lousy shirt would just have the entire goddamn bread factory. It's Mary. A talented doctor who treats her patients with an unsurpassed solicitude. Instead of him, she is known as the Angel in White. As for patients who disobey her orders, however... Okay, now, I just, now I'm tempted to actually disobey her orders just to see like what she would do to me. Dude, I need I need that kind of onesan in my life, you heard? And yeah, she just had can she open her eyes and man please you gotta you gotta wear something better. Jesus, oh my I forgot. Wait, no, she was actually packing. I'm sleeping on Mary. The whole goal is to sleep with Mary. Yeah, no, but oh my god, all the jiggle is from the shotgun. Seriously, no, actually that is a super cool like like, uh, reload style. It's just like a whole thing. But she never opens her eyes, does she? Unfortunate. And what's crazy about it is that her jacket is hiding a lot of the firepower in the front. Because you could just barely see the hint of it. But you could get a tiny, tiny portion of it during the reload. Yeah, even then she doesn't open her eyes. Seems very floaty. Alright, brothers. It's Milk. <laughs> Who names a unit Milk? Of course she's from Cafe Sweetie. Okay, that makes sense. Sugar, milk. Why, what the fuck is Freema? A combative girl who likes to provoke others. She sells milk coffee in Cafe Sweetie. Yeah, so that, that definitely does make sense. Okay, so based on their names, that's what the kind of coffee they sell. So sugar sells sugar coffee. Milk sells milk coffee. Why is Freema cream coffee? I've never heard of Freema. Unless it's supposed to be like a reference to like a brand or something. Eh, whatever. Oh, she's also a sniper rifle. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely a sniper rifle. But what the fuck is that? That kind of attachment, I'm not too sure of. Though actually, looking at her fit, like, it's kind of going off. There's a lot going on with the legs here. Like, there's way too many pouches here. Way too many fucking things going on. But, I mean, if she's going into combat, I mean, all the, the more the merrier. Okay, she wants to fight. Yeah, she's, she's out here trying to swing. Oh my god, I forgot about Freema's alternate. I forgot this sleepyhead actually had a fucking secondary. What did she even get? <laughs> ah, they forced her to go to the beach. Yes. The Sea of Sloth. That's such a good one. Damn, even with the jorts, she got them ripped. But does this change anything? Oh my god. Now it just becomes more rotund. Oh, for fuck's sake. Seriously, how can she be this lethargic and sleepy and still have thighs that are S-tier and a rear that is double S tier. Like, that's just not legal, dude. Wake up. 
明るいアイマスク必須 She would definitely be the kind of person to go to the beach, stay under the umbrella, and just pass out for the entire time. Okay, actually, back to Melka. And she has an alternate. That's a big surprise. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely it. Well, no, okay, that looks weird. This really looks familiar to me. Anyway, let's see. What do you have? Damn. Well, actually, kind of solid. Oh, okay, a little. All right. We settled down. But no, actually, no, she looks like the most ready for combat so far. <laughs> she actually has correct shoes. She has pretty appropriate pants. Uh, the topic is debatable, but I mean, eh, looser environment. Oh, okay, yeah, she's angry. Even in, even in her chibi, she looks uh, very unpleasant. Like, as soon as you approach her, she just wants to start swinging. And next to her is Yulha, who seems even less pleasant. An office worker that suffers from work overload. She's the leader of Triangle, and a reliable leader of that. Wait, Triangle? Oh, shit, okay. Others inexplicably refer to her as Ghost. Inexplicably? Yeah, no, she definitely seems like a ghost. Holy fuck, what are those pants? What is the purpose of those pants? Like, why the whole? It just don't make sense. And she's another sniper rifle. Damn, how many sniper rifles have we got going on here? What is Tetra doing? Even though it was such a simple animation, I felt that more than anything else. Holy shit. That was a big sleep. Big sleep. Oh, god damn it, I also forgot milk. I don't know why I didn't think that she had an alternate, but yeah, no, she does. Oh, this is an everyday thing. Oh, of course she's a fucking boxer. Of course, brother. Now let's see the boxing outfit. Uh, not bad. You actually know. It's interesting. Like her overall, her overall look feels more like a human than any of the others thus far. I said that about somebody else, but she definitely takes the cake. Well, <laughs> god damn it. Yeah, no, but her fit is definitely like more in line with like a very more human look. It's, it's definitely a lot more like possible to pull off uh, if you're gonna do a cosplay, but who wants to cosplay milk? Back to Yulha. So let's see, what sniper rifle? Oh god damn, that looks fucking enormous! What kind of magazine is this? Jesus! That is entirely science fiction. And yeah, the coat entirely covers everything. She is no nonsense, full firepower. Hmm. Oh wait, that, oh, that feels like a heavy fucking reload. Yeah, Jesus, that feels, Hefty, hefty. Probably why I don't hear her being talked about too much. That is unfortunate. Oh, <laughs> even her TV looks tired as all hell. Yeah, I feel bad. She's definitely overworked. Oh, you can see a little bit. Anyways. Yes, Ludmilla. I don't know how to feel about her, really. Just like the appearance-wise, appearance it's kind of off. I don't know why. It just feels a little different from the others. That and she's facing the opposite, so she, you get less of her. And Nikkei from Unlimited. She lives in a bitterly cold northern lands where she saves Nikkei's who have lost her way. Any machinery she touches will absolutely get fried. And yes, we know that it is actually a submachine gun, which actually baffles me. And actually, Jesus Christ, I just know. Yeah, the thigh, thigh game. And you can see the outline. What kind of coat? What is she wearing beneath that coat? Not really much. Actually, as you see from the front, she looks nice. She actually looks pretty nice in the front. And of course, her profile has her just like standing off to the side. It's just like you don't get much. Uh, the pose, wait, the pose is kind of, hmm. Damn, like you're forcing yourself to kneel off the ground on the left leg. And you're keeping your right leg in a kind of awkward sense. Like I wonder how you keep balance like that. At least like without much pain. A bit of recoil. All right. Sufficient recoil. Yeah, it's a slow. Oh, that is a sluggish little reload. To do that again. It is only compensated by some jiggle. Okay, and her chibi actually does look nice. Yeah, her chibi is very adorable. But yeah, yeah I don't know. The art just feels very different for Ludmila. Oh no. Ah, oh, dear. You have me fucked up. I see her in the shop often. And yeah, like, my weakness, my weakness is Gyaru's, and Rupee's a fucking Gyaru. 
a bombastic shopaholic. She conducts various live streams where she shares her joy of shopping with others. She is Talentum's hottest star. Yeah, I I would imagine so. Jesus, everything about her resonates. Her fucking okay. Both her bra and her panties are leopard or what, what is that? Cheetah print? I always mix up like the wildcats, but at any point, she has that print. She is a high tier gyaru. It's fucking dangerous what she could do. No, no, actually, let me think about this. No, she's got the extreme hair. She's got the the dark shade, the dark round shades. Probably designer. Multiple fucking bags of things she just bought, including probably a bracelet or some earrings in this one, if not in the other bag. Some clothing, probably a coat in the other one. Her f a phone, probably a next gen phone that just came out like a month ago. Or probably a week ago, I'm sorry. The little choker, which is probably also designer for some fucking reason. The hair accessories. The fucking hoops. The ribbon, just for style and glam. The eyeshadow. And this holy fucking... The thigh squish from this designer... Whatever this thigh bracelet is. Thylet. And of course, a smartwatch. I didn't even notice with the, all the fucking bracelets that she has on. Yeah, no, she screams Gato, and I'm all here for it. Ah, oh, fuck me. Oh. Jesus, the jiggle is just impeccable. Oh, and I just noticed she has a snaggle tooth. Yeah. Extra points. But seriously, what? Oh, the coins just coming out of the phone. <laughs> yeah, no, that's great. Okay, yeah, Rupee. Uh, fuck. I would be ensnared by Rupee very easily because Gyatas are my weakness. Also, she does have an alternate. Okay, bad. And so, yeah, she is an assault rifle. And of course, her assault rifle is fucking golden. Okay, this absolutely looks like a 416, if I'm not mistaken. Very solid choice with a nice foregrip. And I'm. What is that? Is that. Yeah, that's gonna be some kind of like compensator or something. Because that's... That looks kind of fierce. I'm not going to lie. But yeah. Oh, no. And this, oh, I just realized. Yeah, she has this, like, wrapped over her. She, yeah, that's another thing that makes her such a fucking gato. Not only with the skirt and the... I just forgot the necklace. The necklace over the cleavage. That is a gato move right there. But the fucking sweater over the... Uh, around the waist. That is just peak gato. Oh, my God. But you still get something. Yeah, the thighs go crazy. That's double S tier. But... It's interesting. There's a there again. It's the untapped culture of just like you don't see much, but you get a peak and just like the edge of glory. Oh no! But it's all in the front. Oh my god! It's all in the front. Chica, that is nothing of support. But now that I think about it, was that how quick was that reload? Okay. Okay. Not only was that a quick reload, but the fucking coins coming out of it. All right, is that required? How much did she have to pay for that? I'd imagine that Rupee is loaded as all hell and actually probably still lives in Royal Road. But Jesus Christ, like... <laughs> there's gotta be a limit to how much you spend, surely. Her, her little chibi seems so sleepy. I don't know why. Also, the chibi makes her look like she doesn't have anything on her there. They couldn't just uh, make the texture for the fucking panties. Actually, wait, did they? Okay, no, they did it for the bra. Why couldn't they do that for... All right, whatever. We're not going to get into it. Now let's see her alternate. What even is this? Oh, no. Mother fucking bunnies. I can't... E what? Hold on. No. We already have two bunny sisters. Why did she have to get a bunny skin? And why did it have to have an entirely different animation where she just completely shows the squish constantly? There is no way. Okay, Rupee is definitely one of the developer's favorites without question and without debate. Also, the Snaggletooth has transformed into a skin fang. That is valid. Jesus Christ, they just, they go ham with it because Rupee, Ruby already had like a really nice base design, but God damn. Oh. Okay, settle down, young lady. 
Your spending habits are wild. That outfit is wild. That fucking animation. Okay, and I just saw the... Okay, yeah, no, there's too much to look at. I can't believe I'm saying this, gentlemen, but... I am overwhelmed. The absolute state of this rabbit has me confused. Wait, okay, that is so different from the actual, like... The, the normal view. Like, you see the texture here, and you see the texture here. All that disappears with this. That's so odd. But at least she keeps the golden, the golden 416. That's oh dear, now you see everything. Yeah, now, now I don't think anyone is safe. Oh, but it's actually not that much recoil. Not that much recoil for what it is. I feel like that actually keeps her like recoil more in check with the bunny suit than her regular outfit, which does make sense because that is like a leather-ish kind of material. Oh uh, no, but the front is still very, very loose. What? Excuse me? Ain't no way. They knew absolutely what they were doing at every step in the process. Oh my god, even when a chibi has that much jiggle. That chibi has more jiggle than some other units. What the fuck? So it is like very particular units that have like three animations for their chibis. It's interesting. But yeah, no, I could tell just from this skin alone. Rupee is extremely dangerous. Okay, back to another one that I have. Uh, hello, Yan. An experienced merchant with a knack for striking deals. She uses her business acumen to operate several large scale supermarket chains. Talentum's rise to fame can all be traced back to her. Oh, she's in the same unit as, uh, as Rupee? What is Talentum? Holy shit. Very simple animation, but yeah, no, like, the, the first thing that you notice, the thigh game is top of her class. Like, it's ridiculous. That's triple S tier right there, and that is the highest it'll ever go. Although the kicks are slightly clean. And yeah, I can't believe that she's actually just a rocket launcher. Well, grenade launcher. And her hair covers pretty much everything, man. There's nothing to do. Yeah, there's not much to it. And her reload is actually... It feels very slow. Although her rocket launcher is very weird. It feels like a mix between the PV Bison, but it's actually a grenade launcher. So odd. Plus, is it just me or is it like... Her hair gets like... Light? No, it's just... It's probably just lighting. Her hair feels very different. I thought it was going to be, like, darker. But... Yeah, no. It, it, what hair... What hair color is this? It's just, like, a very light brown. But then in here, it almost looks like a grayish brown. It's so difficult to tell what the hell it is. Like, seriously, what... What is this color? This is this is what I call a purgatory color. A purgatory color to me is one where you can't really tell exactly what color it is, but it is definitely in between two or more colors. It's very odd. Oh, right, and she has a summer skin. Yes. Wait, is that 5,000 credits for a fucking inner tube? Hell no. Nah. What is that inflation? Oh. oh my Jesus. Yeah, she does have a different animation for her swimsuit skin. It's kind of interesting. She has like a little more glisten. Oh my God, I just noticed. Yeah, at the front of her fucking rocket launcher. Show me the money. Read a little shit. Oh, what? I didn't even realize that. Yeah, her hair moves out the way for her swimsuit skin. They knew what to fix and they corrected it. Although, yeah, there's not much. Yeah, she's pretty much hiding everything. Because, oh, Jesus, yeah. No, the only way you could tell is if you, like, move quickly, but... Ooh. Oh, but the TV's way better. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, she leaves, like, the little flowers that she had on her... On her little thylet from before. Except now it's just, like, in the swimsuit skin. It's just on her head instead. Very interesting choice. Yan, Yan's a bit of a mix, but we'll, we'll see in the future. Okay, one that many have recommended to get eventually is Dola. Oh, no wonder. Her voice actually is Ayane Sakura. That's how you know she's going to have something nice. 
That is the tiniest fucking sniper rifle I have ever seen. If that is a sniper rifle. What the fuck? Is there even a sniper rifle that short? A true enterprising spirit. Rumor has it that she's a VIP of a large illegal website. She's the most rational member of Talentum. Uh, what the fuck? This unit seems very odd. Like, they're all, like, entrepreneur entrepreneurs, but, like, they're all very odd in what they do. Seriously, that is a sniper rifle? Ma'am, what are you using? Okay, but well, she actually does look pretty cool. Still, like, what kind of... That is a sawed-off fucking sniper rifle. And it's a bullpup, interesting. And she has an alternate? Oh, shit, I didn't realize that. Yeah, no, what the fuck is this, fellas? That is the stubbiest, stubbiest fucking sniper rifle I have seen. Hey. Oh, damn. Wait, and she actually had firepower. What? I was not expecting... I thought that the coat was going to cover her, but no. Thank God for women in pants. Oh, cool. What was he just looking at? Wait, wait, I'm trying to, like, make that out, huh? Oh, it's just, like, where she hit? I'm guessing she's, like, trying to correct? Oh, no. Wait, hold on! That sniper rifle reload- Oh, look at that! Oh, that's kind of cool! Is there even a sniper rifle that compares that in real life? Huh. Yeah, very simple little chibi, although the little ahoge, it seems very bubbly. I don't know why. It's like an extra thick kind of like strand. Like, whoop. Oh yeah, and her alternate. What is this? Oh dear, she has a party skin as well. Alright, that is nice and elegant. That is nice. That is nice. Oh jeez. Why did it shake that much just for checking her fucking screen? Oh, dear. Damn, wait, actually, that looks nice. Like, that, the dress color scheme, that goes nice. That is nice. Oh, please tell me she's wearing something under there. Okay, actually, yeah, this is, again, one of those perfect blends of, like, both service and actual, like, strength. Yeah, Dola seems pretty good. Oh. Whoa, buddy. Okay, but yeah, no, you could tell, like, yeah, there's something underneath. There's something underneath. Whew. Ah, spunky little novel. We already know much about you. A detective who is a fan of Sherlock Holmes. Her intense curiosity inevitably draws her towards any nearby crime scene. Although she is in protocol, she has great difficulty operating machines. Yeah, no, it's, it's very apparent from the way she texts. Like, I'm very surprised that she's... Well, there's a thing. Even though Nikkei's look young, you always have to remember, these are pretty much just, like, very lifelike mechs. But the Nikkei themselves is just a brain of, like, a past human. Which is very sad to think about, but... Yeah, I mean, I'm willing to bet that Novel was probably, like, an older-ish kind of person before the, the advent of all this tech. So that's why she's not too good with it. But she seriously does have, like, the spunkiness of the Nikki appearances, like, that age. So it's very odd as to why she sucks so much with, the uh, tech. And yeah, she just has, like, a very interesting kind of, uh, submachine gun with a massive fucking suppressor. Oh, oh gee. Okay, young lady, that is, uh, not an appropriate amount of jiggle. I did not expect that, to be honest. Okay, yeah. Actually, she does have a very fast reload, now that I think about it. Like, very fast reload. Damn. Alright, go off. Oh, and I love how... It, yeah, the chibi has given us lingerie lore. <laughs> what the fuck is this? This is your everyday outfit novel? What is this? What is this penguin nonsense? The sailor uniform with the hoodie and this hat. Yeah, no, she actually might be her age. And yeah, same amount of jiggle. Nothing has changed. Yeah, no, uh, it's, it's pretty good. Wait, oh, the hat blinks too. Oh, it blinks with her. That's so good. 
Ah, uh, yeah, no, Novel is very adorable. I wish to protect. Not to mention that she was literally voiced by Kaede Hon, though, but I'm just gonna, like, pass over that. Let's see Folk Wong. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie, dear. An athlete from Nepenthe. She is sweating all the time due to having no resistance to heat, but she is full of vigor. Yeah, it's uh, definitely very apparent that she is an athlete. Madam, I need you to put thine shirt down. Oh my... Okay, I was wondering whether or not I was going to have to censor something very quickly. But no, we're safe for now. Wait, holy shit. She, uh, I thought she was going to be like a fairly new unit, but no, she probably was like one of the only ones to have like this kind of like active water droplet system. Well, sweat droplet system. The one just dangling there. The, fuck, it, just ignore me, dude. And yeah, that's the only thing that she has, the only appearance. Oh my god, she just constantly has a popsicle in her mouth. She's trying to cool herself down. Oh, damn. She do be having something. Roundness check. Oh, no, the recoil is just like her entire self. Oh, very simple. Yeah, okay. This is uh, it's okay. Ice perfect to tak san taberto. Yeah, her chibi looks way different. Way different from her actual model, but I mean, it's kind of adorable. Just can't get over the fact that she constantly has an ice pop in her mouth. On to more. Let's see, Sakura. I haven't seen it. Ooh, interesting. A Nikkei belonging to Underworld Queen, who is also the head of a Yakuza group known as the Seimeikai. Open of principle, the Seimeikai refrained from engaging in immoral acts thanks to her leadership. Under her guidance, the Seimeikai has become an organization with a well-deserved reputation for its honorable conduct. Wow. Honestly, just from the look of it, I thought she was going to be a lot more arrogant and just kind of like... underhanded. But no, it's the complete opposite. She's very refined. And she has a, she's a sniper rifle? Huh. Look at that. Wait, and I just realized, is her coat two different colors or is that really just the lighting i really cannot tell but that's uh that is crazy also the fact that she just uh teases like the little string panties like oh dear oh she has an alternate hello what the fuck kind of sniper rifle okay that is antique that is an antiquity actually wait she looks mad different from her actual portrait because no here you see, I thought that was just like a dress, but no, is it? Oh, wait, what? Yeah, no, that feels entirely different. Wait, 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 what? No, because then it would just be flapping on in the middle. I thought this was attached to her, and these were just like, uh, thigh, like, thigh windows. No, absolutely not. God damn, she got the thigh in full display. Can't be attacking like that. Also, wait, what is that? What suit is she wearing underneath? Like, it's a bodysuit? Oh, I just noticed that. Wait, what is her fit? I know that there's going to be some fashion experts that are look at all this, like, abstract fashion. And they call this shit crazy. Because, it, veritably, it is actually quite insane. Because I thought this was, like, part of a yukata. And then the, the big coat on top. Then there was going to be like this... Wait, no, I really don't know what's going on here, fellas. This is a tricky fit, but we'll see what she has. I still can't get over the fact that this sniper rifle looks old as fuck. And that scope, though, goddamn, that looks like a really old type of scope. But it's very long. Is that lever action? What the fuck is oh, that? whoa, that pose, though. Okay. I feel like that kind of wear, that kind of shoe wear might be even more difficult than the fucking heels that we've seen thus far. And that, and yeah, that pose seems kind of hard. All right, and yeah, no, she do be, she do be hiding the good. Oh, she has like a tattoo on her back, like of a uh, cherry blossoms. All right, that's actually kind of nice. It is lover action. Ooh, wait, that sound. Tell me that again. Oh, I, I, we just love the clank whenever that. Oh, there it is. It reminds me of like the M14. Ping! Still, this it just looks like such an old rifle. This is the fucking why I oughta ass rifle. <laughs> I'll say, I'll say, I'll shoot you with this. Oh. Jesus, it just flaps about. Yeah, her model, yeah, her chibi model looks so different, so different. Yeah, no, there's a lot of things going on with her. I wonder if they like change the design 
throughout the development process and he just forgot to like fix up or touch up some stuff. What is this alternate? Oh, it's kind of similar to her original one. That's wait, that's her every day. What does she turn into a kunoichi? Oh wait, actually, I unironically might be right. Yeah, yeah, because those are kunai, and that kind of like suit with the, like the fish netting is yeah. No, that's huh. But she still has the coat. So decide what you want to be, madam. Are you gonna be the boss? Are you gonna be a kunoichi? What are you? What are you planning here? And yet the the rifle stays the same, but she just took the socks off. Damn. Boy. Oh no, but now it's like a full body suit. Okay. Well, pretty well with the thigh window is still intact. Let's go. But actually, yeah, her model looks a little better with this kind of chibi. Although, yeah, you can definitely see that she do be hiding goods. An addendum for Sakura's alternate. I didn't realize it. Well, first off, I never even clicked on her, so my bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. I just, I just wonder why a frog specifically, especially since there's one on her coat. But yeah, I, I got tipped off by somebody that if you keep clicking on her, something special can happen actually with this animation. I thought it was always going to be the same, but Sakura is unique in the fact that there is an Easter egg that can happen if you click on her enough. Oh shit! That was quicker than I thought. All right, that was cool as fuck though. Okay, Sakura might actually be like really, really hot. But um, anyways, next, next Nike. Ah, Viper, I've heard a little bit about. Let's see. Oh dear. Staff officer of the Exotic Squad. She can manipulate any human with her verbal trickery and physical beauty. I believe it. She kind of looks a little bit like power, except nicer because it's like the little horns and the hair. But yeah, no, like, she's a danger. Oh no, not the fucking... Oh, well, what is this, pearlescent? Like, I don't know, it's just like a very... It's a very notable kind of texture. I don't know what to call it, but... It, it's something, it's something. Also, why have I heard her voice actually before? Tomori Kusunoki. Why does that sound familiar? Oh, she's a shotgun, huh? Interesting. Oh no, it's blah blah. I am not adding you on there, wench. Oh wow, and I just barely noticed. Yeah, she also has like this kind of netting. But I, I, I hesitate to call it fishnets. Fishnets are usually like much closer together. But no, these are just like very spread, very like big net. And seriously, I can't believe they found a top that will support all that without much top support. Nah, nah, I will not fall for these wiles, woman. Oh no, and she has a bunny skin. Why did they give her a bunny skin? No, little bro. That shotgun do be looking kind of sick. Oh my god. Oh yeah, you got- oh, Jesus. It does hide pretty much most of it. Yeah, it pretty much hides everything, one way or another, but... It's in the recoil that you see the thigh. The thigh game is at minimum S tier. Oh yeah, no, bro. If I if I let myself slip, if I if I catch myself lacking, she's uh she's gonna ruin me. And ruin me she did. Sometime after starting this wonderful game, I went to a local convention back in December and got to meet the English voice actress for both Rupee and Viper, Amelie, getting this lovely picture in the process along with a signed shiny poster of both her characters, and <laughs> in true Scuff Queen fashion, managing to misspell her own character's name. No one tell her that I mainly play with a JP dub. I really like her voice acting though. And for those that didn't already know, yes, my name is Giancarlo. Howdy. Wait a minute. Holy fuck, how did I miss Vipers too? Alright, what is what is this bunny outfit woman? Oh lord. Toxic rabbit, yeah, that sounds about right. And the tail and everything? Why the worm? Ooh. Why is her Yeah, no, on the phone screen it changes, because this was just a messaging app, I believe. Correct, that's blah blah. Meanwhile, in her Toxic Rabbit one, is she showing stock? Like, stock? Images? Yeah! What the hell? But damn, the thigh game does not lie. 
Oh, damn, yeah. No, she do be packing the same firepower, though. Oh, my. The jiggle, holy. Feels so fluid. Impressive. But damn, you can just see all of it hanging. It's just barely holding on. But, you know, it, uh, it honestly does suit her. How many bunnies do we have now? Shit. Oh, and the TV is actually pretty good. Yeah, oh, Jesus! <laughs> yeah, no, she's, uh... She's dangerous in any form. Yeah, no, exotic, uh... Exotic squad is very, very dangerous. Oh, look at this. It's a little Coco. The pampered youngest member and maid leader of Made For You. Oh! She works hard to complete her duties professionally. Yeah, I could see it. Oh, the little maid for you with the barcode. That's adorable. Oh, and she's also a sniper rifle. Wait, don't fucking tell me that her... Is her umbrella actually the sniper rifle? What? Uh. Wait, her voice actually sounds familiar as well. What was her... Misuki Kuno. Hmm... I have to see, but like off of first glance, now I, as soon as she did like the whole animation, she just reminded me. She looks a little bit like Renchon. I don't know why. It just it feels like it. Oh yeah, I see it. I will hold off on the ketchup because I do not like condiments. Anywho, ah, I love. I don't know why I love the triangle mouths. Triangle mouths are just like they're adorable to me. But yeah, oh my god, her umbrella is the fucking sniper rifle, and yeah, it's pre it opens up. Wait, hold on. Okay, this is cool. Like, I, I understand that, yeah, of course, she's going to be completely covered up with the fucking skirt and the frills. And there's literally nothing to show in the front. But the fucking highlight is this unique-ass sniper rifle. Hello? She has a UI inside of it. I'm guessing all of the things inside of the umbrella are, like, photoreceptor cells. And so they could just, like, replicate an image. And that'll show her her ammo count and her health, I'm guessing. But that's so fucking cool. Oh wait, the little, the little puff, just like the. Hmm. Oh my God, she's adorable. Wait, Coco, Coco's great. Hello. Pro no maid, nara. Napkin de menko gojiko wa oreru yo. Oh my God, wait. Sore dekinai ko wa minna shirouto. Yep, I couldn't recognize her by name, but I absolutely recognize her voice. I absolutely love her. Yeah, brothers, I'm gonna try and get Coco in the future. But instead of cocoa, I have a different drink, and it is soda. Oh, Jesus of Nazareth. Oh, no. Oh, no. Say it ain't so. Even though she doesn't seem very meta, she seems like a very okay healer as per zero. She's voiced by Konami Kohara. Okay, that's not fair. That's not fair at all, dude. Man, The member of Made For You responsible primarily for domestic duties. She can almost always be seen with a permanent smile on her face, which never fades even when she makes the occasional mistake at work. This infatuable cheeriness is infectious to those who hang around Soda. And it's, uh, it's very, uh, very appropriate. Oh my god, the little smiley face on her, like, little thingy here. Oh, she's a machine gun. Oh, oh, dearie dear. Yeah, no, considering the amount of firepower... I would not be surprised that she is a machine gun. Like, seriously, there are some units here. I'm sorry. There's some units in here that are so goddamn thick. I always think, I just like immediately think that I'm like at a butchery and I see this like hanging on a rack and I'm just like, I'll take all of that. What? Like, that? I can't, I can't even lie. As soon as I see Soda, I see Wagyu A5 and there's just nothing for it, man. There really is nothing for it. It's her. It's her. Oh, God damn it. It's it's Konami. Uh, oh, man. Why am I going to have to like a unit that's not meta? <laughs> I keep harming myself. Oh, God. Wait, is this like a fucking vacuum as well? Yeah, no, and I see like a little scrubber thing. Yeah, this is like a utility tool. Huh. Wait, what is he carrying on her back? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, dear. Oh, it's just going, bro. Yeah, and machine guns don't stop. They just keep going. A little battery on the back. And what kind of sticker does she have on the back of her thing? Jesus, but that is going. Oh, she even shakes it off because it's overheated. Oh, that's great. Hold on, because what? What even does she do? Oh, it's literally just... Huh. 
She didn't even like reload or anything. It literally just is to reduce the heat on it. So is it like supposed to be implied to be like an energy cannon of sorts? So these are definitely like bullets. Yeah, really? What kind of weapon is that? That's a very odd one, but a very valid one. Never change, Soda. Oh, that's very adorable. Oh, why, why did the chibi have to give Laundry Lord like that? Anytime I hear Konami Kohara, I always think like a very purish kind of character. So I can't be doing that to Soda, who is very evidently like pure meat. Oh, what is this? What is biscuit? Oh, she's so cute. Okay, we have achieved it, guys. We have Dog Girl. Anike belonging to Happy Zoo, the ARC's animal management squad. Due to her ability to communicate with animals, her responsibilities consist of rescuing stray and abused animals. Oh, she's so sweet. What a sweetheart. I also don't know if I've heard her voice actually before. Maria Naganawa. Maybe? Maybe? Look at all the doggos. Oh, God. Of course, they included the fucking rat. Rat dog. Oversized rat. And then you have a good boy golden retriever. I'm guessing a Doberman or Doberman Pinscher. I always confuse the two. And then a rat. I wouldn't have minded if it was at least like a very fluffy rat. But no, it's one of those just like normal haired, but still like tiny, malformed, malnutritioned rats. If you can't tell, I do not like Chihuahuas. Oh, she's a rat. Was she a How the fuck is she a rocket launcher? Ma'am. Hello. How about even the dogs move around? Oh, were you looking? Hey, hey, yo! Hold on. No, 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 no. I saw that. Bro really thinks we didn't notice. Okay, guy. That dog is wild. Oh my god, and the chihuahua's with her. And it's barking. No! It just constantly barks? No, why would you do that to Biscuit? Wait, but that rocket launcher is so good, though. That Dalmatian cannon is so good. <laughs> Dude, just the instant silence when nothing is happening. And wait, why does she have... Is that supposed to be a fucking... Yeah, it's a cat keychain on her back. Why does she have that? Next to her tail? And I just love how, like, the chow is just like, Oh, fuck. She's about to fire. Oh, I'm gonna wait. There we go. Yeah, and back to it. Good lord. That would be annoying to hear in battle, I'm not gonna lie. Does she have it in the chibi? No, it's just her, thank god. Okay, yeah, no, I feel like I've heard her voice actions before, and her chibi looks so fucking adorable, but why did it have to include the fucking rat in the actual, like, in-game model? No, man. Wait a minute. What is this? Who are you, Ray? Ah! Oh, okay. My brotherly instincts have kicked in, brothers. This is a Nikkei that I wish to adopt. A third-year student from MMR Vocational School, who nevertheless has the appearance of a small child. Despite the fact that she is childlike in both her demeanor and personal hobbies, she oddly despises being referred to as kid or little girl. As a senior, she feels obligated to take care of her fellow students who are younger than her, and spares no effort in doing so. Dude, the whole aesthetic of Rey. She has to stand on the suitcase! Okay, wait, no, she's actually super cute. Aw, oh, that's wholesome. This heals me. Like... When it comes to all the units in Nikkei, when you have like super thick units or just like units that are pure sex, you have Ray, who is just like, if you if you ever gone into like a department store and you are overwhelmed by like all the different like scents of perfume and cologne when you walk through that aisle, Ray is like the little jar of coffee beans that they offer to you whenever you're overwhelmed and you want to neutralize that scent. Ray, Ray is a coffee bean. A very small coffee bean. Oh. Okay. That's cute. That is super cute. Also, it's kind of weird that this little penguin thing stores candy in it. I really wonder like, what's her whole like aesthetic with these 
penguins and everything, but I won't question it because it is very cute. Oh, she's a submachine gun. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Oh, no, wait, let me see. What does it have? Jesus, <laughs> the face. <laughs> Oh my god. It's, it's, it's like a Pez. It's like a Pez dispenser now that I think about it. Yeah, it's probably Pez. No, nah, but uh, but her happy face when she eats. Oh. oh, she looks so happy. I will do anything to protect that smile. Anything and everything. If I ever get rid... Because I think Zero mentioned that she was an event unit. Maybe it'll come back. Who knows? But at any rate, uh, if Ray does come back and I do acquire her... I will do everything in my power to protect this child. Any single hit by a rapture will be met with every single burst. Oh, yeah, she looks so tight. She doesn't even have to crouch. She's just fully standing. She's that small. And look at the little penguin. What is he doing there? All right, honey, go ahead and do whatever. <laughs> the <pe> <laughs> Dude, the penguin. The penguin just fucking cheeked up on a Saturday afternoon. What the hell is this, bro? She, yeah, Ray's too pure. She, she's just firing away. And then the penguin's just like, oh! Oh, wait, it actually is unironically a Pez dispenser. The fucking penguin just, like, ejects a whole Pez thing and gives it to Ray. Dude, whenever I was a kid, I always, yeah, I always uh, pretended that the Pez dispenser was like a magazine. Especially, like, with the way you could reload them. Oh, dude, yeah, no, Pe Pez was a shit. I really should see if they still have it. But yeah, let me see that reload again. Yeah, that was actually a fairly quick one, but what is what is the aesthetic of this submachine gun? It's so tiny. It's, it's almost like a... It's a toy. Ah, oh, but her serious little face, like, oh. She's so tiny. I okay, I need to protect and to absolutely adopt Ray. Can you adopt a Nikkei? Because I am very willing to adopt this Nikkei. Also, I yeah, now that I think about it, I'm fairly certain I've heard her voice actress as well. I mean Tanaka. That rings a bell, though I can't put my finger on it. At any rate, May I adopt Ray? Ooh, here we go. We're starting to get into some more interesting ones. So this is Aria. Ooh, interesting. So, oh, that is her tone. Yukobayashi, I might have heard. An opera singer from Prima Donna, where she plays the lead in every performance she's a part of. Her singing consistently game. Oh, I can't fucking believe I thought that said gamers. I'm gonna fucking off myself. Her singing constantly garners standing ovations, making her a living legend in the world of opera. Really? I would have never expected that one, especially with that kind of appearance. It's very ethereal. That's that's how I would put it. She's a machine. Oh wow, she's a machine gun, huh? Oh wow, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, her appearance is very different from most others. Oh wow, yeah. So she does have a machine gun. Um, hmm. What is this supposed to be? Well, I'll have to see from, like, the way it reloads, but what what did you... Oh, yeah, that dress covers everything. Yeah, the, the skirt covers everything, so it's it's no nonsense. It's straight to business. Well, actually, there's a little bit. Okay, yeah, no, that's... It's basically more like an assault rifle, but with a huge-ass magazine. And, uh, obviously, like, a, the necessary heat shield. I really wonder what that's based off of. Oh, even her chibi looks cool as fuck. Yeah, no, she, yeah, she seems very adorable. Oh, man, but yeah, Aria, definitely the most different appearance by far, but in a nice way. Ah, yes, here we go. The one that has been constantly recommended to me, especially for some units that I already have. It is Noise. Oh, she looks stunning. What the fuck? A singer-songwriter who strives to do her utmost in everything. Apart from being part of Prima Donna, her hit song Diva catapulted her into stardom. Yeah, dude, the color scheme for all of the ones in Prima Donna look stunning. Like, this is so nice. Just, like, the little, like, rocks, the little jewels that she has going on in her hair and on, like, different parts of her fit. Damn, that looks so nice. And wait, actually... Oh, damn, madam, the squish is crazy. It's all over. What? And she's a rocket launcher, huh? Oh... 
I did not realize she had a rocket. Ah, uh, she's got the long, long nails. Well, not long, long nails, but I mean, it's still like fairly inconvenient, I would imagine. Okay, yeah, no, she actually just seemed like very pretty. Oh, she has uh, an alternate. Very interesting. I thought that the ones from Humanana would not have an alternate, but she does. Okay, yeah, no, that's more of a grenade launcher for sure. But what kind of grenade launcher is that? Very odd. Oh, and I just noticed that she even has the little jewels on her ankle, like the bottom part of her calves. That's neat. Oh, geez. She do be having a little jiggle, a little firepower. Actually, wait, no, I mes I'm mesmerized with the color scheme. This coloring looks so nice. Oh, wait, that's trippy. The underside of her hair is supposed to be like that blondish. But like, since she has it in a ponytail, you can see that raised part. I like that detail. I like that detail. Hmm. The switchback is really quick. And the reload is fairly quick. I guess it, it depends on like how many you are reloading. But there's only like, you don't really know that in actual combat. Because they have like a set amount of things that they reload. Even if you fire once, it'll fire, it'll like load two or three. Yeah, it's a very odd one. But yeah, no, she looks so pretty, damn. Even her chibi's so pretty. Like, what the fuck, dude? Why does noise look that... Oh, god damn. And what is her alternate? How is that her everyday outfit? Ma'am. She looks like she's about to sing at a wedding or something. Cherry Blossom stage? What part of that is Cherry Blossom? Well, no, because these are really white flowers. I, what part of that is Cherry Blossom? Oh, and instead of the jewels, now they're uh, little white flowers. Yeah, I like that. Oh, she got some socks on? She got some high socks on? Yes. Oh, that's cultured. Damn. Oh, damn. I, I swear like a little more recoil is here or a little more visibility, but that's just me. Hold up. Oh, well, you can see it in the front now. Yeah, it's a lot more noticeable. Oh, yeah, you can see it through the... Okay, all right, buddy. Yeah, you're supposed to peek through the fucking trigger guard. All right. All right, enough of that. Oh. Laundry Lord. Yeah, even that. Does she have uh, eyeshadow over her? Oh, yeah, it's so subtle, but she has like a little like sparkle, uh, whatever that is. I wouldn't. Is it eyeshadow? It's like a shiny thing. I, I mean, I, they definitely sell some like shiny eyeshadow, but I mean, it's just only in that one part. Very interesting. And oh, I didn't even notice she had that in the other one, huh? Yeah, damn, noise is pretty. Fuck, I have been captivated by this unit. All right, keeping it going with Prima Donna, the third member, who a lot of people came into Nikkei in the first place for. Because we all saw the animation, we all saw the physics, it's volume. Yeah, oh my god, she's uh, definitely a threat. A hip-hop singer from Prima Donna who constantly finds herself becoming a hot topic among the public. Her trademarks are her flamboyant outfits and a demeanor that's rough around the edges. I would definitely say so. So yeah, she is a sub machine gun user. And uh, yeah, even... Yeah. The fact that these stockings are already ripping just from her existing is already a testament to her danger. But of course, we all know. We all know the animation. We all know about just the shock of it. It is pure shock value. That's what I'd say. Because the, the first time I saw this, I was just like a constant like, oh my god. And I, it, I just like audibly gasped and recoiled in my chair. Had it not been for that, I would have done the same thing right now, but Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. They knew what they were doing with that. That's just... It's insane. Thank God they don't... Thank God they didn't give her another outfit, because I don't know how much more dangerous she could have become. Oh yeah, and she actually uses MP7, so that's kind of based. But it just doesn't end there, fellas. No. No, it just... Oh my... Dude, I didn't know it, it was that much. And it's even ripping there! 
Why am I not surprised? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no, there's definitely a flamboyant outfit. Oh, God, the effect on the stockings themselves, like that little effect. Oh, uh, yeah, that's how you know that's that material. But no, if only it ended there. When you're actually firing, Jesus, it's just... What are you doing, guy? What are they doing over there? What are the devs cooking up? Because whatever it is, it's too much. Okay, yeah, no, the, her TV makes her look a lot different from how she actually is, but my god, that is just... One more for the road. Just wha what was the point? What was the point of that? <laughs> Whatever it was, I thank God that I'm alive every day just for that. And we just keep the thickness going. Yeah, it's gonna keep going for a good bit now, isn't it? Let's uh, see... Rupee's special unit, Winter Shopper. She looks entirely different. Like, I thought she was like a different unit altogether. But man, that is... That is something. Ruby dressed up in a Santa Claus costume, which she has done to deliver gifts and spread the Christmas cheer to everyone this winter. The first white Christmas in 15 years has Ruby incredibly busy. I'm not sure if that's exactly a Santa outfit, but whatever outfit it is, I thank God that I got to see it. And she's still an assault rifle, so she actually does stay with her specific kind of weapon. That's interesting. But alright. In the fucking selfie stick, is that necessary? Yeah, I guess it is. Dude, look at- wait, hold on. The squish right here, that little waist squish. That is just proper right there. And also, I really think she needs, like, a bigger outfit, because that is just barely holding on. And I thank God that it is. Oh, okay. I, oh, that actually looks cute. Wait! Okay, the glow on that is actually pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Hey! Ooh, damn. Okay, so that's what it looks like from the back. Alright. Damn, yeah, it just reveals a little more than the base unit. But let's see, recoil. Yeah, it's pretty much it. Oh, wait, actually, wait, look at the effect on the, uh, oh. Yeah, look at the effect of the gunshots. Wait, that actually looks so good. That is nice. And the reload is surprisingly fast. Like, that's startlingly fast. Wow, okay. Damn. Nice. Yeah, no, this, yeah, this is a good unit. This is a good unit, and I know it from the very start. As for a unit that I know is not so great in terms of meta, but is absolutely one of my favorite in designs, it is Rosanna. Holy, that's just divine. Leader of Hedonia, a sizable criminal gang. Compared with other members of the Underworld Queen, she is far more pugnacious and firmly believes that violence is the ultimate panacea. She does, however, take exceedingly good care of those who are part of her gang. Yeah, and I could see it, like, body. That is, uh, just like the black rose with the thorn tattoos, the fluffy jacket, and is this really supposed to be a vest? I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, thank you. And of course she's holding a fucking Thompson, but it's actually a sick looking Thompson. Not one of those old style ones, but definitely like a more modernized Thompson. And it's so, yeah, no, it's just so good. The color scheme, don't get me started. You got my favorite colors. And it's just, it's all wrapped into one divine package. Hey, yo. Is she not afraid to use it? Okay, it's actually like a, it's, I feel like it's a fairly stubby kind of Thompson. I feel like the barrel is usually longer, but she probably just like cut it to like make it easier. Let us inspect. Wait, what? This counts as a machine gun? I thought it was an SMG. And Jesus Christ, that is a shake. Oh Lord, in the front. Don't get me started. But yeah, that's a, that's a machine gun? And she just like slaps that shit out. All right, fair enough. But really? Is it? Huh. I can't get over the fact that the fucking drum magazine is constantly spinning. <laughs> That's not how these things work, but we'll take it. We'll take it. God, no, but yeah, she seriously is, like, pretty hot. Like, that. that is 
That is some femme fatale vibes right there. Oh, uh, and this is the Mary I wish I had. This is a uh, bay goddess Mary. An angel in white who spends her whole vacation healing people. Behind her kind and gentle smile, there are secrets that no one knows. Oh, and thank god she, yes, has a different weapon. Okay, so she's a sniper rifle instead. So she switched from shotgun to sniper rifle. It is what it is. It's not bad. But yeah, dude, the, the shading and coloring is almost entirely different. I get, it gets more like the effect of lighting, but let me take a look. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is shiny as fuck. She's out in the sun right now, and it is beating down. Holy, the squish is impeccable. Now to think about it, yeah, she's wearing pretty much all white and has blue blue flowers adorned. She, what, what is this? What is this Retsu aesthetic that I've got going on here? Oh yeah, actually, what kind of? Ooh, um, well, whatever the case, let's inspect. Oh Jesus, it do be shaken. She is covering up, but it do be shaken. Oh wow, actually, not a bad reload. Yeah, that's actually fairly quick. Fairly quick. And the, oh, the front. Okay. Alrighty. She's still not opening her eyes. I was hoping that she'd open her eyes at some point, but not yet. Damn, boy. God. Yeah. The chibi just makes it entirely obvious. What? Yeah, wow. For some reason, the chibi makes it look very, very apparent. Although it's not... Actually, no, now it's become more apparent to me. Fuck. Oh, let's take a look at this one. Nero or yeah. Neto. Oh, dear. Anike attached to the Ark's animal management troop, Habisu. Her specialty is tending to all things pertaining to cats. Her personality and appearance are pretty feline-esque. Although she is soft-spoken, this does not mean she is in any way timid. So we have Biscuit and we have Nero. That is, uh, that is something. And yeah, she's a submachine gun. That's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about right. But actually, what is this? What is this outfit? Ma'am, what is the point of that skirt? There is nothing covering that. <laughs> Oh. oh my. Yeah, we have achieved it. We have achieved Cat Girl Nike. My first instinct is to instantly belly rub, but the whole outfit itself is dangerous. It's just all out there. <laughs> Holy hell. Oh, okay, what is this? Um, hmm. This kind of uh, SMG. I don't know why I want to say, like, this is uh, reminiscent of the. Uh... Ah, fuck. What's the SMG that the, uh, that the Spatsanaz Defenders use in, uh, in Rainbow Six Siege? I think it might be that, but I could be wrong. At any rate, yeah, she do be, she do be kind of thick. Oh, wow, yeah, no, it's definitely evident. It's definitely evident from the back, even though it's ironically in the front. Oh, yeah, it's evident. Whoa, hold up, that was a fast fucking reload, and of course, the little lick. Wait, okay, hold on, I... This one I'm gonna have to repeat various times. Just the just the catch swipe, like fwa, and then really quick. But what was she even doing at the end? Nero is cute as fuck. Oh wow, her chibi looks much more unique. And wait, is she holding her fuck? She's holding it through the hole in the stock with her tail. Oh Jesus, and it's very. It is very obvious. Yeah, like, I can tell this is a much newer unit, because, like, the, the model feels a bit more high def. Like, the colors seem to pop out a little more. Plus, everything's a lot balanced here. Yeah, no, Nero is, uh, is a pretty dangerous unit. Ah, uh, yes. The other summer unit that I just, well, quote-unquote, missed, I didn't really want to go for, but, I mean, fuck. I can't believe they made a seasonal unit this fucking meta. Sparkling Summer Addis. God damn. Annis has finally brought out her much anticipated swimsuit and put it on. This time, she is sure to get what she wants, be it free time on the beach or more time with those close to her. Yeah, I know that whole outfit is just crazy. Well, it's not even an outfit, it's a fucking swimsuit. Honestly, from this view, it just kind of looks like two face masks taped together. <laughs> I'll never understand the aesthetic of that kind of swimsuit, but hey, to each their own. Oh my god, the fucking bucket of fried chicken with Mustang's face on it. <laughs> and wait, she exchanged her rocket launcher for a shotgun? That's what she is now? Huh. Well, alright then. 
Hey yo, she's enjoying life. Yeah, that's a that's a nice can of probably some Ah, so he's super dry. Actually the shades are kinda cool, yeah. But how does he even drink that? Alright, I just noticed the jiggle, it goes nuts. But yeah, she is unabashedly having fun, and that's what Annis deserves. Very appropriate that there are coconuts there, because I'm about a coconut. Yeah, wow, it actually is a shotgun. Wait, what in fuck's name is going on here? What kind of goofy-ass shotgun we got going on here? Definitely very themed for the beach. Yeah, I'm wondering how the fuck that swimsuit is holding on for dear life. Oh my- it's completely kneel? Is that the first time that we've seen a unit entirely kneel forward? Yeah, that's both legs on the ground. Both knees touching the floor. And now, okay, I do see like how it is holding on, but man, it is, it is struggling. Oh, okay, not too bad. Oh, okay, it's one of those. Ah, wait, I think I've seen this shotgun type before. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a whole drum magazine and just like no stock, but what? is that oh yeah and the chibi makes it very obvious wait the thing spins okay okay all right putting the shades on <laughs> the shades are so good yeah this is a this is a bountiful unit oh look the one that we're hunting down right now snow white wait what the fuck she has entire sentries turrets mounted on her what the hell Oh, it's by Mao! Okay, that's a name I haven't seen in a long time. A puritanical pilgrim who wanders the surface in an effort to protect humanity. As a member of Pioneer, her days are spent wiping out raptures with extreme prejudice. And of course, we already know. Oh, she's an assault rifle! I swear she used a fucking sniper rifle in the, uh, in the story! That's a s She's an AR? What?! Oh, okay, that's kind of cold. Okay, wait, that actually was kind of fire. I thought she was going to stay in the visor mode, but no. Yeah, wait. Okay, she... The cool factor on her is definitely double S tier, but man. I wonder how she is as an actual unit. I feel like she's pretty good. Yeah, wow, I thought the thing by her side... Yeah, this whole thing... Yeah, I thought this was going to be the sniper rifle that she uses. No, she just uses an AR. And a very simplistic one at that. What is that, actually? It feels reminiscent, but it's way too boxy for me. Bruh. Oh, and yeah, no, everything's pretty much covered up. It's no nonsense. All business. Feel sounds somewhat slow, but I just wonder how it fa Oh, wow, she did that fast. Say that again. God damn. All right, yeah. Snow White is pulling out all the stops, and yeah, the thigh game's on point. Yeah, wait, what the hell? She's carrying three different fucking weapons on her! Holy hell! She is a war machine! Ah, uh, yeah, the pilgrim we don't talk about, it's Isabel. Yeah, apparently she's not too good, which is very unfortunate. An aerial pursuer with a twisted mind. She will track her target to the ends of the earth regardless of whether they're friend or foe. It's because of her that Inherit is a force to be reckoned with in the skies. I believe it. She do be looking a little crazy there. Is she a shotgun? Oh my god, she's a shotgun. But damn, this outfit though. I feel uh, like I've seen this kind of- Oh, it's basically Purple Mercy. <laughs> oh no. She's got the baby making eyes. We enjoy crazy in this household, though not really. Ooh, what kind of shotgun is that? Can't put my finger on it, but Damn. let's see. Yeah, just about what I expected. Pretty standard. Oh, it's entire recoil. Oh, no, it's the front. Ah, it felt, like, oddly slow. So you at least load the whole magazine in there. Just, like, shells ready to go, but eh, it's, it's kind of okay. Yeah, no, I can definitely see that Isabel isn't really the most desired pilgrim, but she's still a pilgrim nonetheless. I will take it. We're almost there, thank God. Ah, uh, free us Rapunzel. That is definitely a pilgrim that I want. A saint-like figure who appeases the spirits of those who have died on the surface. Often found lost in prayer, she is also prone to reminiscence. Yeah, no, she has a stunning look to her, but I hear that 
Apparently she is a degenerate, so thank Christ. Rocket launcher, interesting, okay. Oh, wait. Wait, she actually might be a degenerate, hello? What was that look? Was she drooling? Hey, yo. Okay, yeah, she might be uh, a little bit of a freak. What is wrong with these uh, with these pilgrims? Actually, no, she she definitely fits the Mercy look a lot more, but you know what I mean with the wings on Isabel. Oh, wow, so that is a rocket launcher. I'm guessing it's more like an energy cannon, but it's, it, it would count best as a rocket launcher. Oh, it's covering everything. Oh, I should have expected that of a fucking nun. Oh, okay, that reload is kind of cool, but wait, what was the effect? Yeah, no, that's a pretty tight suit, actually. She do be having firepower, but it is not on full display. It is not on full display at all. At least we have a cool reload. Oh, yeah, she actually does look pretty nice. Yeah, no, the, the pilgrims in general always have, like, a nice aesthetic. I just wonder how she actually is in combat. Ah, yep. Zero can't stop talking about this one, and I imagine a lot of other people can't either. So this is Scarlet. Oh god, she's voiced by Reina Ueda. Alright, so you know she's good. A wandering swordsman from Pioneer who's partial to a good drink. Despite the common procession of melee weapons being ineffective in combat, she chooses to wield the sword. So yeah, she's basically a modern day Ronin. Interesting. Yeah, no, the look. The feet goes hard, not gonna lie. It's like taking the traditional, but putting it in like a very cyberpunk-esque, like, aesthetic. I love it. Oh, it is shiny. Hmm, doesn't look like she has much firepower, but we shall see. Yeah, it is just- Oh, wait, hold on, those heels are fucking crazy. How does she walk in those? How is she gonna get up from there? Ma'am? Oh, wow, yeah. Wait, what? Hold on, Scarlet's the first one I've seen thus far that has a side view completely. Huh. Everyone has just been showing off the cake, but she is only showing the sides. Huh. Very interesting. And yeah, that stance, fucking hell. How do you balance? Your knees are gonna be feeling that. Oh, what the fuck? Huh. Mild jiggle, but it's alright. Wait, no, but seriously, that's so fucking cool. How fast is she sending those out? Damn. Yeah, Scarlet's, uh... Scarlet is definitely unique. Out of all the units we've seen thus far, now I see her appeal. Damn, even the stance is different. <laughs> the march. It's so, it, it's so adorable, yeah. Scarlet, yeah, Scarlet is very unique. Wow. Damn. I'd be very glad to get her. Ah, uh, yep. Here comes Haran. She's, uh... She is something. God. Damn. No, she's seriously pretty. A charming necromancer from Inherit who relishes her role as an apex predator on the surface. She uses a large sight and mechanical crows to fight. Wait, what? Mechanical crows? That was actually kind of cool. Out of the pilgrims thus far, she seems the most human-like. Like, she doesn't have too many, like, cyborg augments. Most of them... Like, seem that they're heavily fucking modified and they're very mechanical, while, while Haran is very, very much human-like, except for the incredibly long hair. Oh yeah, she is a sniper rifle. Ooh. And she also has the animation that uh, changes when you click on her. Okay, cool. So there's only very certain ones that can do that. Oops. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Huh. Look at that. Yo, wait, that looks crazy. Hold on. That sniper rifle looks sick. The scope alone is fucking peak. Yeah, out of, in terms of, like, uniqueness of design, yeah, Haran is definitely double S tier. Also, the crow. What is that crow doing? Oh, whoa. Hold up. That's scr Okay, that actually looks so cool. It's transparent, but it has, like, this cosmic effect to it. Damn. Yeah, no, Haran gets a triple S in terms of design. Shit. I love what they did with her. 
Oh, whoa, what was the reload mechanic on that? It's like a charge and she pumps it? What? Yeah, wait, I'm trying to, I'm gonna learn this. Mild jiggle, by the way. But yeah, no, The what, what really strikes me is just the overall design of her and her weapon. Dude, Haran's cool. Yeah, and even her chibi looks mad different from how she actually is. But yeah, Haran is a very unique unit too. Damn, now I see why pilgrims are sought after. They're awesome. Wait, I've heard this voice actually before Yui Ogura, but what, what else has she done? We already know plenty about fucking Noah. <laughs> Little brat. Yeah, her, hers is a very interesting rocket launcher. These two shields are basically like an energy cannon. Her stance though, it is kind of cool. Like she's ready to fucking throw hands, but it's just a very simple cannon thing. She's got nothing. Both in the front and in the back, but it's all in the cannon and the protect. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, that reload is really cool, though. I will give her that. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. I didn't know that the fucking shields went around her. Okay. All right. She's such a fucking flex, but... It's... What is there to flex? Okay, I'm gonna skip over one real quick. Just to take a look at her last. But, damn... A design that I have been mesmerized by is a fairly new unit from what I hear, Nihilister. Holy hell, she is a, well, as the kids, as the new kids call it, she a fucking baddie. A heretic and a loyal subject of the Rapture Queen who has long been a scourge to all Nikkeis. As a lead general of the legions under the Queen's command, her belligerence knows no bounds, nor does her appetite for destruction. A heretic, that's interesting. Yeah, so this is way later on in the story but ha huh, so she was part she was with the rapture queen how the fuck did we get her hello this is straight up enemy no dude the stuff that uh, the body suit is ripping and yeah that is a sniper rifle the, the fucking dragon aesthetic goes nuts <laughs> holy shit she just like punches the shit out of them just to wake them up is that required ma'am do it again. Oh my. Yeah, she is a threat in multiple manners. Okay, yeah, even her stance just while in cover is crazy. Yeah, wow. Hmm. It's covered up by a lot though, yeah. Um, but still, the dragon aesthetic is really nice. Fight. Holy, yep. Yeah, yeah, that's where it is. I was wondering where it was. And it was all on the front. Okay, wait, but the dra- Okay, that reload is sick. Okay, that looks cool. That is really nice. The march! Yeah, he's, uh... Interesting. Yeah, I don't see too many people talking about her, so I'm guessing she's not as strong as I'd expect her to be. But still, like, the design, again... I'd say double S or even triple S tier. Like, it's just a really nice, like, real fire design. Of course, our our blessed beauty with a lot of fucking baggage. Dorothy. The leader of the Inherit Squad. In a squad renowned for her superlative strength, she is recognized as the most powerful amongst all of them. Her angelic smile conceals the true conscience of her heart, which remain a mystery. Yeah, no, she's, uh... She's got a lot going on there. It is what it is. The armor, though, is sick. And honestly, like, with the, like, completely white aesthetic, I've completely overlooked the fact that her panties are in full view at any day of the week. Girl! Oh my god! Oh! Yeah, no, fellas. She do be kind of thick. Not gonna hold you. And just to look whenever she reloads. Like, look at me like that, and I will fucking say I'm sorry for things I haven't even done. Wait, what the fuck? Her chibi looks so different. Yeah, no, it's entirely different from her actual model. <laughs> entirely different. Like, who? 
who? And here come the abnormals, starting off uh, with uh, Makima. Man, they, they they did something with this one. They did something with her. Because, uh, yeah, so she's a submachine gun. That's so odd for her to be there as a submachine gun. I feel like she would have been a lot more powerful with an assault rifle, but eh. Yeah, no. Simple motion. That's all you need. And of course, they knew exactly what to do. Remove the coat. That's the only way of doing things. Just by standing there, she's already like a menace. Yeah, so they just gave them like these very strange weapons. Because I've never seen those in the anime, of course. But yeah, there we are. It is free. It is all things should be. Damn, wait, actually it sounds like it goes fast as fuck. Oh, but the, uh, yeah, the recoil is, wh what the fuck, that reload? Oh, hell no. Yo, that, okay, that feels very odd. And I think you can see the eye of this thing, like, wince whenever she tries inserting that magazine, or whatever the fuck that is. Yeah, oh my god. What is that weapon? Yo, she's, is she the first one to actually just walk like that? Everyone else has pretty much been, like, on a little, like, march kind of thing. Like, it, the, the stance, the walk. But yeah, no, she's different. And yeah, they, they did a good job with evoking that one. And of course, there's power. She got a really good model, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it doesn't help that she's also voiced by Fido's eyes, so you know that it's already, like, top tier. And of course, yes, yeah, she's a fucking rocket launcher. What else would they give her? I'm very glad that they uh, they brought Miaoi along with her. <laughs> yeah, no, they did a super job with her, with like her actual model. That's uh, yeah, that's double S tier for me. That uh, triple S tier, I'd say. It's simple, but it actually feels right. And this rocket launcher, yeah, it's very it's very suiting to her. Simple, silly aesthetic. And yeah, she doesn't have too much, but it's something. Yo, what the fuck was that slap for? You already inserted it. There was no need for the slap. It's just to extend the time. <laughs> oh, wow. They actually did a nice job with her chibi. Oh, those things spin, huh? Yeah, no, even... It's weird. The chibi in uh, Nikkei actually makes her look like she has more in the front than what she actually had in the anime. Because it, it was just... Pads of lies. Wait, she, she actually might be using them. That would make sense. And of course, 2B and A2. Yeah, it's just a simple little thing. I actually do like how the animation changes between her normal form and her destructed form. Yeah, self-destruct is a wonderful operation. But the one that I do not have and will not have is her gotcha skin which holy hell that is lovely that is lovely yeah that actually looks damn boy damn it. oh fuck the way it goes in i mean all right yep that's enough out of that even the oh wow the chibi actually looks super cute wait ah what the fuck all right what okay that's a special stance, and it's a very special one at that. What? That actually looks so fucking cool. And then her walk. Yeah, wait. Yeah, this one isn't much of a... This one isn't much of a march like the others as well. This is a straight-up walk. She knows she's hot shit. What the hell? Yeah, this unit is impeccable. As is lovely A2, my god. Seriously, the animation they did with the, this hip swing, God, fucking stab me, and I will say thank you. But of course, I have her with the short-haired version, which is also extremely good. Jesus. And of course, she has her own gotcha skin. I really like the aesthetic of this one. It feels very elegant. Actually, wait, what was the... Uh, is there any special animation? Oh, what the... Oh, okay. Wait, that's actually lovely, dude. Fancy. Damn. Although I don't think it shows too much. Yeah, it doesn't show too much. 
Oh damn, but the Jigglers are alright. Now she's still very pretty in general. Yeah, no, they did a stellar job with her. Oh, wait, her team looks so cute. Yeah, this one is more of like, a, it's a slightly copper walk, but with more purpose. Yeah, no, they, they did a very good job with the gotcha skins, even though, like, it is going to be a pain in the dick for a lot of people to try and even get those skins. More power to them. Okay, and now the final unit, which I've heard a lot about, about how good she is, but I don't know, I've, I haven't seen, like, hmm, there's a lot of mystery going on with this one. It could just be me being the dumbest fucking idiot. But Modernia, she looks lovely. And of course, she is voiced by Kanahanazawa. This one is voiced by Kanahana, and I'm very happy. A plain and delicate girl who sold out mankind. A member of the Queen's Elite Squad, the Heretics. Wait, huh? She's also a heretic? Oh, damn. Yeah, that's uh interesting. So those are two members of the Heretics. So they're with the Rapture Queen. Odd. But yeah, no, just the aesthetic, like... I really wonder where this all stems from. What the fuck is she even holding? It's huge. Oh, wait, that's a machine gun. What, she's a machine gun? Oh. I was expecting a assault rifle, but no, never mind. Aw, oh, she... Oh, wait, she actually does look cute, though. I wonder if she ended up in the Queen Squad. Ah, uh, no, but of course, the, the, the bounty is in her alternate, which everybody got. Yeah, first affection. That is that is very cute. Oh. oh, she's adorable. Yeah, no, she really is very, very cute. Let me see actually her like normal appearance. Yeah, so that thing is a machine gun, huh? Oh. Damn, that instantly goes off. It's not as slow as the other ones. It just it just starts going and going and oh boy. Ooh. Show me that. Okay, the sound design. They did really good with that one. Uh huh, that's a really cool a really cool machine gun. Yeah, wow, yeah, she's kinda nice. But let me, let me see with her first affection one. She's adorable. Yeah, well, how is she even mounting that? <laughs> oh dear, and now you can see everything. Yeah, no, this was the skin that was made for her. Yep. Thank God. Damn it, you could see a little bit in the front. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, now that's cute. Oh. The little doll. Of, I'm guessing that's supposed to be the commander. Yeah, no, that's super cute. But yeah, no, she also has like a normal walk. Okay. Interesting, but yeah, no, Modernia, Modernia seems like a unit that I would really, really want to have. But yeah, I swear, hmm. Some don't sit right, but I don't know what it is. I don't know. Alright, so this will be future me, I guess, but we're react reacting to the last bit of uh, Nikkei's for this one. Um... This one is, uh, <clears throat> wonderful. So this is Marciana. Uh, she's an Elysian shotgun, I'm guessing. Yeah, shotgun, uh, I think a clip shotgun. Yeah, so she, eh, it's kind of divisive, but I mean, honestly, just besides that, I love the design a lot. Wait, she's adorable, dude. What the hell? See, I love the ones that have, like, the kind of, like, strict kind of, like, serious exterior. But more than likely, she definitely enjoys, like, some cutesy stuff or something else. I have no idea. But besides that, I really just love the overall design. Oh, Jesus. Just the stances. Ma'am! Alright. God damn. How is she a teacher? How is she not my teacher? I'm just ignoring the fact that she has a riding crop on her side. Anyways, what is the firepower? Damn, boy! Oh, it's all in the back. Yep. Never mind. It's... <clears throat> She's a bit dangerous. Oh, wait, even the model looks adorable. Yeah, interesting. Okay, her chibi model looks a bit different compared to how she actually looks, but that's just more of the fact that the uh, the actual just like 
the sprite of it is so detailed and it's really nice. I love the art style for this one. Yeah, no, seriously, why? Sometimes simplicity really is the best policy. And she has like a little belly piercing, I guess? A belly button piercing. Belly ring. Oh yeah, now if you remember correctly, Novel now has a, another outfit. So besides this little penguin one, she, uh, she has a Halloween nurse outfit. Interesting color scheme. I'm not, uh, hmm. It doesn't hook me immediately, but it does seem interesting. And actually, <sighs> you know, I know Novel was hiding some kind of firepower before, but this one makes it a little more obvious. Okay, but what do you actually the detailing on this? Like, I do like everything that's going on here. I don't know, the, co the color palette just throws me off a little bit. I don't know. I feel like something more in line with uh, Novel's original coloring would do fine. Or maybe even just like a sim an actual red like nurse outfit, the, the, the one similar to Maiden. But I, I guess this one's good. Oh, okay, so the animation does change. Oh, I like that. Okay, that one's nice. That is nice. Wait, how's the actual... Oh, wait, that's kind of cute. Wait, her weapon actually looks so cute. What the hell? Oh, I love what they do with the customization in this. This is real nice. Oh, okay, so yeah, it is a lot more... I, I feel like it's hidden. But no, novel skirts always just like defying the laws of gravity. It's just like, are you are you long enough to cover or not? Yeah, this one feels like it covers a little more. Oh, interesting. So she just keeps her mouth like that. And the other one, it just like, you can see her mood switch. But no, she's just always just like holding some candy. Oh, the chibi's adorable. Wait, the thing spins. Hard to see it when she's walking, but... Oh, little things. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool how it just spins while idle. That's cute. I like the detail they did with that. And of course, after Marciana came a couple of graduate students. I am very baffled that there's even a school for Nikkei's. But this one right here, the first one that came out, is Naga. This, uh, instantaneously reminds me of uh, Karin from Blue Archive, but... I don't know, there's like this air of maturity to her, which isn't a bad thing. And so yeah, she's also a shotgun. Is she also a clip shotgun? I guess? But yeah, interesting. So while Marciano's from Elysian, uh, it looks like both Naga and her buddy that's coming up next are both from Missilis. I wonder how that works. Oh my goodness. Wait a fucking minute. I see that young lady. I'm fairly certain this isn't in dress code. Oh damn, okay, the model looks like... The shotgun is interesting. I'm not sure what this one would be. It's a lot more futuristic. Like, they're definitely getting a little fancier with their weapon designs. I wasn't able to tell what Marciana's was, so I didn't even try. But this one, it feels inspired off of something, but nothing that I've seen in real life, at least. I have no clue. Damn. Okay, so, yeah, just a simple... Well, no, not a simple one at all. <clears throat> Jesus, yep. Yeah, shotguns are kind of powerful. Oh, even the- yeah, I feel like the models are getting upgraded, dude. Oh, the sway. And I just love how she always has, like, the little hair tie in her mouth. What is it with having hair ties in your mouth? I don't get that. Girls, please respond. And of course, where there's a cutting, there must always be an asana. Tia is, uh, yeah, just directly, like, based off of her, uh, from Blue Archive. It's just... <laughs> you could copy my homework, just don't make it identical. <laughs> oh shit, so she's a rocket launcher instead. Yeah, no, that definitely makes sense, because whatever she's packing in this sick-ass case is definitely, uh, definitely something big. And man, is she, uh, is she big. Also, are those tights really doing anything? They're pretty much see-through. I feel like she should get more, some more solid tights, but that's just me. <laughs> Good lord! Ma'am? Why did she even explode like that? Hello? Oh, see, she actually looks a lot more simple here. Oh, well, that, that rocket launcher is very, <laughs> very cylindrical. Hey. Oh, damn. But she do be having some in the back. So it's not just all front. Interesting. Oh, well, actually a very simple reload. Although, how fast was that? It's a little, like, sluggish, but I mean, it's smooth at the very least. It's slow, but smooth. I just know the boots, though. Okay. 
Holy Jesus! <laughs> Even the chibi! Of course she would like sweets. But wait, Jesus Christ! Yeah, no, I'm not pressing. Wow. Okay, actually it does kind of look a little bit like a javelin when in the chibi mode. But I mean, it, it feels a little bigger than what Mika has. Seriously, and yeah, no, she just goes big on everything, doesn't she? Good lord, I do- I'm fairly fucking certain that that is not dress code. And it would seem dear little Diesel got a new outfit. Uh, but it looks very similar to the, the the original one. So this is Strawberry Flower. They really want to keep in line with their, uh, for the little, just like, Korean style aesthetic. I don't know, that's just what I feel from it. It is definitely very cute. Um, and it, it just works. Like, it's very, like, modern, very posh, very girly. Which does definitely suit Diesel. Oh, but the, the candy's not there anymore. Wait, oh, that weapon actually looks nice. The fact that this is a free skin, that is beautiful. Then again, it is Diesel, but still, free skin. Hmm. Not too bad. But again, with the little wave. Okay, yeah, that, that is pretty nice. I actually do like that one. For a free skin, it's, it's nice. And so recently with the ACPU freeze event, we also got Kitty, who's uh, supposedly blind as hell. Why? She's a Nikkei, so I'm wondering why she even has, like, eye damage. I imagine she could get that fixed, but it, I guess she also wants to feel a little more human with it. But still, if it's debilitating to the point where you can barely see, I don't know about that, Chica. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, she, she's definitely very adorable. Oh, she's also an Elysian unit. But seriously, where is that rocket launcher from? That is directly from the future. Okay, she feels a little different from her sprite. Yeah, the sprites and the uh, the actual combat sprites, they are they feel very different. Although, that's not entirely bad. Oh, gee! What the hell? Yo, she has Shimapan. That's crazy that she's that cultured. Wait, but the thigh game go crazy. Hello? Wait, she's just thick in all aspects. <laughs> oh, that's cute though. Wait a minute, let me see that again. Oh my god, the only reason she delays her reload is because she can't fucking see. That's so good though. But Jesus Christ. Ooh. And there's even an appropriate- Whoa. I was a little flabbergasted there for a second because I didn't expect that there was some in the front some in the back. Just everything. These Nikas are getting thicker and my life is getting riskier. Aww, that's kind of cute. She looks so small, but her twin tails look so huge. It doesn't help that her weapon's also massive. Okay, but yeah, no, Kitty. Kitty's definitely cute. She may not exactly be meta, or maybe even good, depending on what she does. But yeah, no, for sure, she is an absolute cutie. Oh, and yeah, Privity supposedly got a new skin as well. Uh, that would be this one. The Banquet Prince. Oh, my. All right, there's a lot going on here, but gentlemen, this one, this one's fucking pretty. That's the first thing that strikes me. This is a beautiful dress, and it actually suits her very well. Or, you know, I, I would say suit very well, but it's more like the look suits very well. The dress itself, honey, it's a little too small. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. She knows exactly what the fuck she's doing. No, 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 no. Hatsundere Miku is not getting away with this. Also, is she is she wearing something down there? Good lord! It, even in the combat stance, you can't really tell. Yike! But wait, the weapon actually looks pretty cool. Still, actually, yeah, the dress is really nice. I love the layering that they did to it. There's some detail going on here. The aesthetic goes. Beautifully. Damn, boy. Oh, wait, she does. She definitely does. Good lord, the fact that you can just completely see. I still can't get over the fact that Privity actually has, like, some massive firepower back there. From the normal stance, you wouldn't be able to tell. Oh, and yep, she definitely has it. I, I also forget that she has a fast reload. Oh, even the, even the TV looks nice. Oh, wow, it actually is a little transparent, even in the chibi model. Just a little bit, not as much as in the the actual one, but... God damn, that is really pretty, though. 
No, but it, don't even fucking lie to me. She's trying to seduce the commander easily. <laughs> Especially with that, that fucking animation, hello? Oh, yeah, uh, 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 uh. We know, we know your games. We will not play them, wench. Okay, maybe we will play them a little bit. And with the, uh, with the anniversary update, we all got a free copy and we're all going to get uh, extra copies if we do some certain challenges for free to max limit break what I like to call small white. So this is Snow White Innocent Days, back when she was in the Goddess Squad. I'm actually very surprised of the night and day difference between Snow White and Small White. Like, she looks so adorable in this one, although what is all that stuff she's carrying? Aww. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, yeah, no, Snow White's absolutely adorable. Whatever happened to that smile? I must know. Okay, and so yeah, her weapon, it is boxy as hell. Um, why does that look familiar though? I don't know, it just looks really, really familiar. But that scope is definitely something different. Ah, uh, and yeah, she's all pretty much, well actually no, never mind, she's not business. Young lady! <clears throat> yeah, Nikkei is still Nikkei, and I thank God for it. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> She's, she feels like that oh, overall she actually might be a little more serious and to the point which is all the more reason why I would want to tease her 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. But then the main attraction is right here, Red Hood, holy. I haven't even met her in the story yet. But I, I have a feeling I know how she's going to come into the story. That is a killer design. Definitely uh, very reminiscent of Yoko Littner. I'm just going to say it right now. <laughs> but yeah, no, she's uh, definitely a sniper. Considering the fact that she has the, uh, the M82A2. The very cursed Bullpup 50 cal. <laughs> Specifically the Bullpup shoulder mounted 50 cal. That's going to hurt like a bitch. Definitely a tummy queen. Holy. What the hell? Okay. Why does her animation pull out all the stops? Damn. She's really liked that. Oh yeah, that is absolutely the A2. Holy fuck. Trying to trying to do that a shoulder mounted is uh it's gonna break your collarbone, but I guess for Nikkei's she doesn't really have to worry about that. Oh, she do be packing a little bit. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure it's just held down by the leather. Well, the front definitely isn't. I just thank God that I can actually see anything, because with the scope, I will basically be focused on nothing. Yo, wait, what the fuck? Even her chibi looks so cool! Yo... I almost didn't even notice the jiggle, but holy shit, her model actually looks good even in chibi form! Why the fuck is Red Hood so cool? It's not fair, man! And along with those two, I believe that uh, Haran and Dorothy got skins. Let me see Haran's. Banquet Witch. Ooh, fancy! I like it. The, the little tummy window, the little belly button window. That's kind of cultured, although I'm really wondering what is going on up top. Is there even... Wait, hold on. Can I even get closer? Ooh. Oh, whoa. Okay, that actually does look pretty cool. Wait, can I even... No, I, I don't think it can get closer, but... Yeah, what is going on up top? Is that connected to something? I really can't tell. This is a an interesting kind of dress. I'm guessing, yeah, that is supposed to be just like some see-through like black lace under there. Because otherwise it just looks like it's kind of hanging on there. By a thread, very much. So everything about this, yeah, this is this right here, that's all fancy. Yeah, even the crow got the ice. What the fuck? And wait, that's a real crow. I think she has a mechanical crow normally, doesn't she? Yeah, she just has a mechanical crow, and she shows thighs. But this one, she looks a little more human. Interesting. Oh, the fucking sniper looks beautiful. That is nice. Oh gee, that dress does no favors for her. Okay, but yeah, actually, I'm still in love with the design of the sniper. 
Whoa, okay, now that's how it's supposed to look like. Dude, wait. Hmm. The the sprite definitely looks so different from the chibi because it looks like in the actual sprite, it looks like it's just barely hanging on by a thread. There's nothing connecting here. But in the chibi, it looks like it comes all the way down from the top of the dress. Either way, yeah, no, Haran got some good treatment. And my dear Dorothy has also received a skin, but it is a costume gotcha, so I will actually die. Oh my goodness. So this is nostalgia. Good lord. It's it's kind of interesting. I wonder why, like, a pink dress, it makes her look, I don't know, somewhat stubby? That's just me, but it definitely emphasizes the sheer, like, local butchery quality meat. That is going on here. I am in awe. Whoa. Oh. Oh my goodness, that is a shift and a half. Now I see why it is in the costume gacha. It is basically two in one. Although the second one definitely makes me think I'm gonna be depressed soon. Oh, there we go. Seriously, that is uh that is very pretty. But yeah, it's the same old Dorothy. Interesting. Oh, oh! Yep, it is definitely same old Dorothy. Wait, does the, the costume actually change in-game, though? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Damn it. Alright. Oh! Look at the little, little doll following her. Oh, I, f I feel like this will give me sadness later on. Whoa! What? Oh! That's so cute! Oh god, yeah, no, that's definitely someone that was close to her, but I'm guessing she's not around. Oh. oh, that's cute. Oh, and there's just like a bunch of feathers flopping about anytime that she walks. Just, <laughs> just the bounce from the doll, though. That's nice. I like that. Alright, I thought I was gonna end off with Red Hood and all that stuff, but, uh, you know... Time just keeps going by, so might as well just do it until the end of the year. So after that, we didn't get uh, this little one who's called Tov. Or actually, I'm guessing it's supposed to be pronounced Tov if it's based off of the one author that it's inspired by. Because I'm, I'm fairly certain that Unlimited is based off of just like a bunch of fairy tale stuff. Not necessarily characters in fairy tales, but even just like authors or like different kinds of works. But um, yeah, she's a very interesting one. She's supposed to be like a shotgun buffer, but she has an SMG that I cannot understand how the fuck it works. That is the first thing that sticks out. Not the fact that she is in a uh, unlimited standard skin suit, but the fact that she has the wonkiest looking submachine gun I have seen in my days. Is that supposed to be the magazine well? Because I don't know how that's supposed to go in. Like, wh what are you working with here, honey? I really need to know. And are those supposed to be exhaust ports? In the back? Or, like, what is happening here? Wait, she can't even mount that on her... Not on shoulder. Well, is she gonna have to hip fire it? Because judging from... Look at the length of the stock. This is just gonna become a gun review at this point. I, I, yeah, Tobe's cute, but, I mean, please, honey. Okay, that's actually kind of cute. Alright, I'll, I'll admit, yeah, Tobe is kind of cute. The, the design did throw me off initially. But over time, I kind of warmed up to it. I guess it's just more the color. But yeah, I'm still focused on that gun. What have you brought to the table, honey? What are you cooking with? Okay, well, actually, her her little pose is actually kind of cute. Yeah. Yeah, definitely like more just like the front. Because if you just see all the orange, it just... Oh, uh, no. The orange kind of throws it off for me. But still, that gun. You have to hip fire that for sure. Because he tries mounting that on her shoulder. It's just not... It's not well. If she tries to use it like a normal gun, it will be very poor. It'll actually, ooh, gah. All right, yeah, I've underestimated her. So yeah, Unlimited really has a way with uh, skin suits, I guess. We had Alice, then we had Neve, now we have Tove. Uh, yeah, there's, they're sufficient. Oh, Jesus of Nazareth. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, actually, let me do see the reload on that. Yes, yeah, so that is supposed to be Max Evo. That is an odd one. The curve on that shit. That shit is ridiculous. But wait, she actually... Okay, yeah. 
From that position, it's implied that she's using it like a regular stock and she's putting it against her shoulder, like on her clavicle. That's not... That stock will not be there. But Jesus Christ, the bounce on that is insane. Ooh. Oh yeah, and even her model looks a little bit more accurate. Holy... Look at this! It's almost at a fucking 90 degree angle! That bend! The stock, dude! That's what I can't get out of my fucking mind, the stock! My inner gun nut is going nuts. I just really wonder what the hell is that supposed to be? Is that supposed to release heat? Because I can ex I can understand it being a front. Yeah, that's fine to release heat. Just be careful with your hand, honey. But what the fuck is going on in the back? Well, there's enough going on in the back. And actually, along with, uh, along with Tov, there was a, uh, another, another skin release. Actually, a couple. Because, uh, of course, of all people, as if they needed more popularity, Blanc and Noir got skins. Noir's is, uh, it's something. Jesus of Nazareth. Like, they, they outdid themselves with this one. I can't even lie. I, I just love the fact that it barely fits. I see... I really do wonder, she, does she need custom clothing? I would not be surprised. Well, my real question is, what is underneath? Because, honey, I don't think there is much. Oh! <laughs> no, the poor thing! Oh. <laughs> that little bomb, that was so adorable. And just the fact that she has just, like, the little marks that someone drew on. The thigh do be going crazy. I just love the fact that this is supposed to be for winter. Like, what are we doing here? I just, uh, let me see that bump again. I really do feel bad, but it, it's very, it's very noir-like. Let's see how it actually is. In okay, yeah, guys, it, it's still, it's still good old noir. Oh, John! Yeah, I feel like this is more out there than her bunny outfit, which showed more. You can actually see the jiggle in this. It's so subtle, but it's so, yeah. Yeah, wait, how is it not? Okay, honey, how has that not come popping out yet? <laughs> oh yeah, it's still, it's still old more. Still, I can't get over the fact that how fast she does that. Oh wait, her TV looks so cute. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, there's just barely enough to cover underneath, but she's okay. If it's supposed to be for winter, she is going to get cold. And brother, I do not know how thin that, uh... I do not know how thin that layer is. Because, uh, if it's not, she's in trouble. Might get a bit nippy if you catch my drift. Anywho, Blanc also got a skin for winter. Of course, he has to match her sister. And this is White Rabbit. Oh, that's nice. I like that. That's pretty cute. And actually... Yeah, this is, uh... This is actually kind of cultured with the, uh... With the eh, somewhat transparent stocking, but it's just dark enough to match it right. Because with Blanc, her normal outfit to me was kind of bright, but it definitely fits her. It's just weird to see her without her super long hair. Having it all tied up, very pleasant. Ah, That's cute. That is nice. Especially, okay. Yeah, that makes sense that she has the brush. So she's the one that did little designs on Noir. Of course she would. But are, are those supposed to, <laughs> are these antlers, honey? Well, whatever. This, this is a very interesting take for the winter season. But yeah, no, it's still good old Blanc. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah, no, it's definitely her. It's crazy. How much time did it take to get those buns in order? Oh, but yeah, it's just a normal little Blanc. It's not too much, but it is just enough. Oh, and her TV is also cute. <laughs> Okay, yeah, because actually it does make sense. As soon as I heard her say onsen, yeah, I knew that this was going to go for like a hot spring event. So this would be very suitable, actually. But I still think it's going to be cold. They need some kind of layering. <laughs> Probably. Good skins overall, but my god. Enough about skins. Let's talk seasonal units. I did not expect Ludmila to get a seasonal unit. Or at least not this quickly. But thank god that she did. So this is Winter Owner, and uh, as a result, I am now changing my legal first name to Winter. The absolute mastery of design here. Just... Well, first of all, let's just get the obvious out of the way. The plumpness. 
the thickness, it's tasteful. And the color scheme, the color palette used for the dress, it's gorgeous to be honest. And the butterflies, I really like the touch of that. I wonder how they did that, if you can even make that. But besides that, it's really, really nice. Oh, that, yeah, no, they just, they outdid themselves with this one. Ludmila got a fucking glow up. Oh my. Yeah, no, she looks lovely in this. It's actually really, really nice what they did with this. I'm surprised they kept her uh, as a uh, machine gun. I actually wonder if that is the same machine gun that she uses, because I'm fairly certain that's the DP-28. Either way, I'm very surprised, actually. They did keep her the same. So uh, let's see what we're working with here. Oh my. I am in awe. They have outdone themselves with this one. Everything about this is a must pull. Easily. Oh wow, and actually her her chibi is very nice. Ooh, my. Yeah, no, they're getting really good with the chibis. Now they actually look like the characters in the sprites, but even then, like, hers is really good. I feel like in her original fit, she looked a lot older, but here, it looks proper. I don't know, it just feels right. And I'm very glad that they did Lumila some justice, because I felt like she is like she deserved more, if that makes sense. And she definitely got more and even more. And the other big surprise for this season. Mika, the SR, got a seasonal unit. You'd have thought that if uh, she was going to get one, then the Lorda would have also gotten one. But I guess they're just going to wait a little bit for her to get one. But I guess Mika deserved it more. I'm very surprised with the uh, with the route they took, considering Mika's original look it was a lot more... Uh... But this one, this one looks wholesome and nice. She looks very, very cute with that. So I'm definitely getting that onsen vibe from her. She's definitely going to be like... Uh... Like maybe an assistant, a hostess, or something like that. But overall, just like something very cozy, very nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'm very surprised. But she kept her, she kept her long hair, so that was, that's not going away anytime soon. Okay, and so yeah, she instead of having that ginormous javelin, she has a really old style. Like, I'm, I want to guess this is maybe like a World War One, World War Two style. Machine gun. Or is that an SMG? No, 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 that's an SMG. I like this look. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so again, with the other... Along with her other skin, she doesn't show much. So I'm guessing Mika's supposed to be more wholesome, in a sense. I don't know why, but I thought from her SR, she was actually going to be a little more scandalous. But no. Guess this is the route that we're going to take, and this will be the route that we respect. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. She's, uh... She's got something. Oh, but that chibi is really cute. It's very wholesome, but... I don't know, with her hair down? It looks very nice, because I know that she always ties her hair up into like a little ponytail, like two side tails, kind of. But having her hair down? I would not have minded that. I would not have minded that at all. Alright, and so for the last ones of 2023, well, up until now, uh, it looks like there's, uh, three skins and one new unit indeed. Starting off with the skins, it looks like Guillotine actually finally got a skin. So, I have not I've seen any of these, by the way. Let's see. Dark Tracer. Hey. Oh, wait, what the fuck? That actually looks so nice! Okay, that's actually really, really cool what they did with the aesthetic. Just a, just a little gilded touch to it. It, ah, it's like... It's like a magician kind of look. I really like what they did here. Okay! Okay, that's actually really nice. I like the flair in that. Holy. Oh yeah, and she actually looks really good with- Yeah, damn. That look really suits Guillotine. And of course, it's just a fluff in the back. Yeah, everything else has pretty much stayed the same. So that's, that's a pretty fine skin. That looks really good. Hey, what the fuck? Did she get touched up in her chibi just for that skin as well? Damn. Okay, yeah, actually, this is a really nice skin for what it is. I think it's just like one of the, the normal passes. I think it's just the one for the month. But still, that is a really nice skin. I like what they did there. 
finally Guillotine got something, and it is very, very nice. And in another surprise, it looks like Leader got another skin. So instead of the uh, Summer skin, which is already hilarious enough, she got a new one this time. What is this? Cute Sunflower. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's that's very adorable. It's subtle, but I feel like this would have been more appropriate in springtime. But it, it definitely worked. What? What are the images on her skirt? <laughs> like, what even? No, this is still, like, super, super cute. Damn. They had to really dress up Granny in another, like, very adorable outfit. <gasps> oh! My heart stopped for a second. That was adorable. What was that, like, little pout there? Aww. Yeah, no, that's really nice. I That was adorable as hell. Okay, and yeah, uh, did her weapon change? I could be wrong. Nah, but yeah, it's just a- it, it definitely looks like more of a spring outfit. Okay. Although I actually feel like, ironically enough, her original fit was a lot more revealing, so this feels more in line with Leader. Our granny shall not be looted. Oh, well, actually the chibi does look pretty good as well. Huh? Gee! What the hell? I got flabbergasted. Why did they give our granny cheeks? That's, uh, very unexpected, but all right then. All right then. In fairness, she had cheeks to be good with, but it was very unexpected in the very innocent and very adorable outfit. Anywho, the big skin this time. I'm very surprised. Noise didn't have a skin, but now... Oh, actually, I forgot about the metal one. Whoopsies. I keep forgetting that cherry... Yeah, this cherry blossom one exists, but... Uh, she got a deluxe skin. I'm very surprised, and it looks awesome. Classic Diva. This one... This one pretty much jump scared me at the beginning of the... <laughs> of the event for the new year. But holy hell, they outdid themselves with this one. Like, I don't know why, but again... Noise, Noise didn't look as confident. She looked kind of sullen in her normal look, but this fit right here, that smile right there, it exudes confidence. And I'm very glad that, that Noise does have like that kind of look to her. It suits her a lot better. Okay, wait. All right, that that mic checking motion. I wonder if they knew what they were doing with that. Probably they knew what they were doing, but really it is such a gorgeous outfit. Like, how does it look in-game? Oh Yo, even the way she looks dude, she looks so pretty in this. Oh my gosh, but yeah, even her weapon looks so nice Yeah, this this is a good fit for her. Oh god Damn Did she have that much in her old fit? I don't think so, but I'm not complaining. Yeah, even when reloading, she has that that confidence now. That extra boost, she's like, yeah, I could do this. I'm very glad to see it. How's a chibi? Okay, yeah, that's... Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, Noise has always been very pretty, but this one... This one takes it up a notch, because deluxe skins, as costly as they are, they really do excellent jobs with it. Ooh. Oh, but yeah, no, this is a this is a really nice one. Yeah, it definitely suits Noise a lot. Producer and there's her walking one. That coat do be a bit big, though. Shan't lie. Ureshi. Yeah, no, I'm very blessed that Noise got a really, really nice fit this time. And now for the big surprise. While it was leaked uh, a while before she came out, this original Scarlet. Already captured me ever since Red Ash, and this this is a really good, really good version of Scarlet. Like, uh, the style of the dude. I'm already feeling motivated. But yeah, the way that it distinguishes itself from the rest of the appearances in Nikkei thus far. Like, I don't know. At first, I couldn't really get used to the design. But over time, it definitely grew on me. It absolutely did. And with the uh, with the New Year event, I definitely like this a lot more now. How does it look in-game? Ooh, wait, that looks really good. Damn, she do be moving though. Okay. Shake what you got. Also, that nylon is not going to hold for much longer. 
But interesting, yeah, she counts as a rocket launcher. So now we have a Pilgrim A2. Let's go. What do we have here? Oh, yacht. Damn. All right. So she does actually have a bit of ammo. And wait a fucking minute. Oh my god, is that a mole? Now I have full attention here. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's so interesting. That's how it looks and sounds like. Yeah, it's just like a slash, so... Oh, I wonder how fast you can actually fire it, though. Because, I mean, the the little view mode won't have, like, an accurate sense of reload or, like, charge speed. But that's very interesting how, like, quick it is. Oh, yeah, it's like you get an animation cancel here <laughs> a little bit. But I don't have a rhythm. That's interesting. Hmm... Oh, they're a little machine model. It, it looks very different because there's not all that, like, that red aura to her. But I still like it. Oh, yeah. The fact that the blade is that long. Alright, so... Jetstream Scarlet is actually pretty good, huh? Alright, since this vid is already extremely, extremely delayed and I want to get on with life, I might as well keep doing it until I get close to actually finishing this vid. And so, of course, Leona appears with Timmy. He's such, a, he's such a lovable goof, but I want him to have more confidence. A Nike from the Happy Zoo Squad, which is responsible for overseeing the Ark's animals, manages ferocious beasts like lions and tigers. Shares so a unique bond with a Tim and lion named Timmy. Honestly, it took me way, way too fucking long to realize that Timmy's name is because he's timid. But now, first things first, the, the appearance of Leona is interesting. Like, what is this, what is the top supposed to be? Is it supposed to be a sweater? Is it supposed to be an apron? Because I really can't tell what this is. Um, genuinely. Let's take a closer look because I forget that you can actually just hide the UI and move them around. That I didn't even know. I suck. But uh, yeah, no, this is weird. Because yeah, below she just has a <clears throat> wonderful, wonderful sports bra. And uh, some shorts to go with it. Gray. I don't know why, but gray, gray sports wear interior wear is just like the right color but yeah i have no idea what to make of this outfit it's just it's i guess it's supposed to be an apron also the little bunnies on the side and i'm really wondering like what why does she have four ears also why do those cut why do the sleeves have like a little place to open up because she has a little butterfly on there but these if you look at this closely it kind of looks like a mouth of some sort like these the buns are the eyes and this is the mouth it's very animal oriented, but I'm not going to acknowledge the fucking uwu owl face on her top, nor the fucking awu just hanging from there. But one thing I do often forget is that she has a tail. I really have no idea what to make of Leona, but uh, it's great, especially the eyes. She really got the Renegon going on here. Mimi? Ah. <laughs> Uh, it should have been me, not him. This is ridiculous. Uh, he gets all the love, but you know what? I guess it's fair. Timmy, Timmy's been a good boy, but I seriously do feel envy. But yeah, it's very strange that Leona is actually a shotgun support. Also, the fact that she just, in her idol, she just stays with hand in titty. Although I know full well that's where the shells are stored, no doubt. It's just, it's just so funny to me to see it like that. But, uh, yeah, what do we got? Ooh, my. Well, that, first of all, that's an angle. Why that position? I feel like that'd be uncomfortable to hold for a good while. And it's very compressed. But yeah, that's how I can realize she has a tail. It's like a bunny tail. It's weird. Oh, it's only just now that I noticed the little butterfly thing on her. Because like, does she really have tattoos? I wonder if it's just paint or if it's tattoos. I don't know. Leona doesn't strike me as the type to even get a tattoo. But actually, it's kind of interesting. I do see her... Wait, she's actually using one hand to support her from down there. She's one-handing a shotgun, huh? What the fuck? Well, I mean, she handled big animals. I'm for, I'm fairly certain that she could handle a shotgun. Oh, damn. Honestly? Meaty sound. Oh, wait, damn. Actually, that reload was fast. Say, do that again? Damn. Okay. That's actually kind of fast. But yeah, not much recoil this time around. She's very stiff. But you know, that does not detract from how nice she is. Oh my god. <laughs> um. Alright, I didn't know there was actual power creep for chibis, but okay. So she just rides Timmy. Nice. Mm. Ah. No. 
Oh, that's so good. The fact that just it, that Timmy has a full chibi model, that's really great. Yeah, no, this is a pretty this is a pretty nice model. Honestly, like the simplicity of it makes it one of my favorite designs. It, I, I might just be the eyes for me. And thus another new character joins the fray, this time in the form of Moran. I still haven't seen her in game yet, I haven't reached that far, but yeah, she seems fairly interesting. All I know is that, well, she seems to be a bit of a moron. Though I actually didn't uh, see a bit of her, of course, with the event, uh, Dirty Backyard, which has a sick fucking track. And that was a really enjoyable story, I want to see more. A Nikkei from Underworld Queen Squad, which manages the underworld of the Ark, leads a small organization named Peony Association, values loyalty and camaraderie. That is uh, acceptable. Though what's not acceptable is the fact that I've seen the beta art for her and what we could have had, but... You know, this is okay too, it's just that, I don't know, I... Uh, I kind of like the other one as well. But yeah, all things considered, I actually do like this model quite a bit. It's just very... it definitely feels very punkish. It's definitely something that... well, even though it's... It's, it's really Chinese inspired. This seems to be more like, especially like with the long, long skirt and the top jacket, like the really, yeah, the <laughs> the oversized jacket. It's definitely reminiscent of just like those old, um, what do they call it? They're just like those little gang leaders uh, in Japan that used to ride motorcycles and shit. Kind of like a motorcycle gang leader, yeah. And what are with those Harry Potter glasses? Seriously, woman. <laughs> Okay, I actually like her a lot, yeah. No, I, the voice suits her perfectly. And yeah, the glasses, uh, I don't know, it detracts a little bit from her dumbness. But wait, 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 I just noticed the hair. Because I'm guessing it's supposed to be all black, but the underside is like this scarlet red orangish. But then it fades into like a calmer color, so I wonder if that's actually supposed to be it, or if that's just a result of the art. Let me take a look. Okay, so yeah, it is supposed to transition that way. Interesting. Also, wait, damn. That that gun, that assault rifle looks creamy, but I have no idea what it is. It, uh, like, just off of this, it looks similar to a gun I've already seen. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not a FAMAS. It's, uh, again, it's not the FAMAS. I thought it would have been uh, one of the uh, Chinese uh, assault rifles, but uh, no, it's it's far too different for that. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, damn, she has got wavy hair. How much hairspray does she use? But it's unfortunate. Yeah, it's all it's just entirely covered. There's nothing here. Just pure business. And she just bounces. There's nothing to it. Oh, so that's where the magazine is. Hold on, let me take a look at that. Okay, wait, unironically, now that I see the magazine, she actually might be the user of that Chinese style assault rifle. The Type 95, is it? Damn it, even here I can't see it, but her, her TV model is actually really, really cute. Okay, we know in the TV model I can't see it. I'm actually certain this actually might be the Type 95, finally. So she is definitely a Chinese inspired, and I really like the aesthetic of it. Speaking of aesthetic, there is somebody else who shares a similar aesthetic with a new skin. Our lovely last Sugar has a skin designed for this event because she used to be in league with Moran. And that would be Wild Backyard. Man. That is something. Let's inspect closely. Because, alright, Black Typhoon is Black Typhoon. We love that. But seriously, seeing Sugar with the long hair the buns, this textured shotgun, and just with the, uh Yeah, no, you've got, you got the short jacket, you have, like, it's, it's kind of like a cheap owl, but it's, I don't know. This is a weird one to me, because it seems like it cuts off here, and then the underside is just, like, this very transparent cloth, and she's using stockings that are ripping, and it's just, oh no, it hits... It hits real nice. Hey, yo. Okay, I didn't know there were animation chains like that. Okay. We like this. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I like... I like the look of it. It feels very... I don't know. Because I, I, I've used sugar before, but this is just... I don't know. It feels different, but in the best way possible. 
Let us inspect. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you can still see through it. Yeah. No, this is just fine. But yeah, seriously, I like I like the hairstyle. The hairstyle feels really right on Sugar. But the past is the past. Recoil check. Damn, it's the whole fucking model. All right. Damn. That's pretty powerful. Oh, even the model looks good, but is it her? Okay, no, I was about to say, it looks like just normal short hair sugar, but no, it's just a small little tail with a bun. Yeah, really? They outdid themselves with this mo- Why has the chibi got that much? Yeah, no, I actually really like this skin. This- I didn't expect much from it, but uh, I saw- Because there's the thing, I saw the art for the, uh- from the UI of uh, Dirty Backyard. And I thought she was an entirely different character. I didn't realize it was Sugar at first, but the art made her look totally different. But even even with this, I, I am highly satisfied. All right, I'm hoping that this will be the end. Can I please get on with the vid? I have rendered about, what is it, like about two hours worth of this? Ah, <laughs> this is fun. But I'm trying to make this the end. So with this Valentine's update, uh, Surprisingly, Drake got yet another outfit. Made for villain. God damn it. Interesting how Drake got a custom outfit. But you know what? It works. And the name tag, it's just it's not even just Drake. It's Drake! Also, that pocket is cool. I don't know why, but I like that design. Oh, that's supposed to be her mask, yeah. Yeah, it absolutely is. I forget that she uses that. Also, what? Why are those crackers seemingly dry? Or no, don't tell me those are whole wheat crackers. Oh, she's actually a villain. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, the look when she does that, hello? I love how they keep the, uh, just like the iconic looks in check. God, she's such a dork. Oh, and see, the skin actually looks pretty nice. Yeah, it looks really- wait, the shotgun, dude! Now she has like a little dog on there, or whatever that's supposed to be, like a little hellhound. Okay, but it actually does look pretty sick. I just noticed, damn, she do be showing off the thigh in this one. Oh yeah, and it does cover, well, interesting. This one is more catered to the ones who use imagination, because it just barely shows you enough to allow you to imagine, but nothing more, nothing less. Actually, no, I take it back. You can see there's a clear, a clear little outline telling you, hey, that's what you're looking for. Oh, but it's fairly standard. Fairly all right. Also, it's just me, but I only just now noticed with this outfit, uh, Drake has a little going on. I was sleeping on her. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> the dog on the shotgun. What is it? Oh, the what? He's wagging his tail. Yeah, it's very bouncy. I don't know why, but I like it. Oh, I just noticed, yeah, the dog is tied with a little ribbon around the shotgun for no good reason. Excellent. Yeah, no, I actually do like this one. This one's really nice. Ugh, these battle pass skins are getting better and better. I can't spend, dude. Ah, uh, yep. And of course, we have a wonderful, wonderful SSR variant of Privity. Unkind Maid. I mean, I do feel bad for her other squad mates, Admi and Yulha, because they don't have anything yet. Meanwhile, Privity has two skins and now another unit. She joins Helm in the favoritism squad, and Rappi is clawing her eyes out. But yeah, no, this, this squad. Wait a minute, I just realized something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that! She switches squads because of this! It's not even... It's not even triangle anymore! She counts as part of Made For You! <laughs> and this one, yeah, she is a shotgun, which is very surprising, but... I guess they're trying to revive shotguns in a way, so I do appreciate that. But you know what else I appreciate? I appreciate a good... spell. Ah... Uh, I'm dead. As overrated and as overused as the cat made outfit is, it is an iconic classic and it goes extremely well with Privity. I love what they did with this one, to be honest. It, it probably couldn't have gone to anyone better, but it's just, ah, uh, it's so good. 
But the question remains, where is that tail connected? Oh, damn, so that's how she looks in game. Okay. Yeah, no, that's pretty sick. Oh, that shotgun. That looks familiar, but I've never been good with shotguns, period. But one thing I will not be wrong about is the absolute quality of this squish and this outfit. It is excellent. Damn, boy. Ooh, jeez. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, no, it gives plenty of a view. I thought that it would be too long. But it is, uh, just short enough. And that tail, yeah, no, that tail is probably connected to somewhere else. You can see just, like, where it says sticking in. And it's probably just, like, attached on the back. Or, like, a wraparound. That's probably just a wraparound tail. It's not what, it's not what a lot of us commanders were thinking. Ooh, okay. Not bad. That actually felt fairly quick. Uh, the chibi, yeah, the chibis with every model get better and better. Seriously. Oh, yeah, you can absolutely shoot. God damn. Gee, they added cheekage to this. Oh, my. Okay, now I said that... Hold on, I'm mesmerized. I said that the tail might just be a wraparound, but in the chibi, it really doesn't make it look like that's the case. What an absolutely splendid unit. She will make Elysian proud. I am very sure of it. And hopefully the one to end this entire thing, the one I have waited for, for quite some time, the beautiful, the perfect, Aid. Anike from the Made For You squad. She's calm, gentle, and friendly. Truly a perfect maid. Seriously, bro, I have fallen for her design since day one. She is so pretty, dude. This is probably going to be, like, my second Marciana, because I simp unconditionally. Like, kit be damned. I still will pull for her. Very much so. Like, she got the whole set going on here. She knows what to do. And my god, uh... She's in the competition for largest firepower. Ah. What a bl- It's something so simple! And yet, so effective. Also, the fact that she's just wearing straight up, like, a Victorian maid outfit. That's just like, yeah, sure, you're not getting much, but you are receiving much more from her warmth. Okay, very interesting. So, yeah, she is an AR, but that weapon, this is more of a fusion. So, you've got pretty much what looks like the body of an FN Fowl, but mixed with, like, the ridiculous barrel length of a G3A3. Whatever it is, it it really does suit her. Oh god! You can't even see anything because of the dress, which was expected, but just the the quake is enough to rattle the mind. Oh damn, and the front's still going. And can we talk about just a little bit of leg and ankle that she shows? She's not exactly innocent, I'll tell you that much right now. Aw, oh, and her chibi looks so gorgeous. Just her voice is enough to make me feel like life will be okay. Things are okay. Oh, but she's so pretty, dude. Uh, I, I'm still gonna go for her, even if she isn't limited. I'm gonna go for her day one, get her day one, and enjoy life to the fullest, because that is what I strive to do. Okay, please, for the love of God, let this be the actual end. So, with the update that came with Boomsday, Exia seems to have gotten a skin. Or actually another one, because I keep forgetting that the Christmas one exists. But anywho, we finally did it, boys. We have a Gamer Exia. <laughs> this is so good. Like, this definitely fits her a lot more than the Christmas outfit. But everything about it is just so good here. So we did see this actually in Boom's Day at the end, whenever they were actually visiting the uh, little gaming convention. But there's a, there's a lot to this one. Oh, thank god she actually has shoes. Looks like Converse. But dude, the accessory that she has with her. So yeah, there's a pamphlet. Light of Story. I really wonder like what this is supposed to be a reference to, like what game it's supposed to be referring to. But it, it's, I can only imagine like something like Maple Story or some shit like that. Some kind of RPG, for sure. 
but kind of interesting that they decided to go with like a half and half kind of hoodie. These can be kind of hit or miss, but the color scheme really works with Exia. And also the big, the big thing, well actually two big things. First, divine ponytail. Second, glasses. This is a treasure trove of culture. Also, the multiple, the multiple glow sticks. A true son of an otaku. And whatever is in here, she probably like collected some kind of figure. I swear to God, if that's a Funko Pop, I'm actually jumping. Some kind of poster. And the tote bag is probably the single best thing I've ever seen in this game. So you have another, again, they keep on going with this appearance for the commander. It looks like this will be the canonical appearance for him. He's just got like some gray hair. Um, it's just the same kind of face. I love that. Also, that little sticker right there, whatever that's on this keychain, it looks very familiar to something. I don't know what, but uh, it's just, I don't know, I've seen it before, that kind of design. But why does she have a butcher knife as a keychain? And it seems like that's supposed to be an Elysian bag, I guess, even though she's part of Tetra. But the toad bag itself is the, oh, it's so cute. I'm a little detective. You have interesting case novel. The, the little squishy novel is so adorable. I want that tote bag. If Shift Up releases that little bag as an IRL item, I'm actually buying. But overall, I really do like this appearance a lot. Oh, that's cute. Oh, wow. Okay. So yeah, the glow sticks do light up. Are they the same color or do they... Oh yeah, no, they're RGB. But they all like uh, do the same thing. I thought they would like light up one by one. Okay, interesting. Okay, so that's how it looks like. Ooh, I like the small little detail. It's just like, yeah, the little, um, whatever these, uh, whatever these things are called, where they slap them onto phones and you could just hold them like that. But she just foregoes that entirely. <laughs> hey. Oh my. Yeah, no, that's, that is nice. Like, it's fairly similar in terms of what the original skin gives us with regards to exposure. But this one actually feels like, yeah, she's actually clothed but there's still like plenty to see. And she just go back to her phone. But I don't know, there's just something about the glasses ponytail combo, but still with the messy hair that just awakens me. Extra points for the dolphin shorts because those are always, always valid. Ooh, but the model, yeah, the model does look a little bit more refined and it feels a little different to normal Axia, I like it. Ooh. Wow, the fact that even the jacket, uh, I mean the hoodie, has the design like intact. Like, yeah, this, these models have been getting a lot more defined, a lot more refined, and just a lot more HD, I would say. That's probably the, the simplest term. So yeah, good stuff, Axia. And thus, here she is, the highlight of Boom's Day. And my god, I have not seen a Nikkei yet that has received so much fucking fan art before her official release than Eleg. I know it's supposed to be like a pun on electrical engineering or something like that, but the fact that an egg with these kind of bangs has attained such fame, the amount of art that she has is absurd, brother. Though that is no doubt thanks to her design, which is extremely thick. Well, not even extremely thick. I just say like, thick in all the right areas, and it just activates the neurons. You have the excellent thigh squish, you have the short shorts, you have exposed midriff, you have under boob, and you have like this little like spiky hair design, but with these extremely flat overhanging bangs. And she looks like an absolute dweeb and we love her. Ooh. Okay. I forgot, yeah, she's also a complete Doom reference, and I love it. But dude, I did not know the wiggle. Show me the wiggle. Okay. That's really nice. But also the fact that, I don't know why, whenever they were showing the promotional stuff for Eleg beforehand, I just thought that she would have her eyes hidden. But actually in-game, it's only when she starts moving that I notice yeah, her eyes are always peeking through. So that kind of threw me for a loop initially, but I've grown used to it. Very interesting that her eyes are purple. If I had a nickel for every time a character who has usually obscured or closed eyes had eyes that are revealed to be purple, I would have 10 cents. Not a lot, but I'm surprised that it actually happened twice. And of course, if she's not a rocket launcher, she has to be a machine gun. 
Totally not the fucking BFG. Absolutely not. Oh, but little Snaggletooth, I enjoy that. Now, what do we have? Oh my goodness! The fucking Jiggles unmatched. Also, why is she creasing the J's? <laughs> oh, little triangle mouth when she realized that's so good. I don't know why, but I, I really do enjoy that. But still, no, hold on. I'm a little thrown up back. Like, ma'am? Good lord. The short shorts I told you were good. But that sound, that is a unique sound for a machine gun. Oh my god, yeah. And the, the reload itself is actually pretty impressive. Damn, but I swear that she was gonna be a rocket launcher if she was gonna be, like, a Doom reference. But this will work as well. Yo, okay, she just keeps swaying in the chibi, which is so good. It's kind of interesting to see that, well, first of all, she's actually a lot calmer when walking than just standing still. But second of all, the fact that, yeah, her eyes, when you see them, she always has like these, I wouldn't say droopy, but just kind of like narrowed eyes. It's always like something mischievous. Yeah, yeah, and she's just constantly bopping. And actually, a very small, very, very minute detail that you, you can only notice in the TV. But they even managed to texture it so that it looks like she's still fucking creasing her shoes because she doesn't wear them properly. Oh, goddamn, the Shikage. Yeah, they actually took this into detail. Like I told you, the Chiwis are getting better. But man, yeah, she she brought a whole batch of fan art before she even showed up, and more when she arrived. So this is, a, I would say, a definite success. And the most recent blessing to the roster, and hopefully the last one for this video, is the new form of D. I am still very surprised that they decided to give us a second version of D before we even get K. I'm gonna fucking cry. I just love that she had to keep the fucking body bag, and it's still wriggling. <laughs> but this wife appearance, this newlywed wife appearance, oh my god, the hips, I just know, oh no. The hips, you can still see the toned abdomen area, Jesus Christ. Also kind of interesting that she has like this butterfly with, uh, I'm guessing these are supposed to be thorns. Yeah, this whatever this tattoo is, I like it. Very subtle, very nice. Damn, and even the texture on the cardigan, it reminds me a little bit of Tia's with how textured it is. That is nice. That is real nice. Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate spillage? It's very slight, yet very nice. As for the barcode, I really wonder why it's there, but I guess Nikkei's all have some sort of barcode somewhere, which, which does make sense, but I just wonder why there. Uh, but everything about this, minus the... The axe it just screams like my favorite kind of aesthetic. No wonder she's called Killer Wife. Yeah, she's definitely rising up my wife rankings and Marciana's in trouble. And yes, I'm not going to make the obvious joke about her looking like your. Okay, buddy. Only the JP dub has this kind of shift. I know that somebody told me that already. Even the KR dub didn't get that that tone shift down so i'm very blessed to hear that but just like the back and forth between her very cute self and then her serious self it breaks me a little bit but it also breaks me in a good way i feel like if i was standing i would just immediately sit down like a dog if she gave me that glare and she's still a sniper i am fairly certain that this time that is just a straight up DSR-1. I could be mistaken, but I'll have to check. Either way, that looks divine. But as for the firepower, what is- Wait, I just noticed- Oh my god. Oh my god, she actually has fucking AirPods. Certainly, those are for the mission. That way, she doesn't hear too much of the sound. Surely. Wait, actually- Ooh. That is a very small detail that you can see, but... The very, very subtle transparency. It's always the small stuff that makes everything so much better. But I really do wonder why she even has a mask. She's trying to copy Viper, I guess. Whatever, what is the view? Oh my goodness. Yeah, no, that's 
That dress, that lower half of the dress is not as solid as the top, and it is doing her no favors. Hell, even the top, now that I think about it, yeah, that's not doing her any favors. What is the purpose of the existence of some kind of dresses that you can still see lingerie through it? Oh god, some enthusiasts are gonna enjoy that. But, um, yeah, let's, uh, let me hear that. Ooh! I actually really like that sound, and I'm fairly certain that is a DSR then. Ooh, that is nice. That is a nice choice indeed. Seriously, okay. That, we got a little bit going on here. Yep. Also, what kind of bag is that? That does look quite nice. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, she actually does look quite adorable in that form. Oh my. Damn, in the back. Damn, she sounds like that, but she bounced like that. Oh, you have me fucked up. Yeah, this is a... This is a very dangerous unit. I love it. And real quick before this video finally ends, some additional notes and corrections regarding the weapons for some units. If you're not a gun nut, you can safely skip to the end. These additions are all thanks to the Deviant over on the official Nikkei subreddit and his post on The Guns of Nikkei, which I will link in the description for further browsing. Starting off with some rares, the only ones with real weapons besides the ones already mentioned are Soldier Falcon, who has a Mossberg 590M, and Soldier Eagle, who I thought had a SIG SG-552, but she actually rocks a SIG MCX. At least I got the company right. As for the SRs, the surprise for me was Neve, who does not have a Saiga 12, but rather its rival, the Molot Vepper 12. Really close in design. Both of the Carronades actually have real rocket launchers, by the way, with Mika indeed having a Javelin, while Belorda uses the N-Law, both slightly altered for legal reasons. Our thick and lovely Anise, while definitely futurized, does indeed use a Milcor M32 MGL, a classic grenade launcher. In both precious forms, my daughter Anne is using the Carl Gustav M3 rocket launcher, albeit with plenty of custom touches for the season. Delta over here is using the HK G28, which is not chambered in 50 Beowulf, but simply 7.62, and is pretty much a modified HK417. Moving on to the SSRs, biggest correction here is that Poli's bullpup shotgun is not the SGA-12 as I mentioned prior, but is actually the very similarly designed MKA-1923. Man, bullpups look way too fucking similar. As for little Vesti here, she uses something that's technically not a rocket launcher simply because it is called the Carl Gustav Recoilless Rifle, specifically a blend between the M2 and M4 models. Boon Huan or Shiny Forehead make use of the Blosser R93 Tactical, a fair choice. This one is extremely particular, but Summer Neon's weapon isn't exactly an M16 LSW, but rather the short-lived variant known as the XM16E1, or simply the Colt Model 603. While simple in appearance because it's just a giant tube, Uni seems to be using the Eryx Missile Launcher. And as bad as I am with shotguns, I knew I've seen Mary's shotgun before. This is indeed the Remington 870. Coming in with a base pick right after is Milk with the Zastava M93 Black Arrow, albeit with different dimensions perhaps customized for her size. Next up in the spotlight is Novel, who I believe had a hella modified Tech 9, but a better answer lies in the form of the Beretta 12. And a good eye on whoever caught Summer Mary's weapon as being the Desert Tech Stealth Recon Scout. <laughs> that is such a particular name. Looking again at Neto, I only just realized that, yes, she indeed has the MPX. I guess I couldn't tell because of how modular it can be. And closing us off in surprising fashion is Summer Anise, who actually has a real shotgun. This final weapon is the Arm Cell Protecta, also known as the Street Sweeper. Dude, what's it with South Africa and making bomb-ass weapons? Oh, thank god, it's finally over. This vid has probably been pushed back more times than the release of Duke Nukem Forever, but at least it's all done now. Let's be honest, most if not everyone watching this vid will never actually watch the whole thing. They'll just skip to their favorite Nikas and see the takes. And still never see this outro portion, but in the rare case you actually do see this, thank you so much. This was a vid that absolutely nobody asked for, but I still went ahead and did. Now that this grand masterpiece is done, I can safely say that I will finally start uploading the rest of my Nikkei journey bit by bit on this channel, so expect some old videos to be released by then. <laughs> I am never one to promote or shill stuff, but since this vid really took quite a long time to make, I would really appreciate it if you, the one watching this part of the vid now, go ahead and give this video a like, leave a comment with how you feel, share it with your fellow commanders, and maybe even subscribe to the channel if you really did enjoy it. 
I hope to make my Nika content in the future similar to this, but not take another 5 goddamn months. Again, thank you for watching this vid. I hope you really did enjoy it. I have been loving this game for the past 7 months so far, and there's no signs of stopping. So expect plenty of stuff to arrive on this channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you around.